Hall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. It's lovely to be with you today. It's Sunday, you know what that means. Let's get crafty. Now better than a bit of a Sunday relax and craft, I yeah. feel. No, it, it finishes off the week, doesn't it? Yeah. Relaxing and chilling. Yeah, totally. It gets you in the mood for a new week. Um, it's good to be with you today. If we haven't met before, nice to see you. My name is Rebecca Reddigan, but you can call me Becky. And it is my pleasure to be joined by the one, the only, spell binding, Laura Binding. Hi. Hi, lovely. How are you? <laughs> no, I'm good. Did you just go for a little clap then? <laughs> <laughs> it's just 
Oh, no, no one else is doing it. Okay. <laughs> um, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. It's lovely to see you. Um, what have you been up to? Um, I've just been sort of getting through January. Yeah. yeah you've got I think everybody it. just has to get through January. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, now we're into February, so it's... Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. We have got a full speed ahead day for you, as you know, mm -hmm. because we are not giving a fair few challenges. Um, hoops. I put it up on my social media. Hoop earrings today. I am obsessed with these. Hoop <coughs> earrings are one of the biggest trends of autumn, winter 2019, and it's taking us through to spring, summer 2020. You may well just look at these. And you may well think, okay, well, that's my hoop earring sorted. But we here at Jewelry Maker are all about crafting something unique to us. So let me hand these over to Spellby so that she can get started with them. Solid sterling silver with the gold plating. I'm also going to hand over this pair of earrings as well, which are so comfortable. I've actually got these. My I favorite. love I them. Love They're styles. gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. I'm going to hand these over to you as well, Spellby. Of course, you're going to want gemstones. Oh, yeah. And as we know, um, gemstones, we have a vast amount of them today. I've got the most sublime Larimar coming up for you in the five o'clock. But I've also got this. When you think of garnet, you will probably have an idea in your mind. What I love about this strand is it surpasses those expectations. A cacophony of colour that absolutely jumps out through the screen. I am offering this to you very soon, but I'm going to hand it over now to Spellby so that she can get crafting. If you keep your peepers peeled on Spellbinding, you'll be able to see what she's up to, and we will have some... Um, um, demonstrations with those in a bit. I've also got those hoops in solid sterling silver and I've got them in rose gold plated as well. I'll give you a little show of them too. These are coming up in the three o'clock. It is going to be, it's going to be what? A mega deal, says B Diddy. She doesn't say it like that. No, she doesn't. At all. A mega deal. <laughs> she didn't say it at all like that. So they are coming up for you too. Um, I'm going to start with some sterling silver. I will let you know it's the last day of our silver event. And if you haven't tuned in for a silver event before, let me just tell you, we bring you silver sporadically. When it's a silver event, what we do is we essentially go, hey, do you know what? Let's stock up and let's also give you the opportunity to get the bargains. This weekend has all been about luxury for less. And I am going to start off right here right now sterling silver spacers but let's face it they could be crimp tubes how often do we offer you sterling silver crimp tubes i would say rarely very rare in a findings pack yeah, yeah. how many did you get in a standard sterling silver findings pack two or four yeah it's two or four isn't it yeah i think it might be four yeah i've got four t here so you are going to get the opportunity for anyone who doesn't know what a crimp is because let's face it it just looks like a little bit of a tube doesn't it a crimp, for all intents and purposes, is something that will help you attach clasps to your designs. General rule is you'll use about two for a necklace or two for a bracelet. So I've got 40 here. That could easily be 20 necklaces or 20 bracelets. You can, of course, use them as spaces as well in between your gemstones to make, for example, your garnets go further. We are bringing to you today... 64 only now because people are already checking out. You ready for this? Do do do. Five pounds and wow. 95 pence for you, and that is for 40 of them. Breaking that down, thinking of a necklace, 20 necklaces, five pounds and 95 pence, and you're keeping that quality. Yeah, and you're keeping it completely, like you say, sterling silver. I'm just looking, is that Larimar that you've got there? You're not wrong. So with this type of gemstone, with these tubes, what you can do, keeping it easy, easy yeah. making, put a bit of beading thread through the top of the gemstone, bring both together and put one of those on. Right. And then just crimp it. So you could actually put, say, two. Yes. One as a feature and one as a crimp. Lovely. And then you've added a length and a drop and it's so quick and easy to make. Dead and you've easy. got sterling silver. That's brilliant. That's a great tip. I love that. And because you've got 40 of these as opposed to the four you maybe usually get, you don't have to be as precious, do no, you? No, definitely not. It means that you can be a little bit more indulgent in your design. Yeah. 
I love that's a tip. Well done to Martin, Janet, Jane, Tracy, Norma. I've got Jackie in with us. Hey up, Pauline. Linda's in. Hi, Rosemary. Sue, you're in. I've got a collector in from Greater London. Nice to see you. Gail, you've just got one in your basket. Good work to you. I've got South Yorkshire. You've just come through. Conway, you've just checked out. Thank you very much. I've got telephone bidder of uh, Sue on as well. Nice to see you. Loads of you in for this. Most people multi-buying, which I definitely say is a great idea because we do not see these often at all. Um, can I just let you know too that if you wanted to use these on the likes of your five meters of chain, five meters solid turning silver chain, then you absolutely can because these would be large enough for this link to just thread right through. That's incredible. Can I just five meters, five beans. meters. Yeah, go ahead. Just if you wanted, I'd be making like chain earrings like that's that. That's like red carpet yeah. glamour. And then little garnets on the end of them if you wanted to really go to town. That's a nice idea. And you could actually, to make them attach, put this through and crimp two together, couldn't yeah. you? To loop it. <gasps> oh, Ooh, can I? Would you like this chain? Oh, yes please. Can you actually do that design idea with the silvers? Yes. Is that Shall right? We? Should I give you some of these crimps? Yes, let's do it. I this. mean, not like we haven't already no. given you loads of work, but <laughs> we know um, how much you enjoy your crafting, so hey, why not? Let's move on now, and I'm going to bring to you the rose gold version. Now, the reason that I've taken that dramatic pause is because I actually don't think I have ever seen us do rose gold plated crimp tubes. No, I don't think I have. I actually. actually do not think I have ever seen that as an occurrence. I've got 36. Uh oh, please do be quick if you want to grab these. Have you ever done a design whereby you have got uh, rose gold plated jump rings and then you've got a rose gold plated clasp and you're going, right, hang on, I haven't got a loop in my beading thread. How am I going to do that now? Oh no, I'll have to use a base metal. Mm. If you have, there's nothing wrong with that, of course. Mix your metals up, it's that, it doesn't matter, unless. You are maybe gifting that or if you are going to get that valued and weighed because as soon as they do the test on the individual pieces, if there is one piece, even if it's just, you know, the two crimp beads and they are not of an equal quality to the rest of the design, your whole piece will be graded downwards to mimic the lowest common denominator mm. for all intents and purposes. You are getting here these beautiful spacer tubes. Okay, we are way over allocated at this point. Fastest finger first, £7.95, which is incredible because you remember you're getting that same amount of silver because it's not like we've made the silver ones and then we shave a little bit off to add the plate in. Same amount of silver with that rose gold over the top of it absolutely over allocated now so it's fastest finger first who's gonna win is it gonna be sue sue are you gonna get yours karen are you gonna get yours diane what about you i've got jane in with them as well multi buyers on these ones julie you could get yours catherine you could get yours i've literally got 20 left uh, sorry 20 of you have gone i've got 16 left I'm taking a pound off by the way why because B. Diddy is like Billy Piper from the 90s. Because <laughs> she wants to. Uh, if you remember that song. Oh, remember Do you remember that, that song? song? Yeah. Why Most have you got to play that song so loud? Because I want it. <laughs> because I just, want it. It's just something to live by. <laughs> <laughs> We're loads of you in on this one. As I said, over allocated. Whilst you're there on the phone, do you fancy grabbing the gold too? Then put the gold against the white. It's a bit easier to see. Um, 40 of these ones again. Oh, hello. Stay there. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Do you know that song, B. Diddy? Yeah, I'm just double checking. Just double checking. What about you, Bruce? Do you know it? <laughs> yeah, but I know that I know that Bruce is old enough to know the song. I just don't see it as his genre <laughs> in the early nineties. <laughs> Just Bruce in a hoodie, just bopping along to Billy Piper. I just don't see it. Um, I could be wrong. <laughs> I have got for you gold-plated now. Genuine, beautiful, luxurious gold. Just look at that luster with the silver shining through. It's incredible, isn't it? it looks so expensive, but it's not because we're jewellery maker. Six ninety-five again. That is a drop-down deal. If you do want to grab these, absolutely feel free to. In particularly, I would say because for me, just due to how luxurious the colours mm. in this garnet is, the garnet go for gold. <clears throat> oh, definitely. I think that looks beautiful. It's nice to have the 
um, opportunity to be able to add gold to the garnet because right. normally you'd be like, oh, I can't add gold because it's just going to be so expensive to add gold totally to true. that look. Yeah. And like you say, some gemstones just call for the gold tone or some call for the silver or the rose gold. Gold for that is going to be stunning. And again, did you say you've got rose gold coming up? I've just done the rose gold, yeah, haven't so I? Yeah, the rose gold is going to go beautiful as well. Mix yeah. them. Mix all of them. Why not? Have mixed metals. Again, that's very on trend. Very. Well done to all of you who are getting these. The garnet, not a million miles away as a reminder. Let me just get you the specific time on that. I did tell you before I know, but I'm good and actually on my list uh, but yeah that will be on its way and as we said we'll be having a demo from spell b it's half past this hour we're going to be bringing to you as well a magnetic clasp i love this design floral i love this design you have got a gorgeous magnetic clasp we have got for you that lovely floral detail we are bringing it to you today in solid sterling silver so for anyone who maybe struggles with clasps like lobster claw clasps for example this is a great little bit of kit to be adding and i love that enveloping sort of petal design it's beautiful isn't it that is on its way okay oh i've got some lever backs as well lever backs in solid sterling silver I've got all the earrings today, but lever backs for people who really want security. I find these will be very popular for people who do wedding fairs. Pray tell why. Because um, I remember one of the school mums, I think it may have been, um, and I made some jewellery for her. Very simple. She just wanted an old necklace of hers sort of reworked <clears throat> and matching earrings made out of it. And... Um, she wanted, particularly wanted the lever back earrings because of the stability and the security. So she knew she could wear those earrings all day. And um, she, she knew she could wear them all day and yeah. they wouldn't fall out. There's no risk of them falling out. Because some people do struggle with shepherds. It's a friend of mine. They just literally, they, they will fall out. So you end up putting like a little rubber back on the back of the um, shepherd hook to keep them in place. Oh, that's good. But, you know, with this, you've got that security, but also the detailing is different. The look is different. Totally. And it's a really pretty and unusual look with this. Yeah. I'm bringing it to you in a few. Let's move on, though. I've got things to do. Should I bring to you... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, is that Herkimer Diamond? Nice. Let me bring to you a clasp. Oh, this is a gorgeous class. Brought this to you yesterday, I think. I've only a few of these ones left, literally a handful, but it's going to go great with your chain that, I'm br that I brought to you mm. earlier. Well, I'm going to be bringing to you later. As, um, we've handed it to Spelby, that five metres. Um, because, obviously, you can loop through a couple of times. What I like about this is its versatility. I like the fact that you've got that versatility of being able to use this side maybe as a lariat design mm. and maybe this lovely bar here is something like if you've got a set, you could do cufflinks, for example, with it. Um, you could also, of course, use these actually as earrings. That trend <coughs> of odd earrings yeah. is still very much at the forefront of fashion at this moment in time. So why not, you know, just add something like this to the lever back earrings that I've got for you in a bit, yeah. one in each ear, jobs are good in. We are bringing to you solid sterling silver and what you've got in here is that beauty of um, the cubic zirconia, giving you that diamond-like quality with a real halo of beauty. Got for you today both of these, I'll pick that one up too so you can see the sparkle on that. For just £8.95. And multi buyers in on this, Spelby. Why do you think that is? Why do you think people want fours well, and fives of these? I think definitely well. you're thinking of um, suites of jewellery. Yeah. So you could, maybe people are thinking. So for me, instant, <laughs> instantly I'd be thinking, oh, you know. <laughs> Carry on, no one noticed. <laughs> um, a pendant, maybe earrings just with that component there yeah that's beautiful and i mean at that <laughs> Darn. and at that price um you know <laughs> um, and then obviously you can make cufflinks imagine making fancy cufflinks with this section Lovely. here really nice so again you've got if you bought say two that's your cufflinks and your earrings mm -hmm. um mm. or you'd like to say mix it up it's just a really really pretty component yeah and things like for cufflinks a lot of those when you buy them, they're going to be base metal, aren't they? Yes, yes. Lovely for a special occasion. Yeah, yeah. I 
when, um, this is not that long ago, local shops, they had a sale on, and right by the front of the counter, it was one of those like unisex shops, right by the front of the counter was like discounted cufflinks. Yeah. And they were really unusual ones. I mean, they weren't my cup of tea. They, no. were, some, they were really, they were odd ones and they were super random. Like one of them was a dog on one and then the other one was like a pool cue or like a, it, or like oh, a... Oh, very random. I yeah, it was like... I thought it'd be a bone or something. Yeah, like, no, that's it was what something really bizarre. Assume. It was strange pairings. Um, and they were on offer and they were £12. Yes. But they were just Face metal. They weren't even a branded yeah. thing. Um, to be able to offer solid sterling silver is really special. I'm going to move on now. Well done all! Okie pokes. Uh, Pete, don't let me forget to pick up the other side of it. <laughs> um, let's go and get... The <clears throat> oh, okay. Final. Now, let me just tell you this, because this is interesting, you may or may not know this, but sometimes if a producer schedules the same item, because I had a different producer yesterday, because B Diddy, um, as a life outside of work, which I'm not sure about, but uh, B Diddy was not in yesterday, so <laughs> we scheduled these yesterday, I played these yesterday, but because B Diddy will have already scheduled them previously, she will have had a small amount in her, um, in her schedule for today. We've literally only got 16 of them, but these sold out yesterday. B Diddy has now got the final ones of these in her schedule, but this one literally sold out yesterday. So we have 16 left in the entire business. We are bringing to you solid sterling silver slider bracelet. So you see the two loops at the end? Complete the circuit. So maybe you want to put in between those two loops, let's say, five garnets of your choice. Complete the loop there. This is then your clasp, and you've got your slider to be able to really simply really easily change up the length of that to open it to close it it's one of those great things because i don't know if, if you're anything like me but i don't wear bracelets that often because i feel like i'm in cirque du soleil every time i'm trying to take it mm. off you sort of have to contort your body if you've got a love school class and you kind of balance it and you've got to sort of you can't do it with one hand can you no. it, and it's, it's tricky to do slider bracelet you can do it yourself really really simplistically Got eight now for you, your price, £14.95 only. That beautiful cubic zirconia oh, in I the centre there. And I love that it's a star in a heart. That's beautiful. So there's loads of them. Um, and we're in February, and what's coming up in February? My birthday. There, there is that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My trip Correct, to Paris, on the my trip to Paris. Yes, yes. yes, yeah, yeah, how romantic. It is, yes, and it's also a roundabout. Valentine's the day, day that we at the Beehive go skating. Yes, we're oh, going roller amazing. skating. I need to in know. In Derby. That. Yeah. So they're going to come in Me one the day. They're going to tune in, and yeah, Becky's going to have like bandages around her head. Yeah. Because you know how clumsy I am. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you have just tuned in whilst you're checking out on these, if you don't know exactly who the Beehive are, let me tell you. We are the Beehive. We call ourselves the Beehive. Why? Because we're all bees. Hi, nice to see you. I'm Becky. I've also got with me today, my producer is also a Becky. I call her B Diddy, safe confusion. Hi B Diddy. We've also got, uh, B Diddy as you know is the queen bee of this show. We've also got our worker bee. Yeah, it's Bruce. Hey Bruce. And today our honey of the group is the lovely P. Hi hon. The P is on the beehive. Yeah, yeah. What happened to the Redicon Rebels? Yes, yeah, sorry, that's, that's gone. gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I'm binding. Yeah, exactly. You're part of the B. I I don't spell B. You always can spell B. So yeah, spell B. B. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's lovely to be with you uh, today. Well done on that. I've literally, I've got two left and I've got four people with it in the baskets. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, do you think we should have that as like a thing? If anyone joins the team, it's like, do you have any bees in your name? If not, yeah. sorry, this, yeah. this team ain't for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, let's do... Oh, more sterling silver. I've got genuine gemstones coming up. I've got so many treats here. That's beautiful. Is it just me or has this got a touch of the Swarovski Pandora? Links of London, yes, Thomas yes. Sabo about it. It totally has, yeah. Doesn't I mean, it? Th that would be, it would fit very happily into any of those designs, wouldn't it? That yeah, component. it really would. What, the thing that I like about this as I'm looking at it is the fact that as soon as those brands come into mind, 
Those brands are high street brands for a reason. When we think about Swarovski, for example, Swarovski has stores in about 170 countries. Mm -hmm. They have employed, just in the crystal related part of their business, around about 29,000 people, Swarovski do, just in like the crystal section. And the fact of the matter is, if the likes of them would create something that would look similar to this, it's not the same, but would create something similar to this, they are a brand who make millions and millions and millions yeah. in a year. Um, that is because they're going to create things that are saleable. Yeah. So surely this that reminds you of those big brands is going to be saleable for you now yes. if you make and sell your jewellery or gift your jewellery. Yeah, definitely. And it's... It's nice because you can then put your stamp on, actually, this is unique by me. Yes. So this has been designed. I have got this component, I've added it to this element, and this is this, and I've created this design. Yeah. So it's got exclusivity almost to it. Totally you know, it's agree. It's not something you go down and you are not going to a party and everyone's going to be wearing that same charm. Totally. Because it's, it's, but it's different. still got that look of, oh, where'd you get that from? Yeah. Is that a new, new charm available? Or? Do you mind if I nab one of your stretchy bracelets? Thank you so much. Imagine this in between on a stretchy bracelet. That is the perfect size. Yeah. What are these like? Are these like an eight mil? About? Yes, I think they're eight mil. That's How that. perfect would that be if you use your imagination? Perfect. Say that's threaded through and that's where your knot would be. Yeah. In fact, with something like that, you could just have one, Sorry. like you say, hide the knot. Or you could actually have a couple, I have maybe say three. three. Yeah. As a focal at the front. Yeah. Sort of separate it out. This is the uh, melted silver design yeah. you did, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. You put it up on your Instagram. Yeah. I love this as a design. Yeah, it was. It's just a bit of fun melting it down, see what happens, playing with soldering cool a little that? bit. Yeah. Have you ever done soldering on air? No, no, no. I went to see Haley, and, the gorgeous um, Haley Crew, yeah. go guest designer, and um, we love yeah, her. so she sort of went through the basics with me, and I was really, really pleased when. JM were actually able to bring it as a technique on air yeah. because it's such an interesting technique. And That's I believe cool, Fleur is going to be doing on Friday some re re reticulation. Yeah, which is pretty much what this is. That's really cool. So, yeah, that? again, if you use your sterling silver scraps when you're buying it. You know, I'm cutting this chain and there's some little tiny, tiny little bits. Here. Keep them all, melt it. That's all I was doing. I was just like, mm, play it. Solder, see what happens. That's cool, isn't yeah. it? We have got 95 your prize point today. £7,096.95 wow. for you. <laughs> think about those brands I I've mentioned and think about how like much you can pay for those. What are you thinking? £30? £40? £50? You know, it can change yeah. dramatically. When I was in Disneyland, I went to Disneyland a few weeks ago, and they have a Pandora shop in... Is it Pandora? Yeah, they do. They have a Pandora shop in Disney. And they have, obviously, little exclusive things yeah, and stuff you can get there. Limited yeah. edition. You can maybe only get them there or whatever. And they are enameled pieces of metal, yes. a lot of them. And genuinely, and I know this sounds over the top, well, it does to me, because I'm seeing this price, but... £68 as like a base rate one, and then some of them were triple figures. And they weren't much bigger than this. No. And they really want, and I understand that's to do with the exclusivity, etc. Mm. But people who are out there are maybe used to seeing these types can of I have prices. That I've just of course had you can. Used to those types of prices will think you've paid a lot more on this. There you go. Hang on, how about. Yeah. I'll just let you know. Love it. Very so, nice. Again, you could then use that almost like a carrier bead. So yeah. you could actually put a drop if you wanted to. But put three of those on there. Beautiful. Or three of those on some chain. Very chic. And like you say, still paying a quarter of what you would if you were to go into a high street store. Totally. I love them. Well done, every single one of you. Stone silver wire on its way, don't forget. Let's bring. Where are you, friend? Oh, wow! Rose gold. Was this yesterday's deal of the day? No. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. I absolutely love this. I didn't actually uh, have a chance to properly bring these to you yesterday. Um, I love this chain. So there's different types of chain, and I know a lot of you will know this, but forgive me, it's, it's for anyone who's new. Lots of different types of chain, and there's different sort of family groups of chain as well. 
Some family groups, like the basic family group as they're often known, are generally a link into a link. They are more affordable, but they are more prone to breaking as a general rule. You then have more elaborate chains that sort of concentrically sit into one another and loop into one another, almost in a chainmail-like design. And these are known for their sturdiness. They're also known for their complexity. Quite a lot of the time, it's Italian design, who obviously... Um, think of Italian design chain, you think about strength, you think about sturdiness, but you also think about ingenuity. This to me is all of those things. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking the strength of those links. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking about the ingenuity of these all linking into one another. I'm looking at this and I am seeing how, and I'm looking really, really closely at this. I genuinely even though I'm looking very, very closely, I genuinely can't quite get to grasps with how all of this works together <laughs> yeah, because it is so incredibly intricate. Yeah. The fact of that intricacy means it's perfect for a slider bracelet because as you're moving that mechanism backwards and forwards, remember again, you complete the link, so finish that loop off maybe with a oh, few gem snows or whatever. That's a perfect combination, Gorgeous colour and match, yeah. And then, because that is so sturdy, you're going to be able to tighten, loosen, tighten, loosen, time after time, wear after wear, year after year possibly, and that chain is going to be able to stand that test of time. It's a beautiful, luxurious look. We have got for you rose gold, and we're going to mimic yesterday's deal of the day price. So if you were busy, don't worry, you've got yourself a deal there. $15.95 for you. It is real beauty and ingenuity. It's real luxury I'll hold it out for you as well um, and move that down a little bit so you can see the 925 mark on it you've got those lovely spherical um, stoppers on the end there which uh, add real nice detail but also mean of course that slider won't come off if you wanted it to before making you can take it off the other end and it's relatively easy to get back on £15.95 pence for you today. If rose gold is your idea of a good time, I've got rose gold hoop earrings and those lovely chain earrings too. Well done. Okay, very few of those left. I am going to bring to you now something that we very sporadically bring to you. I remember the first time I ever brought you a magnetic chain because it was a real, it was a real coup that we were able to bring them to your magnetic class, sorry. It was a real coup that we were able to bring it to you. And I don't know if you remember these, I know you will spell me, but it was a magnetic class that was plastic. Do you remember? Oh, I think I do. They were plastic magnetic clasps and they would have like a silver colour over them. Yes. And they were really popular, blew out the door. So we decided to extend, extend our range. And then it took us a while, because things like this do, especially when you're, in certain cases, designing them yourself, as we have done in the past. And then we really worked on getting a base metal with a silver plating over the top, which again is a real boon, because mm -hmm. now it's, it's a nice sturdy metal. That's great, it's brilliant. And then we decided to up our game even further, and this is where we have landed. Solid sterling silver. Let's remind ourselves that's 925 parts silver out of a thousand. 92.5% genuine silver. That is luxury upon luxury. We could just stop there and kept it simple, but with this design, we've upped our game even further. Floral magnetic clasp right here, right now. <laughs> Bringing to you today this very, very decorative, solid sterling silver clasp. This is your magnetic clasp, which has a loop to attach to at the top and would also have a loop on the other side. The fact of the matter is though, oop, we, uh, ooh, ooh, I don't know where the back's gone, but I don't know, I don't know, I've probably flung it across the floor. Um, maybe. But what we've got here is basically a magnetic clasp. This means it is easy 
as pi to do up and undo, but it's sturdy and secure, particularly with this design, because the back will lock in and the loop will stick out. So you wouldn't just be able to pull that section out because it would have to jump down to be able to do that. So it's a nice and secure one as well. Please remember that if you do have a pacemaker or you're gifting this to someone who would, we would not recommend giving the magnetic class. Do your research on that if you're worried or you need to know a little bit more. We have got such a decorative design. I love the way that those, those petals envelop one another. I love the way that you get these sways and moves of, of almost sort of dappled light on, on you know, a still lake because we've got that brush detail. So illuminating, so beautiful, so popular. Um, we have now only got 19 of those ones left. Good luck, everybody. Your price point today is just £12.95. Many, many multi-buyers in on this one. Do feel free to grab them. I, we very rarely see class like this. Why? Because we get them in and they whoo, fly out the door. So um, do seize the moment on this. That lovely cubic zirconia right in the centre there, that stamen point, drawing your eye in even further. I think it's such a beautiful um, piece. And I will just say to you, I'm at the point of over-allocation as it stands now, um, but literally only just. So I think at the moment there's only one person missing out, including the people on the phone lines. Still worth ringing in though, because you might check out before the other person does. So may as well treat yourself, because we don't see these often at all. No, we don't. Only nine of them available at this point. Do feel free to get in quick. And remember, I've got five meters of chain coming up for you in a bit. I have also got lever back earrings for those of you who love that silver like look. Um, I have also got for you hoop earrings. I've got I've already done for you crimps or spaces, if you will. I've got clasps to come. I've got genuine gemstones to come. I've got demonstrations to come. This really is a Sunday upon Sundays. So stay tuned and stick with us because we've got loads and loads more to bring you. I literally have two left at this point, but I've got a fair few here with it in your basket. So grab it whilst you can and good luck one and all. Let me just tell you about my next star buy, if I may, which is the... Um, earrings with the Figaro uh, chain and I'll bring them to you in a little bit. For it though, I'm going for, I've got less than 30. It's a meter of chain. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. Um, you're going to have to be quick. I've got less than 30. Meter of chains are always popular and look at this one, the Spiegel chain. So intricate and so it drapes beautifully. I love the drape on a chain like this. I love the way that this moves. I love the way that imagining, you know, that you're wearing this on the decolletage. Just look at how that ripples almost like sort of silver silk. Whoa, less than five now. 14.95, good luck. Oh, blimey. <laughs> less than five, less than four now. Over allocated. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Sold out. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, bring in to you. Sorry she missed out on that. Some of these are just low, low in stock and very popular. How's about now? Oh, tell me what should... Gold chain. Gold slider. So the rose gold one that I did earlier on, this is the gold version. Gold is a hot property colour for 2020. I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of homeware is now going gold. Have you seen that in when you're out shopping? Um, it is a big hot trend for... Um, 2020 possibly because it is so luxurious looking mm -hmm. possibly as well because silver's always been a, a trend um, but rose gold is obviously still in but I think that's maybe drawing people's eye more towards those richer colors we're bringing to you the Midas touch of your slider bracelets and today your prize £15.95 pence for you today. Plot spoiler alert, it's £15.95. So if you do fancy grabbing it, just as a reminder, info's at the bottom of your screen. 0800 644 Press 1 and you get through to a human. Yeah, <laughs> genuine real person. None of this, uh, you know... What would you like to order? <laughs> Slider bracelet. Did you say? Ring. Slider <laughs> burger? No, like, no, no. Oh, the arguments you have with that. Oh, it drives me mental. Especially with your accent, because your accent's quite strong, isn't it? <laughs> It is though. <laughs> it is though, because these things are sort of... Coming from you. What? <laughs> I don't think I've got an accent. <laughs> You don't think I've got an accent? You don't accent. think she's got an accent? No. Nah. 
Bland me. She ain't got an accent. <laughs> you can't even do my accent, can you? I don't try. I mean, don't unlike get me some, wrong. Unlike some. I mean, Go don't on, get me wrong. Get when I'm like system. hanging around with me, like granddad and stuff, who's like proper northern. Ooh, ooh, blimey. I sound like, um, I don't know, I sound like I'm from the arches or somewhere. It's proper, ooh, do you know what I mean? Oh, I go into pub and all that. Oh, I love it. Um, <laughs> I love your accent, but your <laughs> accent, I can imagine, is quite tricky for those things. <laughs> I find it hard to understand yeah, half I've the said time. To you, I'm not, I'm not as broad Bristolian as um, some. No, that's true. Yeah, because your friends have real thick accents, actually. I love the Bristolian accent, I do. I wish I could actually do it. Yeah, um, I wish you could as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring to you a very decorative clasp now. I love toggle clasps because they're quite easy to undo and they're quite recognisable. But I love when you're getting toggle clasps that have the added benefit of something like the texture to them because it not only looks beautiful but for pure grippability, if you will, yeah. it actually makes a difference. Yeah. Because these have got that texture, they're less likely to slip and slide and, and kind of fall out of a design and fall out of a piece. But of course, it adds to that lovely undulation of light, doesn't it? Yes. I mean, and again, it's it's if you've got like a twisted chain or something yeah. like that, it's going to tie in with your necklace. You were saying about the speaker bracelet that we've had with the um, with the twist, the spiral kind of chain to it. If you we do sterling silver versions necklaces of those, you can remove the clasp and swap it for that, and you're going to have that beautiful sort of movement going the, around the whole piece. Maybe switch it so that it's up, actually at the front. Yeah. And have idea. like a, a charm or something going Great from idea. it. Great idea. We have got that beautiful texture, that beautiful luxury look. Four pounds and 95 pence for you. If you do fancy grabbing them, do feel free to get on board. And remember, it's not just a free phone number. You can download and tap the app. It's free, don't you know? Um, you can also join us at jurymaker.com as well if you want to make an order that way. And speaking of freebies, oh, you get freebies with your first order. You've got to love that. Um, we think like DVDs and free strands. 29 of these ones are now available. And can I just let you know that these are a slightly daintier um, toggle than maybe uh, we've seen of late. So for even something like an earring, you were saying charms and stuff, but that'd be quite a nice little design, wouldn't it? Just that loop It'd be really bottom. pretty. And what you could almost do then is take a little bit of stone and silver wire. And because of a twist, it would blend in. You could wrap a gemstone into the middle. Oh, that's a lovely idea. So imagine if you had like a lovely pearl or something like that. Great plan. Um, you could actually wrap that in the middle. Or, and I'm going to go back to these Laramars because they're beautiful. Five o'clock ish. One of those as a drop from that, and that almost like a connector. Divine. Like a, a, a fancy jump ring yeah. effect. I think that's beautiful. Fifth. Dean of those ones available for you now um, only and uh, we've, we've still got an amount so if you do want them do check out but um, I'm going to move on because I'm bringing to you now, say again, a slightly smoother toggle class now. Oh this has got a lovely profile to it. A lot of metal in this considering the size. A gram. That is a lot of metal to have in a clasp. I like this because if I show you it from the side, you've got that slightly daintier profile, but then turn it around and that's when you get the sort of wallop of solid sterling silver, that real whopper of silver. We're getting you one full grams worth and that is the detail there. Let me show you that wonderful, almost nautical knot, very unisex this, on the bar itself. Both uh, does state 925 on it so people know you're giving them the good quality and today we're bringing to you for the final 50, Five for you today that's all and we've uh, not got a huge amount of those ones available again so if you do fancy grabbing them the, then do toggle class are so recognizable aren't they everyone knows what a toggle class does yeah I know that sounds silly but if I showed someone who was brand new a crimp bead they wouldn't probably guess that you have to close it down close it down and no, what it, it does it's a yeah, you know, you know what you're going to do with it. You see it on bracelets, you see it on charm bracelets. And I'm going to go back to what you said earlier about with the magnetic clasp about having um, it's a struggle to put a bracelet on. Right. Um, and so I love using toggle clasps on a bracelet, on a charm style bracelet or something like that because it's easy to put on and off again. Yeah. Um, but also that, and that's why it's nice to have this variety that we've got, like we've had a couple Great. of different styles. This to me would be a bracelet charm. Perfect. Um, Sold clasp. out. Yeah. Sold out. 
Well done. Um, let me bring to you now, what are these little treasures? Oh, love these ones. Twisted spacer tubes. You know Morse code jewellery? Have you seen Morse code mm -hmm. jewellery before? For those who don't know, Morse code is obviously made up of dashes and dots. And people have started doing jewellery whereby they will spell out a code in jewellery using dashes and dots. So, for example, um, my best friend Tom got me a bracelet that spelled out BFF, best friends forever. Oh, that's so cute. Um, these would be great if you've got, say, four mil ribbed or, or, or twisted spacers. These would be great as the dashes. And they're the perfect size because... Morse code, obviously, it takes up quite a lot of space dependent on letter. So if you, you know, do want to spell something out, you don't want a really long tube yes. spacer, do you? No, exactly. It, it's something that you can know. I love the idea of the um, Morse code because of the fact yeah. that it's secret to you almost, isn't it? It's yes, almost like totally. a secret message and it's not sort of being splashed everywhere it's no. such a message it's personal to you and no one knows what it is except for you exactly yeah, yeah. that is a lovely way of putting it um, it's almost like having something engraved on the inside yeah. you know like um, my usual tech op adam he has his wedding ring and that is engaged on the inside with the date of uh, they got married um you know it's it's a really beautiful way of seeing something a little bit different, see, doing something a little bit more unusual. And just as an idea as well, if you are thinking, Bex, I quite like the idea of this Morse code jewellery. You know, some of the Morse code words are kind of spell out individually, you know, individual letters. So, for example, say your initial is B, which mine sort of is, I suppose, Becky. Um, a B is spelled dash dot dot dot. Right. So, if you, let's do one for P. Pete, do you know what your, what P is in Morse code off the top of your head? No, no. don't remember it from school, no. <laughs> Why would you? Um, you, yours is quite nice. You're a dot dash dash dot. Oh, yeah. That's nice, that. I like that. Um, Oh, I nearly did S for spellbinding. Just to let you know, S is dot dot dot, <laughs> which I like. Not that you would ever need to know that, really. Uh, but <laughs> there let's is no do L in my actual You are name. a dot dash <laughs> dot dot. So there you go. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, you can spell things out like that. So you could actually like wear your own initials, couldn't yeah. you, on a bracelet? Or the initials of your partner or your family. Yeah, that's a nice one. And um, we have got for you <laughs> six pounds and ninety-five pence today on these ones. Of course, they're great as spacers to space out your gemstones as well, um, especially with that twist detail. Um, how, how are you at keeping focus if I roll this? We call it the ready can roll. I like to roll stuff sometimes. Try me out. This is the test. Okay, so I'm going to gently sort of move this one to oh. see the movement on it. It's going to go forward. You get me? Yeah. Hang on. I've got to go again. Oh, Carradine's very good at this. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're good at that. <laughs> He's with you. are matching. I'm going again, Pete, just so you can see the movement. It's my, my university skills coming in. Is this what it is? Oh, Oh, I hope. Oh, it's getting tough. Oh, you nearly lost it, but you pulled no, it back. But what I like about us seeing the movement on this is the fact that you can... I'm going to come back now, Pete. The <laughs> fact that you can imagine wearing this and it... I'm going to go back towards you. And how it's going to move on a bracelet. What is this? Is, it, is this helping? Yeah, because you can imagine now how that's going to look when it's re revolving on your wrist line. And that's the great thing about the twist. Um, it really adds a little bit of, of intrigue. Well done to every single one of you. Let's bring out... Oh, I love, love, love these. Bar jewellery is really in. You know the bar rings that go across like two fingers that yeah. are really, really cool. Um, I really like them because they, I think they're quite a statement. They're very modern. They're almost architectural. That kind of trend, I think, is great as well because it's um, it opens up opportunities for personalization, but also gives a big impact without being too fussy. Yeah. This is the earring version of it. That beautiful, oh, strong, sturdy bar. Those. It does come with your butt fly backs, as you can see. Um, but yeah, big, sturdy, strong look. That hasn't got movement to it. So if you've got a gemstone, if you want to add chain to this, that juxtaposition between the movement of the right. chain and the um, you know strength, let's say, of the post is going to look so beautiful. 
I love as well that we've got this sort of dappled effect and that dappled texture on the surface. When you're seeing something like this, oh, spells, you're an no, absolute it's, it's angel. It's only been put through, yeah, yeah. so just to get the idea. That's an idea. Yeah, beautiful. That kind of juxtaposition of that actual movement of the chain, yeah. it really adds beauty, doesn't it? And that, um, that sort of drill hole is sizable, so you could get a, cu a couple of... Um, of those in there, so great. or you could put a jump ring in there and have um, a drop, Even more whatever of you a want. Drop, yeah. yeah, I like these. I think they have got a, although they're quite <coughs> architectural and therefore quite stylized. I feel like with that dappling, oh, this could just be me. But I always think if it looks like something that Baldrick could have dug up on Time Team. What's his name? I always forget his name. Tony Robinson, thank you. Bullshit. Tony right. Robinson. <laughs> if it looks like something Tony Robinson could dig up him and his pals on Time Team, there is an age, an ageless and a timeless element to that that almost breaks the trends. Yeah. Because it looks so ancient, so vintage. It wouldn't matter if it was, you know, 2020 or it's, it, yeah, it, 12, it's 20. not defined Just by me. A, um, an, an age or a century, totally. is it? Is and that that's what I feel yeah. about these. You can wear these, you know, this year, next year, 40 years from now, and because of that texture, they will still be relevant, I think, anyway. I've got for you today your 95 sterling silvers. They are just £5.95 at this moment in time. Oh, it's I a love lovely, them. lovely look and detail. And also, it could be quite interesting to do them for cross piercings. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Where you've got two piercings close together. Yes. You could almost do something or make it look like... But it would look like you've got... If you wanted it to look, you can actually have... Um, you could position it so you twist it so the actual metal goes up the ear. And yeah. It looks like you've got um, a sort of like you say a double piercing or something like that yeah but i think again it's very sleek in its look isn't it so mm. the way it's going to sit actually in your ear it's going to sit right up there and give that drop of metal mm. i actually just love love it as it is mm. um you could set in that little drill hole you could set a little srosky crystal or one of the little um one of our <laughs> yeah 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 ah. <laughs> Um, you could set something into that little drill hole, couldn't you? Like a little gemstone or a little frosky. Great and idea. have a little sparkle to it. If you fancy grabbing them, now's your chance to do so. If you um, remember as well, when we're looking at the beauty of silver like this, we are looking at something which is always, always going to be popular, something that is always going to be appreciated and something which, you know, has been famous. When we talk about silver, let's remember, we have seen ancient pieces of uh, silver being separated since as early as 3000 BC. This is something which has been around and been popular for a very long time. And it really is, I think, one of those things that it's never going to go anywhere. No. It's a constant, isn't it? I Especially mean, of this luxury quality and look. Multi-buyers, everyone. And again, for me, that's something you could just actually have in your stash because say your friend comes around and you forgot it's her birthday yeah. or, you know, that's a ready-made gift. Totally. You know, or something yeah. you can say, oh, I've got these, I want to make something personal for you. Go and choose some gemstones, yeah. and I'll make it into a pair of earrings for you now. Now, don't judge me on this, and you're my friend, and I'm, I'm in company with my family team here. It's always worrying when you get started with the don't. It's like a no offence, but... But, yeah, when you know <laughs> someone's going to be offensive. Um, you know you have, like, your gift box for when people come over and you go, oh, darn, they've brought you a bottle of wine or whatever, and yeah, you've yeah. forgotten, and you did, you've just got my card or whatever. Um, I went into that the other day because someone had come over and, uh, oh, that was it. We did Christmas present swap. And do you ever get that time whereby someone's Christmas presents are so much better than yours? Oh, yeah. So you do the casual, oh, I don't, I'm like, sorry, I'm upstairs, but I like. And then you run upstairs <laughs> yeah, and you grab totally, it. Yeah. So I gifted, you know, standard procedure in there. You're talking tins of bickies, aren't you? You're talking chocolate boxes, things like that. All wrapped, Christmas paper. Took it downstairs. Is opening his present and it was like a you know triple layer chocolate um out of date by over a year bless him but the thing is i'd obviously spotted it because i was like oh my gosh how long have they been up there he didn't say anything do you feel i should have gone oh no sorry they're out of date because i didn't <laughs> just looked at him like oh my gosh i've just given him them out of date not even by a month yeah, or two I've, that, yes exactly 
Yeah, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to take them back because they're clearly out of date and I literally bought them like two weeks ago. That's not acceptable. I'm gonna take these back to the shop and I'm, that's what I'm So you're, you're trying to tell me it's better to <laughs> lie to someone's face yeah. than yeah. it is to blatantly ignore the issue. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a strong then, agreement then from everyone. Then you can everyone. take the present back. Right. <laughs> you know you're not giving your friend out of date chocolate. Yeah, good. You're removing it from them. Good. And saying, I'll get you an, a better I'll get you box. another one. And then you one. get another one in date. Oh, darn it. Right, I'll know for now. Next time <laughs> that I inevitably do give our out of date chocolates. Um, well done, everybody, on those ones. I have got so many treats coming up. Genuine gemstones. Keep your peepers peeled on Spellby. She's whipping up a storm next to me. Let's go for now. Oh, this is absolutely adorable. We were talking about the crown last night, weren't we? We were, yeah. Have you watched it? I've not. I feel like it's I've watched about five joy. episodes of it. Yeah. But it's one of those that is very. Once you start, you do want to watch it. It's just finding the time. Yeah. I like this because it's got a regality to it, but also for me, it's like a prom crown or a beauty pageant crown. It's maybe for the princess in your life as well. I absolutely adore this. I think it's so, so uh, elegant, yeah, cute. cute. But I believe it's something that anyone could could oh, wear. Yeah, definitely. Of any age, you know. I think it's one of those that you can personalise that to people. So if I was thinking my 11-year-old daughter, Kayla, for yeah. instance, I'd probably just pop that on a jump ring and a chain. There you go, Kayla. Lovely. I might possibly add a little gemstone, like a little pearl for her birthstone or something like yeah, that. Yeah, because you could do that with the space. Yeah, you can. And the thing is, she knows her birthstones. Obviously, she's She's in my studio all the time, so yeah. she, she knows gemstones, so she finds it interesting. So you could do that. But if I was making it for maybe you, I might be like, okay, or, or Becky or somebody, I might make it on a longer star necklace and have that with a couple of charms and make it a little bit more I get sort you. of, you know, versatile in its yeah, style. Yeah, I see. Because you yeah. can see a younger person wearing it as a straight up necklace. Simplistically. But you yeah. might want to sort of change it up a little bit for another person. So I think that's what you can do with something like that. That's a lovely way of putting it, yeah. So it's a beautiful sort of statement that designers is, but there's so much you could add to yeah. it to really make it different, because there's yeah. so many spaces in there. Your price point today for your crown. £4.95. pence. Queen B, you'd wear this, I reckon. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How would you wear it? Would How you would go you necklace or charm or... Necklace, would you go longer go. style or would you go short? Or would you layer it and maybe have it as a drop there and then a longer style? Ooh. Choker style. I like that. That's a nice idea. That's a really nice idea. Mm. Um, we have got something for everyone here. £4.95 today. Good work, absolutely. Every single one of you. Um, a beautiful look and design here for just £4.95. Size on this, you're looking at around about an 18 by 14 mil. So not too far off for two centimetres. Um, sort of side to side, if you will. £4.95. Remember, your potion packaging is £3.95. Not every time you check out. Not every time you call up. Not, not even... every item. Yeah. Not even, because some places... Is it you who was telling me about this? A certain brand, if you buy the certain brand and then the brand changes or whatever, it's different for a different brand. There's a certain shopping channel that charge you per item. So mm -hmm. even if it's the same brand, you, you're still paying for like, if you bought that, and that and that yeah you would pay the postage three times right got you okay it's okay. not combined it is per item no ours is combined and it's 4.99 and per you... item right okay so you can buy one item and your potion packaging is 3.95 or you can buy 101 items before midnight and it's still only 3.95 so make the most of it let's go for some wire sterling silver wire alert wow wow one mil, structural, sturdy, great for clasps, great for neckline designs, great for bracelets, great for earring additions, great for spellbinding, Laura bindings, wire work extraordinarism. You <laughs> love a one mil in sterling silver, don't you? I do love you? a one mil, yeah, I think it's brilliant. Um, it's your base, isn't it? It's your strength, so... Um you know, with stone and silver, you know you're going to get that malleability with it. It's mm -hmm. going to be soft and it's going to be easy to work with. Um, and then it's great, again, we touched on soldering, as we said earlier. It's great to solder this and hammer it and make a, um, a ring if you wanted to. You great. can make earrings with them, make your own sort of hoops. Um, it's just brilliant. I just think it's a great medium to have. 
the fact of the matter is as well you're working with real luxury here and what I like about a one mil is if I were to bring you four mil by itself I wouldn't be able to think of anything off the top of my head that you'd be able to quickly make no. with it but with a one mil you can just use yeah. it as is by itself 9.95 for you today I have got so 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 much more coming up for you I've got demos with spellbinding Laura binding I've also got these incredible earrings coming up after the break we've got hoop earrings on their way makes galore more inspiration we're back owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. 
You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. It is wonderful to be with you today, especially as it's the last day, but still full day or sterling silver event. It's beautiful to be with you. My name's Becky. I'm joined by Spellbinding Laura Banding, and we are talking trends. You will know full well that at this time of the year, it is all about looking forward to the trends. Even if you are not a trend follower, and you yourself say that you aren't a follower I'm of not. fashion, you aren't a dedicated follower no. of fashion, and it's it's and that is absolutely completely fine. The interesting thing is, I think that even though you might not classify yourself as a trend follower, at one point or another, you cannot help falling into a trend pattern. I don't know if this is just is just me, but have you ever seen when, for example, I remember a few years ago, the Pantone colour of the year was that masala colour, the sort of dark burnt red almost. And for me personally, I didn't like it. It wasn't my idea of a, a colour that I appreciated. And at the very beginning of the year, I thought, oh no, that's not for me. And then next year ticks around, looking my wardrobe, and mm -hmm. I have just got dress after dress, top yeah. after top, with it this masala colour. It without you realising, doesn't it? But also, obviously, the shops catch on to it. So there's more of them in the shops. And mm. when you're out shopping and you see them and the collection all in together, you can't help but go, oh, actually, I do quite like that now. I'm mentioning this because I believe the same thing happens with trends in jewellery. So, um, if you remember of last year, you know the turban style hairbands that have been really in fashion? The sort of hairbands that have the twist at the top? They're really in fashion. Again, at the start of the year, it wasn't something for me. It wasn't something that I was mm -hmm. interested to. Now, genuinely, I must have about seven or eight of them. <laughs> and I love them. I wouldn't say that I necessarily follow the likes of Vogue, Tatler, um, for example. Um, I'm thinking like Mary Claire and things like that. I don't necessarily get them to follow the fashions. But actually, having a look at those always gives you a nod towards a trend which inevitably if you're not going to be wearing it straight away you probably will after a few months because the high street becomes saturated with a watered down version of this in september um, of last year vogue um, harper's bazaar and uh, mary claire had their trends of 2020 based on New York Fashion, Fashion Week, London Fashion Week and Milan Fashion Week. The biggest jewellery trend that came out as number one on all of these three things were statement drape earrings. Statement earrings on trend but for you to put your own twist. So, although, as I've mentioned, this trend of statement earrings might not be for you, you can make these whatever you wish them to be in your style, in your design, in your look. Now, I'm well aware that if you've not seen these before, you might think, Bex, how on earth do they work? And let me tell you how they work. I agree with you, Peter, today. They do look uncomfortable. They totally do. And I will be straight with you, before I owned these, I thought that that is exactly what they would be. But I do own them now, and I wear them so often. So let me just tell you, this bar section here goes through the lobe like a normal piercing. You know, like your normal butterfly bag. That goes through the piercing. Your, uh, this chain then goes through your piercing itself. Now, if you notice that the chain is actually finer than the bar, that means that you push the bar through and you genuinely cannot even feel the chain going through because no. it's actually smaller than the bar itself. So it, 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 it made me a little bit of a tickle for half a second, but that is it. 
And then this is the section where your ear sits. And again, it is the same thickness as the bar that you would have on a normal stud earring. So again, that section is very, very comfortable. That then drapes at the back of the ear. I have seen people wear them the other way around as well. It's absolutely up to you. But that then drapes at the back of the ear coming behind the lobe. And this is the section which comes in front of the lobe. This chain is different. It's chunkier. And, uh, and also on this one has um, that sort of opera length design, uh, that opera style design. And it has the larger loops, meaning you can add gemstones to this. You can add more chain to this. You could add charms to this. You can just have one at the base if you mm -hmm. wanted to. But look at the aperture on there think about adding like a bubble style to each of those almost like a waterfall effect of gemstones you can really go to town with these you can't really you can. yeah in fact i'll show in a moment how you can put some gemstones onto it perfect to make the earrings um what i love about this is that it, there are a couple of different variations of this style of earring and the, i like this because it has that metal where mm -hmm. it is so when I first started seeing these kind of earrings, which was a long time ago, mm -hmm. they were literally almost, so if I hold this piece of chain up, they were literally like a piece of chain like that. Yeah. But one had that sort of bar on, which yes. was the threader, um, and the other had a loop on. So yeah. it would literally be like a piece of chain like that, one with a little piece of metal no here, solid pop, pop, and then yeah, that no there. solid sit. That, the good thing about that is you can adjust yeah. the wearability, so you can decide whether you want it that length or yeah. that length. However, the bad thing is it can naturally move Just, and adjust itself. Yeah. With this, <clears throat> it sits in your it ear where it's and meant it to. stays where it's meant to and the design stays balanced and it's so easy, like you say, easy and comfortable to mm -hmm. wear. I just think it gives it a more finished look as well. It looks Completely. like a design, yeah. you know, rather than a piece of chain that's just kind of been added to. What it is. I think this <clears throat> is so chic, so stylish, and I'm so glad that so many of you are on board with this many of you multi purchasing the statement earring trend is here to stay and this is a way of getting that nod towards a very contemporary look but also the beauty of something which has almost got a 1920s sort of flapper girl you know lots of layers frills yeah. etc about it too mm -hmm. These genuinely need to be tried to be believed. We're bringing them to you today at a sensational, sensational deal. For the pair, a lot of metal, by the way, £5.95 pence only for you today. I think these are just so beautiful. They really are yeah. unique and individual, aren't they? They really are. And again, like you say, beautiful just as they are, just as a chain style earring. Yeah. They're lovely. Um, but I just love the fact that you can... So for me, my style of earrings is I don't like big over-the-top earrings, mm -hmm. personally. I, I don't feel comfortable in them. Mm -hmm. I feel very aware of them. But... For me, I get that statement look with these, but I feel but comfortable not, with yes, them because too I'm OCT. getting um, dramatic, yeah. but in a comfortable way for me. And I feel that I could wear these and I would wear them happily. You know, if you go into another steel, you could put a Swarovski crystal on the bottom of it or a drop. Yeah, and you've beautiful. got a beautiful, completely sterling silver pair of earrings. They're going to be great for anybody with metal. Um, They're fab. That price for a pair is incredible. Let me just remind you as well how these work. So imagine that this is your piercing, this is your earlobe. Literally, it is a case of the bar going, I'll do it on this one, the bar going through as a normal, that's where your normal stud earring would sit. The smaller chain that is smaller than the bar, so you really can't even feel it, you literally loop that through, that sits there in the lobe, that is your design. So that is the look you get. You move your head, you see both layers, you're mm. getting the opportunity to give something really a unique spin here. Um, so definitely, definitely so grab them. I would, because they're so, so beautiful. I'm happy to show how you would add a gemstone to that if you want me to quickly. Yes, please, if you don't mind. Okay. So, this is how quick and easy these are to work with. So, I've got this beautiful strand of um, garnet here. Mm -hmm. um, Bringing it later. So, I'm just going to take, I've got some sterling silver head pins. I'm not sure if we've got these on the show, but you, you know, you might have some. You might have some. Also, don't forget, um, jewelry maker forward slash essentials, sterling silver needs and wants. Right, so I love pins there. I'm going to maybe do like a mixture of these colours because these are oh. slightly smaller. So what I might Gorgeous. do... So I'm literally just putting these gemstones onto the head pin as you can see there. Yeah. I've just dropped them on. Yeah. Um, 
mm -hmm. and then I'm going to just pop this here. So decide whatever you want, what style. Pop my um, round nose pliers in and I'm just going to do a wrapped loop. So what I'm going to do is bring this back like this. In fact, I'm going to borrow this so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just bending that wire and I'm just going to reposition my pliers um, so that I can then push this wire just over the top of my pliers. Reposition my pliers again. So I am effectively going to be doing a wrap loop. But at this point, you can see it almost looks like a shepherd hook. And this is the point I would attach this directly to the chain. So I'm going to pop this on and I'm just going to go to the drop here. And we've got some lovely... Um, larger links at the bottom. So I just drop that directly onto the link there. And then I can come back in, bring my pliers back into that little um, groove, that little hook. Take the end of the head pin, and I'm just going to bring that around like this, so you can see. Nice. Oops, there we go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going, so obviously you have got to work around the earring. Mm -hmm. So just, if you just sort of do that, make sure it has gone into the little loop of your what will be your wrap loop because if you don't and it's down here you're not going to catch it and, let me just reposition so if you have it like that yeah you're not going to catch it in that loop it's not going to do the job so you no. need to just drop that make sure and then by doing that you're actually getting the earring out of your way holding that loop nice and secure and then just very gently wrap that wire all the way around so this is the remainder of the head pin um, and then you can just reposition again and get that nice and wrapped around like a wrapped loop. And then just take your pliers, uh, your cutters, sorry, your flush cutters or side cutters, drop the remaining metal. Now, because I said earlier about sterling silver, we were talking about reticulation. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you could put, I always put it in a little pot. Okay. And then if you wanted to, you can collect it and send it off yeah. and it can get um, melted um, or you can melt it yourself. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to pop this on here, tidy that little wrap up and then you would have your styled earrings. And I love the movement on that do. as well. If, if, when you're giving that a little move... You can see how interesting that chain looks yeah. at the different chains. Yeah, and again, if you wanted to, with you know, you don't have to put the drop there, or you could still do. Um, in fact, I could just just see. Yeah, go on. Add, like I've got one that I've always sort of put onto the head pin, because this chain has got like some larger links sort of interspaced between it. So I'll just quickly wrap this on, and what you can do is have little charms coming from the. Links. So let me just see if I can do this. Let me just wrap that around. Cut that. So you can see there that that's just another one. I would straighten that out. I'll, I'll do it properly in a moment. I'm just showing you for an idea. Yeah. So you'd have that one there. It's not hanging properly, so I'll redo that one. But you could do that one, and then you could do one there, and you could do one there. You could do little clusters of them. So you could really dress this up if you wanted to. And we were talking about we've got this five metres of chain coming up. You could add a bit of chain if you wanted to, to give it a bit more movement. Yeah. So you can really play about with this. You can keep them really, really simple, or you could really dress them up. Mm. And we're going to give you the opportunity to dress them up even more with some rose gold. I think that rose gold, of course, is still a big hitter for 2020 colour-wise. If you wanted to do mix and match colours, mm -hmm. I really love the fact that statement earrings is such a trend, but if you're like Spelby and you don't want the absolute gargantuan, you know, <laughs> whopper earrings, whopper, then it doesn't matter. You can go for a little bit of a quirky contemporary look yeah. by simply having one in each ear. Oh, yeah, definitely. Have a bit of fun. Mix them up a little bit. That's really cool, isn't it? I love that colour. What does rose gold say to you? Let me sort of get out of the way of this a little bit so you can sort of see it against black. There you go. What does rose gold say to you? I just love the... To me, it has a warmth to it as a metal. Yeah. Um, so the tone, I think... Also, I love the fact that it changes... <laughs> it changes the colour, uh, influences the colour of the gemstone. So, you know, if you put amethyst with rose gold, it becomes a warmer tone. And I just love the colour. Um, and again, I think it's very complimentary. What colours would you go for it? So, for me, <laughs> with the coppers, I would be adding my... 
greens, my turquoises, my Larimar. Yeah. I would be adding all of those kind of sea, almost sea coloured. Yeah. Um, because I just feel, again, it really, the contrast of the of the rose gold and the, those blues. So I know it's not till five o'clock, but if you hold those Larimars up against the blue, yeah. you'll see exactly against what I mean. Against the rose gold. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry. I mean, to me, that colour just really works together. Yeah, it does. It really and does. And that's the kind of colourway I would be going. I like that as a pairing, most certainly. I have just popped one of these earrings in just to give you an idea of how it looks quite simplistically. Was, was it easy to put in there? Yeah. yeah. It's dead easy. I mean, it was... <laughs> but look. Look at the way that moves and sparkles. And do you know what? I even like that that bar that is there for the use of placing it through the, mm -hmm. the piercing actually catches the light so much and almost becomes a feature in its own yeah. right, doesn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It's just like a, just wearing it plain like that is really mm. pretty. Um, and again, like you say, we can sort of dress them up or dress them down. Mm. And again, I think that, that looks lovely on you. It really compliments you. Mm. It's beautiful. Should we see the price? Let's do it. Six ninety five only for you today. That's six pounds and ninety five pence for you. And remember, this is the rose gold as well over the top of it. Um, I I think you know with something like this, if you fancy a multi purchase, there's always a good time to do it whilst they are on screen because that's when you get the on air deals. That's why you watch live, isn't it? Six ninety five on those ones. Good work. I know what you're thinking, Bex. Do you have it in gold? And yes, we do. This gold is like proper old gold, you know, rich sort of Indian gold. I adore how expensive and luxurious this gold looks. It's going to be gold that's touching your skin. It's going to be gold that's going through the PSM. And we've got it with solid stone silver at the heart. That is a rich look and design, isn't it? Let me show you it from the side as well. Take that out to save confusion. The rose gold ones are still available. Beautiful richness to these. I think that's so luxurious and elegant. Um, we are bringing to you a serious amount of precious metal and a real bounty of that, again, 2020 color of metallic gold. If you want to grab these ones, now is your chance to do so. They are only $6.95. And let me remind you too, I did the sterling silver gold plated we call them spacer beads, but you can see quite easily they could be used as a crimp tube if you wanted. Quite like the idea of, you know, even popping something like this on if you want to mimic that design. Popping something like that on and crimping it down or using something like these to actually add more sparkle to it as opposed to gemstones mm. if you wanted. They are still available if you do want them. Um, let me remind you as well, I've got hoop earrings coming up for you. I've got a continual hoop earring and I've also got, first peak, I'll show you it in the gold. Have you seen these before spells? Oh no. I love them. Hoop earrings with that added touch wow. of design. I love the idea of using something like serolin on there and adding like a stone. Yeah. Or even stamping or etching something onto that, like a letter. You could maybe, again, using your, um, maybe your sort of jewellery glue. Mm. Put like a pearl or a gem, Gorgeous idea. something on there because uh, again going on to the trends backs of the earrings are, they're very double-sided sometimes aren't so they? true um, yeah so that would be a really unique something a little bit different and if you put a spacer on this let's say that's going to act as a stopper so it's not going to come off yeah which exactly. is another great point they're yeah. on the way too well done everyone 6.95 on that so on trend gold luxury of those drape earrings more earrings to come more sterling silver to come 10 minutes away from the five meters of chain and we will be having an extra demo with that because it's sunday before all of that though where are we going b let's go for some gemstones let's do that let me go now oh Ooh. to be able to see picture jasper is always exciting to be able to see Picture Jasper when you're getting these natural silver colours is very unusual indeed. 
Picture Jasper, a lot of people love Picture Jasper because of the texture it gives you. So Picture Jasper, remember in ancient times, it was used as a way of telling the future. So what used to happen is people, let's say, let's call them fortune tellers for, uh, you know, for ease. Fortune tellers used to ask the paying customer a question. Um, the, uh, they would answer those questions accordingly. And then it was up to the uh, person, the customer, asking the fortune teller a question. That question may well, for example, be, oh, I don't know, um, you know, will I, where will I travel to this year or, you know, what will happen in my family or whatever. And what would happen is Picture Jasper would be held by the fortune teller. They would dive their hand into the bag, feel the vibrations on the energy and whatever they pulled out, they would look into the picture and it was said to sort of tell you the answer to your question. And you can totally see that with Picture Jasper because all of these are almost like little paintings from Mother Nature. And most people appreciate Picture Jasper because of that story, because of the texture, because of the almost scenic roots you can see within a stone. But not everybody likes the general browns, beiges, yeah. dark reds that those come in. This has got the texture, but with that added bonus of having the greys and silvers, which I personally believe are more highly regarded in colours than maybe browns and, and mustard yellows that not everybody likes. This, I think, is a more easy wear, almost neutral <clears throat> stone. Definitely. And again, I think, uh, you know I love grey. Mm -hmm. You love, do? I love... I've got a lot of grey tops. You do, yeah, yeah. There's just something about the colour to me. I just... I love the colour. Yeah. I love grey with... Uh, or silver, if you want to term it differently. I love it with like a soft baby pink tone as well. So the colours together really complement each yeah, other. Yeah, and that looks very chic. It, yeah, exactly. Very elegant. And you'll be surprised at how much grey will go with because it yeah. is a lovely neutral base colour. Totally. But with a colour to it, if that makes sense. Yeah, I agree. Um, <clears throat> and so yeah, again, this, if you had something like a little bit busy on or something like that and you just wanted something to wear but mm. not to clash with what you're wearing, yeah. it's going to go. Like with your top, you've got a lot of pattern on your yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. You could wear this because and it's, it's not, gonna it's go not going to be too much because <clears throat> the colours, but it's still a beautiful gemstone. Totally. Perfect rounds, 10 mil for you today, 290 carats worth your price point for them. It's just £4.95. Harping back briefly to what you were saying about the grey and pink colour and how that mm -hmm. is very on trend. I am so new to Instagram. It is something which I joined, you know, a couple of weeks ago, let's say. Rebecca Redican presenter, if you're interested. The reason I joined is because I got peer pressured into it by my granddad, <laughs> who was talking about hashtags and diddle and I was like, I have no idea what any of these things are, granddad. I love and you uh, hashtags. hashtag Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> and he was all like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, because he likes making watches and repairing clocks and stuff. And he, he was using all this lingo that I was like, granddad, like, I love you, but you're in your 80s and you're out doing me here. So I got peer pressured into it. Um, but yeah, um, when I am on Instagram and I look, pinks and greys and lavenders and greys and like baby colours are so Instagrammable as it yeah, were. And don't they look beautiful when you actually have see it in a picture? Yeah, and they really do. Like you'll know uh, probably that B Diddy is uh, my producer, and the lovely B Diddy, um, she is. I think, uh, quote me if I'm wrong, but I think our only producer who actually has a business making and selling jewellery, and she makes and sells jewellery, and uh, she'll sell some of it via Instagram and things. But would you agree with us on the fact that? In Instagram, quite a few of the pictures are these kind of baby colours. They're quite muted. Like the filters and things can quite, be, can't quite they? quite calming as well, I think. Yeah, totally. It's got like, and I think visually, when you see it, it's calming. Totally. It looks serene. Serene. We've got those ones at a serene dream price of oh, 4 95 I'm moving on. <clears throat> I'm going to move on. Like, have you got the other earring to this? Is it the one in my earlobe? No, you've got rose gold. Yeah, this yeah. is the silver. Bear with. Oh, yes, I have to Just see. Just so I can make it match. Yeah. <clears throat> Good work. So yes. Say yes. again, be did. Yup. Hey, let's prove our point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chic. Elegant. But edgy. I like those together a lot. Yeah. Oh, oh. do you know what? Be did tell me the price of this puppet. 
right, okay, that's a good price. Why are you saying might be? Right, blimey. Oh, right, oh, wow, okay, okay, okay. Right, and the reason I'm asking that is, is because there is rose quartz and then there is something in the industry which is often referred to as rose quartz crystalline. Rose quartz crystalline is when the crystal structure of the quartz is so beautifully stacked, as it were, so beautifully even, that there is less silk in within than you would normally expect, but also there is a glow. Rose quartz crystalline genuinely can be an extra 50 to 60% per carat than that of standard rose quartz. Do you think this is rose quartz, or do you think this has a glow of rose quartz crystalline? Because I, for one, am definitely seeing an internal glow to this. Oh, can you see? that? When do you see brilliance in the standard rose quartz? And partially, that'll be due to the great quality we've got for you here. And I do think the quality of it, it's not got a lot of silks in it. It's not opaque, is it? But also due to the cut. This is one of the cuts that um, our... Um, previous um, head of buy-in, lovely Marie, um, when she um, worked here, her and her team wanted to, with your help, do you remember, she put some things on social media about it, with your help she wanted you to come up with ideas of cuts and things that you hadn't seen before. Yeah. This was one that was exclusively created with your help, with Marie and her, her team. And um, basically what she did was she got raw materials from a gem fair, took them to our team in Jaipur and said, right, this is our idea, we want this cut, we know it's not been done before, is it possible? Do us a mock-up, does it look any good? Oh great, well then let's do a batch of them. So this was something that was created just for us, it wasn't something we went to a gem fair and gone, yeah, thanks, I'll have a hundred of them. So, it would be really difficult for you to purchase this anywhere else, unless maybe you got it sort of second-hand, if that makes sense. So you're getting something different here, which I like, because if you're at a jewellery fair and you're selling and you make them, there can be a lot of other people selling and making with the same rounds, the same, yeah. you know, rondelles. This is something a little bit different. A stand out from the crowd. <clears throat> Let's jewellery make a stand out from the crowd with a price too, shall we? That is a drop down cool. deal. It should be quite considerably higher than that. Nineteen ninety five. Because you remember these are, these were exclusively uh, cut for us. I think that is a sensational price. Yeah, that really is. And what I love about that strand is you've you've got um pendulum kind of styles gorgeous haven't you? yeah you know, good point one of those just on a long star necklace and again it, it, it's people's opinions but if you do your um crystal healing or anything like that very true this is going to be a beautiful style it's to me that is classic clean and easy mm. so it's very easy to wear it's very easy to work with it's clean looking in its cut and it's simple yes but it's still effective yeah. It's still got that impact. I completely agree with you. That is. I love the words that you were using it, and it is classic, but as you say, it's got impact too. Yeah. Sometimes when you think classic, you think a bit traditional, maybe a little yeah. bit boring, but this has got that. Yeah, edge. it's like a stylish classic. Well done, all. Okay, let's do it. We love. The fact that when we bring to you made jewellery, jewellery that you can create, you can put your own spin on things. And we love bringing you sterling silver chains with the clasps on. That's brilliant because it's easy to do, to add a pendant, jobs are good in 10 minutes and you're sorted. We love it even more when we are able to bring you an extensive amount of chain because it means that now no piece of jewellery is a limit. When we bring to you a full metre, all of a sudden, you've not just got a necklace there, you've got an opera length necklace with a set of earrings to match. When we bring to you five metres, as I'm about to, all of a sudden, necklaces are absolute capabilities, but not just any length you want, layers of any length you want. All of a sudden, earrings aren't just a small little dangle. You can go from ear cuff to your stud, layers, layers, layers for that hot press, beauty, catwalk design. 
all of a sudden, body chains are something that you can create and drape and have fun with. All of a sudden, that jacket that you've had since 1999 that you hardly ever wear, all of a sudden can have new life leased into it with chains draping from, your, from the arms, from the sleeves, or even down the back. When I bring to you a necklace chain, I am bringing to you a necklace. When I bring you, as I'm going to, five meters of chain, I bring you opportunities. And with this opportune chain, I also offer you a bit of a caveat. Quantity is low, but so is the price. So I'd start dialing if I were you. If you're a phone bidder, I would start dialing now. Free phone number at the bottom of your screen. A beautiful, versatile, sleek solid sterling silver chain, Rolo in its design, so perfectly round links all um, interlocking with one another. It's a dainty look for a chain, so this can easily be for those layered necklaces, this can easily be uh, for those earrings, this can even easily be for those chain rings which are big and in fashion again. We're bringing to you today five meters, your graphics are coming live, good luck everyone everyone, five meters is what I have for you. I'm going to have a demonstration with these in mere moments of how you can work with these. But for now, let me just remind you, five full meters. Um, we worked this out the other day, um, but let's, um, let me just remind, let me just remind you. We say that the average bracelet size is around about seven, seven and a half inches. And we worked out that from five meters width of chain, you would be able to get very easily mined, because we weren't even taking into account added class to this, quite easily approximately 26 bracelets. Now, we don't always do bracelets here, but when we have done bracelets here before, they vary in price depending on how and where we do them. The slider bracelets I had for you before, for example, you know, those ones are around the 15 pounds mark. We've done daintier chains, sim chains similar to this, that you can get more affordably at around about the 7.95 mark. If we were to bring to you 26 chains, B did it, 26 chains, Let's, let's undercut ourselves even. Let's say 6 95 just to be silly. How much are we talking? 180 pounds. 180 pounds worth if we were to say to you, let's get the bracelets individually. Do you know what? Let's go on to necklaces, B. Diddy. Have you got a ruler about anywhere? No, I don't know where my ruler of truth has gone. Oh, it's right in front of my face. <laughs> That's my problem. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. Okay, so um, average necklace. Mm -hmm. Let's. In fact, let me do it to me. So let's do it to me. Um, so I'm grabbing me a chain here. It has, I've just put a little bit of a knot in it. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, kind well of my fault as well. I was trying. So let me just. There we go. I'll pop this around my neck as if I were. Oh gosh, what a gorgeous profile that is as well. That's lovely, isn't it? Very delicate. But yeah, that's touching at the back. And let me measure this out for you. So that was there to there. So. But, but my necklace to reach about here, I have got, um, let's do it in centimetres, 30 centimetres plus 17 centimetres for me. So 47 centimetres. So how many 47 centimetre necklaces would we be able to get out of this chain? So it's 500 divided by 47, because it's 500 centimetres, isn't it, in five metres? is about 10 10.63 but let's not add that on so let's say 10 necklaces we'd be able to get out of this and as you saw they were quite long necklaces probably about 20 inch in it not million miles off and also again i'm ignoring the clasp in that if we were to bring you 10 necklaces at let's say what do we normally do a necklace for is it about 9.95 would you say about 9.95, we're looking at, well, again, what, 100 quid? Today, bear that in mind. 
So now, work it out for me, B Diddy. How much is that now per $4.99 per necklace? What about per bracelet? 26 bracelets uh, for uh, $49.95. £1.92 now per bracelet. That's incredible! But we're about to make it breakfast cereal. Tony the Tiger. Great! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wondering where I was going. Yeah, I took it there. Don't, don't you lot get a... Frosty's on me now. Uh -oh. <laughs> 39.95 for you today on this one. Now that is an absolute bargain. That is an absolute steal. We're now looking at about 3.99 per necklace, and that is me doing an extra long length necklace. We're now talking for the bracelets. <clears throat> Sorry, Miss Throat. We are now talking for the 26 bracelets, approximately one pound fifty-three per bracelet. This is serious opportunity upon opportunity, <coughs> isn't it? It really is. And what's lovely about this is that you're not, like you said, if you have a meter, you've got a, you have got a plan. Um, so I've actually added this chain into these two earrings. I've added a tiny them. little bit here. Look at that. Come on. So yeah, I've just added it on there, just a little tiny bit, just to add that little bit of extra movement. Yeah. And, and again, that's about adding those layers of texture. Yeah. Um, and so that's gone from being a simple drop earring. And then with these hoops, I'm going to show you how I've done this. Um, and I'm going to actually be adding, and I'm adding a few gemstones on. So, Fabulous. you know, you can get the fine hair, um, feather, Featherweight head pins. Uh, head pins. Uh, yeah, in sorry. The garnet. But you do have to, um, it's only in the link at the end. Yeah. So if you were going to oh, make. through the chain, sorry. Yeah, yeah. through <laughs> the chain. So if you were going to say maybe make a necklace or something like that, then get like some crimps, like the stone and silver um, crimps, or oh, you what? can get like. You mean like these ones, spellbinding, Laura Binding? Because then you could attach your sort of whatever you wanted to make the. Um, hook and clasp with or you can sometimes get like the ribbon endings and fold that over it mm -hmm. because you know it's a little bit finer yeah but it's got such a beautiful um fluidity to it mm -hmm. and you can easily you can get them through I was, get I was that through the that, crimps yeah. dead easily and then if you turn you that crimp back round yeah do you mind yeah you do it we'll, we'll have another extra mini <coughs> demo shall we so we did these sterling silver crimps because people, you're totally right, people will look at this chain and go, well, I'm going to add a cluster yeah, to that. Yeah. Featherweight headpins go through, which is good to know. But also... But what I would probably do is add something like, so this is a featherweight headpin here. Yes. With like a little um, sort of ball on the end. So yeah. I could use that almost like a stopper. Got you. And then I could almost, bear with me a moment, so I'm just trying to see what I'm doing. Actually crimp all of that together. Bear with me, I'm just finding the end. Yeah. That's a clever way of doing it. So I would ah, then right. tidy that up, yeah, and actually make the and make that the addition, like the loop out of that. And uh, or, or well, that's not actually what I was thinking. No, I know. I was thinking of how you would do it with beading thread. Now there's a reason I didn't so do you can that. Do it both because ways. you you can't get the two lengths of chain through through this one. Yeah, you can get one through easily. Yeah. And the head pin, yeah, but you couldn't get the two lengths of chain through, through it. those. So ones. that's why right. I didn't. That's so, worth knowing. So to do it like this, and then again, you could take Add a little on. crimp that's cover um, and put that onto there to make it Very just look a little bit prettier. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and yeah, just make like a wrap loop out of this if you wanted to. Love it. But you could probably put a slightly thicker head pin through as well. So if you had like, great, you know, you were saying about the stone and silver find impacts that we do with the heavier head pins. Yeah. One of those in, and actually do a little wrap loop, and you've got your connectors. Fab tip. Should we move on to a demo? Let me just let you know, we are talking Last Chance Saloon on this one right now. Um, we are going to be demoing this set of studders right here. Um, I just love these. The hoops are coming up in 20 minutes. We've also got the garnet, which is breathtaking. Mm. That's coming up later on as well. Okay, Spells, okay. I'm with you. Let's get crafting. Right, so what I'm going to do is just make a little bit of sense of what I've got going on here. So many ideas sort of going around. So <coughs> That's always good with things yeah. like this because it goes to show how inspirational they can be. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I knew-ish what I was getting, but it's not until you sit down that you can actually sort of sit and see how it would work. Um, so if I place this here, I've kept all my stone and silver there, so you'll be able to see. So, 
<clears throat> the first thing to do is to decide on a length. This length of chain is going to be the consistent length. Though. Now you could measure it if you wanted to. We all know I'm not a measurer. Yeah. Um, but I just I sort of went by eye and again to drop that in half. Sorry, you can't see that, but to fold that in half, then that's going to be the length because it's going to be doubled over. Got you. Okay. Once you've done your first one, remember if you're doing this as a pair of earrings, I mean, we have had those lovely focal toggle clasps, haven't we? Yes, we did. We yeah. could do the same technique on one of those if you wanted to. So, you know, so when you're happy with that, if you're making a pair of earrings, remember to cut the chain. You're going to need to cut for both the earrings. So have almost like a, um, a sort of prototype one. Okay. And then you can just keep referencing that back. I'm just going to go back in, get this little knot out, just a little tip. Take your pliers and kind of just wiggle it into the middle of the knot and it will loosen that knot out for you. Like that. Okay. So just if it does get a little bit tangled, it's fine. So I lay that up against there. And with this style of earring, it really doesn't matter if one's like a couple of links longer than the other one because they all go in different directions anyway. So you're going to cut sort of however many. So I think I've got eight on that one. So I've already cut a few anyway, mm -hmm. but that's how you would cut it, have them ready. So again, I was thinking, how can I attach these to these earrings? That's how I realised that you couldn't double through the crimps because mm -hmm. that was my first go-to. So I wanted to make these look pretty still. So what you're going to do is a lark's head knot. Mm. Well, that looks really nice. You surprised yourself there, haven't you? <laughs> but it does look good on the stand, but sometimes you just need to see them in situ, don't you? So you would like to see it in situ? No prob. Let me do side view. Oh, so it's the one day you have your hair down and we have all these earrings. I know. But do you know what? That is such a gorgeous earring that it doesn't actually matter, does it? No. Even though my hair is down. Really shows the uh, the darker hair, doesn't mm, it? Not it really silver. does, yeah. So I'm going to take the wire. Sorry, I'll probably call it wire out a thousand Don't worry, times. Fine. Chain, chain, and I'm going to place. Now I've done a couple that I prepped be, by putting the gemstone on just to see if that was a bit easier because okay. um, obviously when there's a lot of chain, you don't want to mess up the design. So we'll do it both ways. So I, I have got ten percent of my stock left. Ten percent of the stock left. So you fold over your chain. Place your earring or whatever you're going to be attaching it to on the top. So I've opened that out and to get that little loop. This is the best way I found to do it anyway. Pick up the ends, drop them into the middle of the loop. Okay. Pick that loop up. Okay. <laughs> I know it's like, because it's very fine chain, you need to do it in a way that you're not getting yourself tangled. Mm -hmm. And you can take those two ends, bring that along. And I there lark's head knot. is your lark's head knot. Oh, fab. And then you can kind of just secure it. I mean, right. they will adjust in their length. If when you had that design, you wanted to put a dab of maybe jewellery glue, I'm sure you could. Yeah. Um, but that's... And yeah, so show us that again. We'll do that again here. Are we doing it with a gemstone Yeah, we'll do it with a gemstone. Okay. So what I would do, so I didn't do it that way with the first one. And this is the beauty of working out things for the first time. You, yeah. you find an easier way the second time, don't you? So I'm going to place this on. And again, we're going to just bring up one of the ends into the middle of that sort of loop. Same with the gemstone end. Pick up that loop, bring it all the way over. Mm -hmm. Then pick up the two ends and just bring them down. And then just tighten that. And that's giving you that. I've got one more, so I'll do it one more time for you to see. Yeah, great. So bring it, get that little loop. And I'm doing this a lot quicker now because I spent most of that first hour working out how to do it. But now I know this is a lot easier. So again, creating that little loop. Bring those ends up. Making sure it's in there. Pick that up and bring it all the way over. And then just take those ends. Try to keep them parallel unless you want them to be different lengths. Tighten that, and there you have already just one. Now, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted them to be a little bit different in their lengths, mm -hmm. and you set them like this again, what I found is if you just go into the actual knot itself, gently pull that connecting loop there, so it's looser. Just gently tweak the lengths of them, and then pull them both together. That will give you a different. That's good way. Okay. I love them. So if you're looking at it and you're thinking, oh, it's, it's not equal, I don't like the look, you can go in afterwards and you can sponge them up or you can space them out a little bit as well to separate them. So there. 
Spellby, thank you so You're much welcome. for showing us that. Aren't they beautiful designs? And as you can see, you know, very dramatic, but very, very comfortable as well. Yeah. Um, if you do want to grab the chain, they're available. The hoops are coming up for you soon. Thank you, Spellby. I'll be back with you for more thank makes you. I'm gonna need shortly. I'm going to get that earring out here so yes. I can I'll tell you what, make I'll do them a now. pair and then you can model them a little bit later on. Oh, thank you. And gone. There you are. Thank you, Spell. Thank you. Okay, let me bring to you some more goodies and treats, reminding yourself that. Um, <sighs> reminding yourself that we have got the gold hoops on their way for you. And the reason I'm bringing up gold with these is because what a pairing! Love that. They're beautiful, aren't they? So, you've worked with the hexagonal shape before. Yes, I have. Tell us about what you like about the hexagonal shape as a designer, from a design aspect. Well, first of all, visually, it's different. Mm. So it looks good. It's going to catch people's eyes because it's different. Straight away, people are like, oh, interesting. You know, they're not coins, they're angular. So again, it's the sort of the trend is the sort of angles. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that you can mix them together so you could put wire or beading thread through the drill holes mm -hmm. and bring them together to make a flower mm -hmm. if you wanted to and That's again cool. the shape's going to be really lovely for that yeah or you could keep them individually they're just something a little bit different and i really like that and what i like about this strand is it's a very solid gemstone so that drill hole isn't visible yes so it's your choice to use it that could Got be yeah. Cabochons. You ah, could probably set good, them good into point. a ring. So you don't feel, oh, it's top drill, so I have to set it like that. No. That would be beautiful prong set into a ring. And those angles are going to really help you because obviously that's going to be a great place to lock your wire. Love that idea. Very usable, very versatile, very affordable. $14.95 for you today. Lovely with the shades of Laramar if you too are feeling a little bit holiday. Because for me, those are tropical. Oh, yeah. I'm imagining myself on a beach somewhere, you know, Aruba, something like that. Mm. Cocktail in hand. B Diddy, where's 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 Margaritaville? Yeah. Is it Turks and Caicos? No. Is it Grand Turk? Is it Grand Turk? Grand Turk. In Grand Turk, they've got a uh, like swim up margarita bar basically that is on my bucket list of to go to a hotel where i can swim up to the bar and just stay there i don't care where it is right i just want to go to one i've never been to one i love that that's on your bucket list <laughs> i love that jumping out of a plane <laughs> now you're all right no. tab or a tab done it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter just a play pool bar <laughs> <laughs> Pool bar. I'd like to be in water whilst I'm, I'm drinking. drinking that's Something like... that isn't a water. Yeah. <laughs> Better dorm, don't... apparently. I'm happy Sorted. to go. I don't care. Sorted. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Fourteen ninety-five. The Laramar up for you later. Let's dive into. Oh, I love these. I'm a February baby. If you're born in February yourself, then you have got amethyst. <laughs> We have got for you your incredibly unique amethyst. Now, the word unique and amethyst generally aren't two words I'd pair together. Because actually when you think about amethyst, you think about a very luxurious, plain, flat, purple. But this amethyst is different. Because not only have you got these almost chevrons of calcite making almost a dog tooth appearance in it. But anyone else noticing all that praiseolite? I have got praiseolite hues coming through in this and they'll be natural because the stone itself is natural. So you're getting this lovely merging of something which can generally be seen as maybe quite a flat standardized stone. Actually, it becomes renewed, rejuvenated, almost a little bit more like um, uh, boho maybe, mm. and a little bit more enticing. And that's not even to mention the fact that these are tubes. A nice unusual shape, adding a bit more texture to your designs. Blimey, look at the drill hole on that. 
Did I go a bit sort of Dick Van Dyke then? Did I? <laughs> Cold blood with Mary Poppins! <laughs> well, I didn't mean to. It just happened. Seriously though, feast your, feast your peepers. That is a huge drill hole. Do you know what? That drill hole is so large that I would even say, if you put this on a stretchy bracelet, you could use this to hide the knot, as opposed to a stainless silver tube yeah. or whatever. Because that is huge. Look at them. They're only £8.95, entirely natural tubes of your amethyst that has personality, that has mm. panache, that has a little bit of a je ne sais quoi. It's just got a little bit more texture, a little bit more colour than your standardised flat version. So if you're into that, great strand for you, 8 95 I'm moving on now and I've got Amazonites. Oh my goodness, I, oh wow, that we is good this. quality. That is a very good quality. Just toy and see under the surface of these and I would be happy to say on a good half of them. Um, Amazonite is known for its, its aqueous, oceanic, blue-green colour. It's a nod towards turquoise, which I have got coming up on the show, without being, um, sorry, with the added feature of it, has it uh, sometimes has toyancy to it. What I love about this strand is you've got that graduation in size, which means that for me, who likes wearing a lot of jewellery, but sometimes, you know, get a bit worried about catching on things, etc. Mm. I can wear a lot of jewellery in one full suite without the likelihood of catching it on anything because they're flattened to the skin. So the smaller ones on the end, I would be thinking rings. The sort of semi, uh, the middle range, let's say, I'd be thinking charm on the centre of a bracelet. And then the larger ones, I would be doing literally three of them on a neckline design. I've got a full suite of jewellery there that matches perfectly, but you're not looking going, oh, that necklace is the perfect size for you. But actually, because the same size as the ring you're wearing, it looks a bit off balance. Yeah, It's no, tying wouldn't. in in a, in a beautiful manner. Bring you to 108 carats worth today. £12.95 <laughs> for you today on that one. You've got your graduated puffy coins today. If you do fancy grabbing them, they're 8 by 8 mil, sorry, 215 mil. So there's a big size difference there, which means lots of luxurious looks. £12.95 for you on those ones. Um, don't forget the hoops that are uh, uh, at the bottom of your screen are coming up for you in approximately oh, 12 minutes 41 seconds ish. So, really, not long to wait on those ones if you are going whoopla over your hoops. Let me bring to you a findings pack now. It's not in sterling silver, remember, jewelry maker forward slash essentials for things like that. Um, let me bring to you silver plated findings. Stay, there we go. A findings pack is the mechanisms, the essentials that you need to make your jewelry. Multi-purchase opportunity I'm about to give to you. It's lovely to use sterling silver, but we don't always want to use sterling silver because, well, first off, it's more expensive, understandably. And second off, sometimes when you want to be a bit more experimental, you may well want to use something that you can use uh, with sort of fair abandon. You can use as many times as you want. Yeah. The chain, which for some reason I haven't got on my board, but you do get a chain with it, is a really sturdy, chunky chain, um, which you don't always get in sterling silver as well. So there's sometimes there's, there's, there's pros and cons to both. Yeah. We are bringing to you um, half a metre worth of that chain. Um, I've also got all the other fine things that you can see. So the opportunity to make multiples of jewellery with this is bob on. Wholesale deal about to come on screen. Oh my goodness. This is, talk about an essentials, multi-purchase to your heart's content. That is just £2.99, wow. pence, £95. I, um, you know me, you know how much I love a bargain. And I bought a calendar, you know, like a year calendar the yes. other day. And it was in the sale, obviously, because, you know, by that point, January was pretty much over. I got it in the sale. It was in the sale at 2 99 Good sale price. I mean, I've not used January, was but it's an all right sale price. What calendar is it? Well, thank you for asking, because here comes the next part of my story. <laughs> Mythical creatures. Ooh, I love it, Bex, that's so you, I know. January, the phoenix. 
cool. Beautiful, nice. February, my month of birth. The mermaid. No. <gasps> the mermaid, how elegant. I think March is like a Pegasus or something. One of the months, a narwhal. That is not a mythical creature. <laughs> Another one of the months, and this is the weirdest one, and I genuinely actually think it is June. <laughs> it's a sloth. <laughs> it is a sloth. And it wasn't even me just looking at it like, that looks a bit like a sloth. Because they've all got like funny little puns above them. And I can't remember what the pun is, but it says sloth in it. <laughs> Mythical creatures. I've been missold that calendar. <laughs> Mythical creatures. That's just, not, that's just poor education. <laughs> Sloth is real, as they is an hour. There's not 12 uh, mythical creatures, so they were like, well, what, else is, what else is cute? <laughs> what else? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Everyone um, loves sloths. Yeah. So, um, anyway, but that was 2 99 I'm going to get much more use out of these myself, and uh, they're actually useful as opposed to... <laughs> and they're um, factual. And they're factual. They do what they're meant to. They, they do. They say <gasps> what they are. Yeah, mythical creature or sloth? I mean, come on. Right, uh, where did you say, Poppet? Great time already, who knew? We have got so much more to come for you. The hoops are up after the break and I'm gonna be bringing them to you at an absolutely one-to-own style deal and price. We have got more makes on their way as well and do not forget, the garnet is coming up in the next hour too. So many more treats, so many more bargains, so many more spell now mindings designs. We'll be back with you in a few minutes. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. 
Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. One of the biggest trends of 2020 is aforementioned the statement earring and the fact of the matter is that when we are talking about statement jewelry we are talking about something that can sometimes be a little bit avant-garde when you're talking about catwalks I put up a few months ago on my uh, Rebecca Redican presenter Facebook page um, I put up a picture where I got you to vote on what your favorite 2020 trend of jewelry would be statement earrings came out tops but as is always with those type of things when you see New York Fashion Week London Fashion Week Vogue and all of these people doing photo shoots a lot of the time they take statement earrings to the extreme what if you are not Kate Moss what if you are not somebody who is maybe happy to you know strut your stuff down your local high street with absolute huge whopping statement earrings moving and jingling but you want to nod to that trend we've got you covered with these hoop earrings obviously these ones have been adorned with the chain but your beautiful hoop earrings now hoop earrings are very much on trend as we are about to see in these slides um, this is um, a um, slide that's talking to you essentially just one of the headlines about hoop earrings at the end of last year Oops. Why the oversized earrings are the jewellery trend of 2019. Now this was at the end of 2019 and this was essentially a sum up of 2019 whereby, and I'm almost sure that this was, was it Elle or Marie Claire um, who, who had this headline and um, they were doing a summary and they said that that had been the jewellery trend of 2019. It also goes on to say how that will be the jewellery trend that continues. The reason I've put this slide together for you is because um, first off it gives you an idea of the types of trending earrings that are in you can see Ashley Clark's beautiful hoop earrings there 115 pounds you can also see the net porter um, 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 earrings uh, that are 165 pounds for that beautiful um, set of hoop earrings and these are great to bear in mind because people are happy to pay those kind of prices because it is something so on trend but it is something that is an investment piece now obviously we use the word investment very randomly um, but I say investment piece because the trend of hoop earrings constantly comes back around doesn't it sometimes more than others sometimes smaller ways and different ways but they are always a staple so i think people are happy to pay the 165 pound marks because they know full well they'll be wearing those earrings all of 2020 all of 2021 and you know years to come looking back on that slide we've just looked at i also made this slide because i wanted you to see the celebrities in it look at oh no sorry the previous one petal yeah, there you go. Thank you. Look at the celebrities who are wearing this. Um, lots of different celebrities there, you know, pick out the ones you know. But you've got, um, obviously, you know, um, the Kardashians um, wearing them there. You have got for it uh, Selena Gomez there in the bottom corner. And um, we've also got some runway models wearing it in the centre underneath the Ashley Clark earrings. And you've got Helen Mirren wearing these as well. What I like about this variation of people wearing them 
is they've all got different sort of richnesses to their skin tone they have all got very different sort of hair coloring throughout mm -hmm. different eye colors and um, but also they're different ages you know the difference in age between um, for example is that Kylie Jenner at the top B Kendall, sorry, it's Kendall at the top. Uh, but yeah, the age difference, say, between uh, Kendall Jenner at the top there and Helen Mirren in the bottom corner, that, you know, there's going to be an age difference. Yeah. yeah, they're both pulling off these beautiful hoops really well. But why? For me, it's because they are a statement, but they are not too ostentatious. They are not over the top. You could be 17 and wear these. You could be 77 and wear these and pull them off with the same amount of eff, uh, sort of uh, essence and style. As I said, they don't come with the chain. These are the ones that Spellbee's made for us. I'll show you how they work. Whilst the graphics come in, I would start dialing now if I were you. So they are now in for you today. Let me show you how these work just in case you're like, I'm gone, where's the butterfly back? I'm confused. So you've got a continual loop here. This thinner bar is the one that goes through the ear. It's also the one that states the 925 quality on it. I don't know if you can see that. And then that loop links in to the hollow tube and that is the hinge detail that goes through the ear. So you've got a really nice hinge there. You place that through the piercing. That then loops in to the hollow section there and that is your continuous loop. So these are going nowhere. They might move a centimeter or two through the piercings, but then they aren't gonna go any further. These are easy to wear, easy to take off, and we can say easy to wear, not just in the sense of easy to pop in, as you saw me wearing these before, but also easy to wear in the sense of, you can wear hoops like this just by themselves as something that you're going to wear to nip to the shops yeah. to do your weekly shop. These are also something that you can dawn, you can add chains, gemstones, and so much more and have them for a massive mm -hmm. night out with your favorite friends. We have got for you something for everyone, whether you're 17, 77, hey, 107. You have got something that is, for many, an easy wear, much loved, and versatile design. We're bringing them to you today at this incredible price. Can I just remind you of that slide I've just shown? Ashley Clark over £100, uh, Netta Porter over £100, and this is the fact of the matter that you have got something here, and I'm not saying they're like for like because they're not, they're not exactly the same, but you can very, very, very easily pay, you know, varying price points starting at the £45 mark, for example. Uh, B Diddy's found uh, Thomas Sabo uh, simple hoop earrings, silver, and they are, what did you say Thomas Sabo are? £69. Um, Pandora sterling silver hoop earrings, sixty pounds. You know, and these are high street brands. Fourteen ninety five is an incredible you opportunity mm -hmm. so for you, you today. Thank you. So this is how you're going to get them. Grab them whilst you can. It's a beautiful look, a beautiful design. I don't remember doing. I don't. I don't remember discussing this. <laughs> We're going under a tenner. That's the funny thing wow. about B Diddy. She's just Billy, said, Billy I can do what I want. She? I could, yeah, she is a bit. Because I want Cause to. Because she wants to. <laughs> you ready? Under a tenner. 9.95. Let's do it. We are bringing to you today 9.25 for 9.95. That is such a good deal for what you're getting. And as you see, it isn't like, it's a really nice detail. Oh, hello. B Diddy has just found... She's typed into the old uh, tinter web. Sterling silver hoop earrings. And she just found a set and she's gone, oh my gosh, they're nearly undercutting us there. Ten pounds. <coughs> Clicks on it. John Lewis. Yeah, come on. That's good. That's really good because they're brass. Oh, they're brass. So you're typing sterling silver, but they're not. They're brass. So not only are we undercutting John Lewis, which is always quite nice, but we're undercutting them on their brass earrings as well. And there's nothing wrong with brass, obviously, but it's not quite as luxurious by any stretch of the imagination, actually, as sterling silver. And remember, even if you have allergies, solid sterling silver you're less likely to have an effect with. Right, I don't like this bee today. <laughs> Bex, you know how we said we were going to make this a really, really good deal? Yeah, I remember that, and you just have, so well done, mm. your job is complete. 
You may leave the building. No, please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Shall we make it better? Nah, I'm all right. 995 for you today. Are you serious? Really? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's remind ourselves these are big trends. Let's remind ourselves this is solid sterling silver. Let's remind ourselves those hoop earrings, you know, uh, that are so on trend. And as I mentioned before, almost could be seen as an investment piece because you will always go back to your statement hoop yeah. earrings. You will always go back to them. Let's take off... <sighs> Every pence, every penny, down to the moment. Oh my goodness. I've got an interesting story about this. Oh, I say <laughs> interesting, I've hyped it up there. £6.72 for you today. £6.72 from £14.95. Keep them simple. Add layers, add drapes, add stones, add pearls, tiara twist with them, jump wow. rings on them, spaces that on them. Incredible. That is a massive amount of you grabbing them today. See, to me, Becky just said it, but I was thinking the same. Well, these won't go out of date. No, not like them chocolates that gave you me. No, no. They're going to stay perfectly yeah. lovely yeah. and shiny. That's and incredible. Um, my story, which is, uh, I've, I've hyped it up as exciting. It's not. Um, well-known shop, well-known uh, supermarket. You know me well enough to know it wouldn't have been exciting. And I love you for that. Um, <laughs> well-known supermarket. You know, they have the little turnstiles with the jewellery on it. They have a sign that says... Sterling silver jewellery from seven pounds. And I went and had a nose, I went and had a look, and fair enough, they did have a piece of jewellery on that stand that was sterling silver and was seven pounds. It's only ever one thing, isn't it? <laughs> um, there is one thing that was sterling silver and it was seven pounds, and it was an individual nose stud. It's like a two millimetre mm. nose stud. So, like, one stud earring of metal was seven pounds. Hoop earrings? No, they would, be, yeah. You're looking more like 40 pounds. Yeah, they definitely are. And no. if you go into like, like you say, high street jewelers, you would not find a pair of sterling silver no. hoop earrings no like chance. that. I mean, no that's chance. a lot of metal there. Yeah. Um, and you certainly wouldn't find it for that price. I mean, no. that's an amazing price. That's incredible, isn't it? That oh. really is. Grab them, run. Run with them. Um, I absolutely love and adore these. There's loads you can do with them. They are so, so useful to have. And as I say, a real must-have trend and statement um, that is, as we said, it is the big hitter, the big trend of uh, 2019, but it is to continue for at mm. least through to spring and summer because I don't know if you've noticed all of the... Um, festival um, jewellery and things like that is starting to edge out hoops are back they're still massively in six pounds 72 good luck to every single one of you does anyone want to guess the dates that hoop earrings date back to like the oldest piece of hoop earrings that was uh, you know found let's hazard a guess middle ages I want a date. No. <laughs> I want a date. <laughs> that was such Preferably a, a day and a time. That was no. such a teacher move. No. 3.37 date, I PM. <laughs> yeah. 27th of October. Yes, Bruce. What year? Calendar. 1947. Okay, good. Be Diddy what you're saying. You can just do a date, yeah? The 5th of March, <laughs> right. 19... 39, okay, good. You need to go back a lot further. Right? You're going back a lot further, what are you saying, Pete? 107 BC. Whoa, blimey, Charlie. Wow. What are you saying, Spells? Um, 23rd of June. Yeah, oh, good. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it. Yeah. Um, 1902. Okay, good guesses. Pete's closest. First dug up dug up <laughs> the oldest pair of hoop earrings found date back approximately 2500 bc wow so <laughs> because so close <laughs> so I, I can't remember exactly what pete said but it definitely oh wasn't God. 1942 <laughs> <laughs> but what? the reason i'm bringing that up is because way back then in ancient times 
they were seen as a symbol of longevity and they were seen as a symbol of sort of standing and prowess and also they had similar to the engagement ring so the engagement ring is a continual band isn't it so it's said to be you know no end no beginning together forever etc oh. it was said to have the same sort of connotations and that's why a lot of like pharaohs and things would wear them because it was believed that that was sort of uh, to help them in the afterlife and continuation of life so there's a lot of history with them even though they're on trend as i'm speaking of the pharaohs let's go for gold shall we because i think of the pharaohs i think of the tutankhamun mm. uh, you know sort of casket etc i think of gold and i love that we've got mixed metal for this design yeah i was actually thinking why why not yeah and i really love that contrast it looks beautiful again it's just coming with the loop but just to give you an idea mm. let me remind you these have got genuine solid gold all over them so that's this genuine solid gold that's going to be touching against your skin bringing to you today 95 solid sterling silver again if you have just tuned in let me show you that they have got this did you want me to use the silver one yeah, I've opened it now. Uh, they've got the lovely hinge detail to them, so they're very, very easy to open up. And it is a lock in place hinge, so it's not one that just kind of moves all over. And they can be really tricky to put in. And then there's the hollow tube of that gold and silver. And that literally just slots in there. So it's not going to go anywhere. That is a nice and sturdy piece. Bringing it to you today, remember it is solid sterling silver with the gold. Now, let's just remind ourselves on that slide of the gold plated earrings. How much were they? Were they £115 about? It's not like for like, obviously. But Oh no, sorry, the gold ones are um, £165. It's not like for like, obviously. They're completely different. But as an idea... You would be expected for that. And can I just point out as well, because I know what you might be thinking, you might be looking at them and you might be saying, uh, Bex, they're obviously solid gold. They're not. Read the description. It is um, three inch thread gold plated hoop earrings. So they are gold plated. Um, and I'm not even sure if that's still silver at the heart. I imagine so. But yeah, they are gold plated. We have got for you... An incredible deal, considering you've got two luxury metals here. Another serious opportunity of a deal right now. They shouldn't be 95. They wouldn't be 95. Come 80 per clock. They won't be 995. But right here, right now, they are exactly that. £9.95 pence for you today on these ones. I think they are just absolutely beautiful especially with gold being such an on-trend color as it is at this moment in time let me also um let you know as well do you mind if we look at the second slide bruce do you mind pop it thank you uh let me let you know as well that these are some of the um headlines that are really causing a stir at the moment um talking about this being the it girl uh trend talking about it, the hoop earring trend being bigger than ever um talking about how they go with you know, almost everything talking about how they used to be something sort of 80s but they are here and they are here to stay these are designs and these are headlines sorry from many different fashion blogs many different um well-known fashion uh, magazines and i think it's safe to say that every single one of them is saying that this is a trend which is sticking around none of those are talking about it being very current or it being of now they're all very much saying this is something yeah. to stay yeah. and i think again with the mix of celebrities there all the way from you know rihanna to kate moss for example who's in that picture as well you can see that different styles and different looks are um you know very current very apparent but actually the simplicity in those designs seems to be winning out for example um Rihanna's they are literally just a gold hoop that don't look similar too dissimilar from these they are a bit larger if you're looking um, again at um, Kate Moss's as well on the profile they are very simple there's not anything that's too OTT about these no. which is I think what makes this that headline worthy lasting trend yeah do you know what I mean yeah definitely I think that's why they are able to survive as long as a trend because yeah. of the fact that like you the di carry on sorry well. the um the diversity that is like you say in both of those pictures of of styles of ages of even of hairstyles you know you've got hairs that are up you've got hairstyles that are up you've got 
and they're still, um, they still are making a statement, aren't they? Totally. This just in. <laughs> Bruce, release the slide. Yeah. You, you got it on your phone? Yeah, that slide I've just shown, the first slide. Please note those earrings. News just in. This is in from Bruce. Da, 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 da. Bruce, will you come out and tell us, please? Thanks, Petal. Yeah. You need to know this. So, yeah. You know that slide you've just seen there? Yeah. You know the net port ones? Yeah, just bear them in mind. Just have a little think about them. Um, he's here. Yeah, he's yeah. ready. He's raring. Before I make the statement, you have to confirm with you. Oh, okay. There's... That's the right one of you. Yeah, bang on same, yeah? yeah. Same yeah. earrings, yeah? Yeah, we're scrolling. We're scrolling. Yeah. Oh, Bruce, share this with us, please. Share this with yeah. us. Michael's done. Gold-plated <laughs> brass. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, do my ears deceive me? Tell me one more time, Bruce. Gold-plated brass. For how much was it, Bruce? Remind me. 165. 165 pounds. That's that is a thank you, Bruce. That. <laughs> Is because I know this is probably just me, but when I see things like 165 pounds on a set of hoop earrings, I am so adjusted and used to jewelry maker prices that I instantly think they're either solid gold. And then I read the description and was like, oh, actually they're gold plated. It did not even cross my mind that they might be on brass. No. I would have thought gold plated silver because yeah. it was 165 pounds. It's almost like you become so nonchalant with our prices, but don't react. Nine ninety five. I have got the rose gold versions. These are going to be popular. These are the li most limited stock that we have. I haven't got them here in the studio, but it's the same look. It's the same design. It is rose gold, and we have got a photo. The graphics are about to come live. I would dial through on these because they have been more popular, and therefore they're more limited. Here you go for you again today. You've got a um, beautiful. There you go, there they are. A beautiful, continual hoop with that luxurious rose gold hue to it. We are bringing it to you with the hinge detail. Already got a multi-buyer checking out. You were in, in quick as a shark. Well done. Um, I have got for you, we have got rose gold plated sterling silver. I don't know, I reckon sharks are pretty fast. They Not on land. Fast. They are fast. Not on land like, but in the sea. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. That is a fantastic deal for something that is so on trend, so luxurious, and so so um, sort of lasting in the sense of, as we said, it's a trend that is just clearly here to stay. Isn't yeah, it? it really is. And one thing that I'm looking at, I'm actually looking at these and thinking, if I had these at home, I, I would be tempted to hammer them yeah why not to get that texture because yeah, one of the ones in the picture that you had had a, a very a sort of textured look to it yeah so again you could just gently because you've got that complete component mm -hmm. but you're adding your style onto it totally so Love you could idea. hammer it to just get that texture if you wanted to mm. um but so you look at these and you look at a pair that are on that picture is there's nothing like there's no particular sort of um distinction to make it that particular brand. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. So nobody would know whether you'd paid £165. Yeah. Or nine ninety five. That's a good know, point. Because there's no distinguishing mark. There's no like obvious logo. No. You're just going to go, oh, a nice pair of earrings. You're not going to go, oh, I, I see that that's the super expensive ones. Yeah, totally. I think that's such a great prize. Grab it whilst you can. Let me just remind you. Sorry, my earpiece is falling out, yeah? Let me just remind you um, that I've got these hoops on their way to... And I'm actually going to start with them now. Let me bring them to you. Oh, I like them. They're cute. What do you like about these ones? I just, I think, like you said, like you uh, nicely reminded me earlier in the break. Yeah. That I don't tend to do big statement earrings. No. So for me, this is kind of more my comfort size. Yeah. I would feel comfortable wearing those. I wouldn't feel they were too much. Mm -hmm. um, and I like the fact that the metal on them is quite... Um, thick, so yeah, it has it's a very sturdy, solid that. look to them, and I really like that because it's like 
that flash of metal. Definitely. And it really is a serious swoosh of metal. Mm. I like that when you're wearing these, you're going to get that little bar jutting out the back, yeah. which just gives it a, that contemporary look without yeah. being OTT. As we mentioned before, imagine a little dollop of jeweler's glue on there and maybe a flat bottom pearl. Yeah. Or imagine um, using your Swarovski and, and even Serolin with this. Pop some Serolin on and really mm. encrust it. Make it not just black, yeah. make it sort of 3D. Almost like it's, a Shambhala kind of style beads. Do you remember those? Yes. That, that were just lots of studded little crystals. Gorgeous idea. You could almost do your own version of Gorgeous that. Gorgeous idea. And, um, and as well, remember, you could put charms onto it. So imagine like um, the... Kiwi Ciconia sort of Pandora style charm that I did for you earlier on. You could slide that on over the top. You know it's not going to fall off the back because it's got that as a stopper. It's going to look, you know, adding more detail, adding yeah. more layers. Nothing stopping you adding the likes of the five meter chain I did earlier on as well. Serious amount of metal in these. Now we're up in the luxury. We are looking at three. 3.90 grams. That is massive amount actually. Um, considering it's a pair of earrings that's 1.95 approximately in each ear so that is a serious serious amount that you're getting if you want to treat yourself to this now is most certainly your chance to do so we are giving you a price and a half today 11.95 for that gram weight that is very 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 good indeed if we are just checking the da, 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 two seconds if we are just checking as it stands, the silver prices at this moment in time, right? Okay. So as it stands today, we would be saying that if you are getting silver, yeah, if you're getting silver at around about £5.65 per gram, that is a good price. So how much would that be? £5.65, let's say times four, just freeze. I know it's not quite that, but £22.60. So that would be just for silver. That would be a good price. No, not an exceptional price, but a good price. And that's, that's with us looking at the uh, live price of silver as it stands today. That would be a good price. We're actually surpassing that, um, which is fantastic. Silver is very much a hit and miss. It's w when you buy is, is, you know, the important thing to remember. And let me just remind you too, um, let me get this up for, let's do this. Da -da -da -da. Let me show you, for example, this is the price of silver variation. Let's show you. Four even just the last week. So we have gone, lowest point, we're kind of at it today, highest point, you have got to be looking at, oh, that's a big increase actually from this point, let me tap at the highest point if I can, that's the lower point, hang on, hang on, hang on, get over here. So that is not even your highest point, down to where we are as it stands at this moment in time, that's a big price difference considering that that is in a week. Actually, if you pull it up and you look at the difference between 10 years and 20 years, it's massive. And I think this is really important for us to remember because it's quite easy to forget that if we buy silver, let's say on the Monday, and we buy X price, on the Tuesday, it may well have gone up by only a small uh, you know, monetary value, but percentage-wise, that can make a big difference. And that's why when things like this are live on air, it's always good to get a great... Um, like amount of what you want at that time because we could genuinely we don't know what's going to happen next next year we could genuinely repurchase mm. these in let's say the price of silver just for ease of mass will have gone up by an extra you know pound per gram we'd have to add that extra four pounds onto onto our costs of course to buy this which would mean you would then get the increase as well so if you like an earring or any sterling silver and you like the price Always seize the moment and really grab it at that time. We've got for you the gold version coming now. Unlock. Oh, I just think this richness of gold is sublime. Again, they do come with your butterfly backs, obviously. Here we go. That luxury gold quality and colour is so divine. Um, 
you know, I was talking about sort of the history of hoops earlier on. In the 1700s, sailors used to wear gold hoops. And the reason that sailors would wear gold hoops, similarly to, as I was mentioning before, about 2500 BC, the reason that sailors were wearing um, hoop earrings is because it showed that first off that they were a sailor and second off it if something were to happen and their bodies were to be washed up on shore the fact that they would have in gold hoop earrings so gold is already a luxury the fact that they're a hoop earring goes to show that there's a lot of luxury because you're getting more metal yeah. but also it not only showed and depict what your job was but it also secured you a good burial because what they would do is they would take out the earrings sell the gold sell the earrings gold. on and Bam. then you would have an appropriate burial that's cool yeah so that's back in the 1700s so there's a lot of history to a hoop i know they're very much of the moment and very in fashion and trend mm. now but actually the history on them is really interesting i've got for you the gold plated hoop earrings now and we have got for you 12 pounds 95 for you today and we've got them they are 25 minutes I'll just let you know. I'm going to show them in comparison to the continual hoop earrings that I did for you momentarily um, ago, just to give you an idea of the difference in size. And I'll show you that on the uh, profile as well, just to give you a difference in the idea of size so that you can opt for which ones you fancy. These could be your day wear ones, these could be night out ones. It's, it's absolutely up to you. Uh, $12.95 on those ones today. Good work. I love the luxury look of those ones, I really do. Let me bring you the final set of these ones now. I've got more stones still, I've got more gemstones to come, I've got more demos from this lovely lass as well. Let me do your rose gold now. The rose gold ones, I think, have got a real lovely blush quality to them. Because it's such a large amount of metal, it catches the light in quite an unusual way and makes the rose gold almost look like different shades of rose gold yeah i was actually thinking that i was thinking that it's almost it's gone to a real true rose gold isn't yeah. it it's a yeah, very yeah. um i always think of copper and that rose gold being the same sort of color they're yeah. not rose true rose gold is this lovely kind of pinky blushy gold yes you're right and that is beautiful it's got again it's got a real softness tone to it definitely um that's really lovely pretty isn't it bringing to you today your rose gold version now obviously it's the solid sterling silver and then it's got the plating over the top hence why the solid sterling silver ones are around about 3.9 grams whereas these ones are four grams so you've got that extra plating over the top bringing that overall weight up adding to the luxury. £12.95 is your price point on these ones today. I think it's incredible that our difference in price between solid selling silver and, for example, rose gold plating is a matter of a couple of pounds. Yeah. Because, and this is something, oh, we need to get on about this actually, because me and uh, lovely Marie um, um, were talking about this before she left, but um, um, we were going to get a filming <coughs> on um at the assay office um, and somewhere similar because we wanted to do um a dvd well a vt about plating because actually plating of sterling silver another metal over the top is so incredibly difficult and expensive because it's not just about sourcing the raw gold in its material you have to use um, really high grade chemicals with them to for that addition and to make it a possible thing so you use um, what is one of the things you used you use cyanide Cyanide is one of the ingredients in, in helping you to kind of plate things. I'm not saying that there's any cyanide in this, if that makes sense. Don't worry about that. But it is something, it is a component that has to be used within the process. You know, it's really difficult. Anyway, I think it's amazing that we only do it for a couple of extra quid. $12.95 for you today, if you fancy grabbing them. If you do want to grab them. Do feel free. I'm going to do for you now something very special. I am very, very lucky here at Jewelry Maker that um, I get to see a lot of different genuine gemstones. And I, I am quite lucky because I get to see not only quite a lot of different gemstones, but I get to see them in different qualities. Um, 
I'll be honest with you though, one of the downsides to that is that I can become quite pernickety about what I do hope for and expect. And I would say particularly with the recent parcels of certain stones we've had coming through that just take the level that we are used to and have, in my opinion, elevated our expectations. With that elevation, when it comes to garnet, for example, I am now not only hoping for, but sometimes expecting clarity, good colour, great saturation, nice cuts, and I'm expecting a semi-decent carat weight. I have set my level of my expectations of garnet so much higher than they would have been even 12 months ago because of the incredible parcels we've had over the last few months. With all of that being said, for me to sit here now and say, even with those expectations which had leveled up, that this strand took my breath away, I hope he's going to give you a nod as to how special this opportunity is. If you are a gemstone collector, and if you like garnet, prepare to love garnet. It's your star by. Just as a forewarn, this is one of the strands that we gave as a challenge, so it is a shorter strand, um, but obviously we'll show you the makes with this soon. Um, garnet. I said I was looking for nice clarity, nice colour, nice saturation. I've got all of it on here. The other added extra boon is that I have got not just garnet and not just the species, but the varieties. So, sorry, let me explain this better. That was a rubbish explanation, Max. Okay, a group is almost like a family name, in this instance, Garnet. A species is to do with whether you've got, the, there's two main species within Garnet, so it's like, um, if you've got like, um, your, how do I put it in like a name term? Let's say, let's imagine that Garnet is like your family name, so your last name. Let's imagine that your your sort of species name is maybe a name that's handed down as a middle name and then you've all got your variety name which is your individual name. The same is of Garnet. What I am bringing to you here is not just Garnet as the name but I have genuinely got the look of the likes of Demantoid Garnet on here, the likes of um, Oh my gosh, there's like your purple garnets on here. I have almost got in here like your um, Zavarite colours of garnet in here. This is a strand that takes my expectation and goes one further. I hope you like it as much as I do. It's just so unique. I love these as a set of jewellery. As I say to you, this is a eight centimetre strand. I'm probably holding for you uh, about three centimetres here. So just to give you an idea, you're still getting a decent quantity. We are bringing to you a serious amount of individuality, a serious amount of beauty, a serious amount of luxury, because I've got those variations in the types of your garnet. To be able to get so many different varieties, so many different qualities, and to be able to hit those sort of things you're told to look for when it comes to, uh, you know, sort of a buyer's guide, let's say, is incredible. I love that I'm bringing to you some really strong hues, strong oranges, strong purples. We all know the stories with purple mm -hmm. garnets, right? And we're bringing you those strong greens. We have got for you a range of hues, a range of colours, but we have not gone... Yeah, please do just give us a range of colours. We don't mind if they're completely opaque or they're a bit rough in shape or the, the, the sizes are all higgledy-piggledy. We have said we want all of these things and we are going to get them. <laughs> and that is what we have got on this strand. Um, it is seriously a sublime beauty. It has got such a range of colours. Um, I'm seeing if we got a photo of this strand just as it was as a thing. I can try and pull it up online if you want. Anyone? No one? 
Oh, you've got a recording. Oh, perfect. Just tell me when you see the full strand. So this is the full length of the strand. Look at the amount of different colours. I have got, um, oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my, the fact that you are getting blues in this as well. Is that just me? Have I just seen a blue garnet? Almost. Wait for it to come back round, maybe. <laughs> I've got in here sort of your pyrite colours, there's your specinite, uh, specinite colours as well, those kind of hues that you're getting within there. I've got almost cinnamon hues on there too, have you? Have you seen all these? Hessonite garnet hues I think you're getting in moments. There's your specinite kind of colours, aren't they? That's, I love the sort of savorite greens that you're almost getting here. Honestly, there is just so much to be enjoyed with this. Look at these almost blues there, almost blues. You have got so much to enjoy with this, and I hope you do. Can we make it as enjoyable as perfectly as possible? Right, be honest, be completely and absolutely honest. Looking at this strand, as I showed you right at the, uh, you know, start of the show, looking at it in this jewellery, looking at it in, in, you know, the <coughs> earrings that I was wearing earlier on, looking at it within these so hoop designs, kind of. looking at it within these, these pieces, is it just me or was anybody else expecting closer to the £60 mark? And, and you might well think, Bex, you're being ridiculous. But that is genuinely what I was expecting when I saw I, these the I other day. Were, I thought they were going to be six nine ninety five. Yeah, understandable. I thought that's what they would be. I mean, you've got multicoloured garnet there. You've yeah, got some amazing amounts of it as well. <coughs> Look at the purple on that strand. That's incredible. I mean, I've, I haven't been. <laughs> I've almost got two so different special. styles of the um, earrings there yeah. because I was waiting to get the purples off of there to match onto the opposite earring. Mm -hmm. But actually, it looks lovely with just a few dotted mm -hmm. or with lots dotted. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those. Mm. Um, it's really oh gosh, lovely this is to popular. Please be quick. Sorry, colours so out. No, no. Um, so I'm just playing about and again, obviously putting it onto these um, sterling silver chain. Yeah. I mean, when you break down the components that we've used, I'll be brutally honest. So if you had a pair of earrings like this, obviously I'm going to put a few more layers of chain yeah, and a few yeah. more bits of um, the garnet on there, you wouldn't expect to go into a shop and see them for, say, £20. No! no so chance. we know we paid, what, £6.95 for the hoops. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously you've got your chain, of which I've still got tons of and I've been that using loads chain. and loads. Mm. Um, you know, your, your gemstones. Mm. You would, I would be looking at those once they're fully sort of loaded, at being about an £80, £90 pair of earrings. Just incredible and understandable. And easy oh, to do nice. work with. Like this gemstone, I'm literally, what I'm doing now is I'm doing a little individual wrapped loop. Yeah. And I'm adding that onto the actual earring. And then I'm doing the same technique as I showed earlier with Lark's head knot of adding the chain with a little drop on the end of that. Beautiful. So just to add that texture and that movement, just to show. And that colour range is yeah. just stunning. 30% stock left, and I will let you know. I had over 200 of these. 30% of the stock... Gone. Um, Quantis, sorry, 30% of the stock left. There is a huge amount of this gone. Multi buyers left, right, and centre. Um, you're working with your lever oh, right. back yes, earrings at the moment. Be, yes. And we are going to be bringing them to you in about 20 These. minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, and again, this is lovely because, you know, this is kind of like simple makes, but they look so effective. I love this. Again, you've got that metal there. Yeah. And I'm going to be adding, I have to oh, yeah, add on. one of these oh, the Laramar. to it. And I'm going to show you, um, I, I mentioned a tip earlier on about how to actually just use some beading thread yeah. and those crimps um, and adding that as a simple pair of earrings. I'm going to show so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll show you how to work with that as well. Gorgeous. Yes. Um, so they are on their way. Um, before it, let me just say, all of you who have got that garnet, very, well very done. lucky. You are, it looks nice on screen. It's it incredible. Looks amazing in real life. <laughs> um, let me dive on in. Ah, oh, the little tuddy cats. Bruce, I haven't asked you today. How's Samson getting on? He's still the love of my life. I bet your wife loves it when you uh, say that. <laughs> <laughs> Samson <laughs> is Bruce's gorgeous cat, and he is Aww. the type of cat that looks like a model. Aww. He's one of those. Remind me what type he is. He's a Persian, a grey Persian, fluffy as you like, 
and Bruce sends us many, many photos of him just lounging, just, <laughs> just relaxing, just Jay chilling. He's such a dude, <laughs> says lovely Bruce. Um, I love these, and I think any cat lover would absolutely adore them too. I really like these because um, they are quite simplistic in their design. They're very clear as to what they are, but also they've got usability. So if you wanted to, imagine getting a bit of sellotape, or other tapes are available, popping it on the back of these, using some resin, and dripping in different colours of resin. Leave them to set, peel off that back, you've got a stained glass window cat. I think that could look really cool. I think that could look really funky. Another great thing to do with these is serolin. Yeah. Pop serolin in them, um, which if you don't know what serolin is, imagine something that has a texture similar to like a putty. Put your serolin in it, you can then bejewel that by pushing Swarovski into it, and there you go. <laughs> You've just made a putty cat. Well done, Bruce. Um, but yeah, you could, couldn't you? So you can really add to these. Loads of chain you could drape from these ones yeah, as yeah. well. There's loads you could you do. Could They're only $7.95. Use, it as, a, use it as a towel. Cute idea. Do you know that one Millstone Silver Wire we did before? Uh huh. You could make a toggle, the T bar for yeah, that, and that would be your clasp. Yeah. I love well, it. Well, again, with this chain here, feed in a couple of lengths of that through, and yeah. actually just having it as a tassel star necklace. Gorgeous idea. But they're so sweet, aren't they? Yeah, they, they? are. They, they are. remind me of the headbands as well. A lot of people, when they put makeup on, they have the little cat ears. They do the cat ears, yeah. don't they? Yeah, that's really cute. That's really sweet. Um, I absolutely love and adore these. As a lot of you will know, I've recently adopted a cat. Uh, my little Sophie, who I am slightly obsessed with. And if someone were to get me a one of these as like a charm, you know, mm. even six months ago, I'd have liked it, but it wouldn't have made any sense to me. Mm. Now, though, they completely and absolutely yeah, do. So don't just think about people who are cat lovers in your life. Think about people who've maybe recently got a cat or are discussing getting a cat. You know, this could be something really what nice for them. If you wire were it to letter, so for, in your case, an S. Oh! and put that into the centre and just sort of gently, you That's could solder gorgeous. it to be fair if you could. were doing the soldering. Great. Um, or you could just use a little bit of finer wire and attach idea. it. Love that idea. Um, let's zip and do that along to, this is stunning. I'm just gonna borrow this bust from over here, if I may. Chain, a necklace chain. Let me show it to you. A sturdy necklace chain mind. A lot of sterling silver in here. Very elegant, very wearable. Clasp included, jump rings included, gorgeous chain included, and even... Oh, that is stars. So cute. Ready and wearing. I'll move that to the back. Ready and wearing for you to stamp onto them. Ready and wearing for you to etch into them. You have got the opportunity here to colour these. You have got the opportunity to patina these. You have got the opportunity to pop maybe, let's say, let's say you're a, um, a, a mum. You could pop your child's birthstone in this one and your birthstone in this one. You have got the opportunity here to create the type of look and design which is so sweet, so thoughtful in such a quick and simplistic manner. That's great when we're making jewellery that's personalised, isn't it? You know, yeah. some, sometimes you want those long makes that take you days and days and you go back to them and you watch Corrie and you, you know, keep sort of chipping away at them. Sometimes you want elegant makes that are quick and easy to do. This is definitely that. And look at how beautiful that light interacts with it because of the amount of silver. I absolutely adore the beauty in this. I adore how it's kind of ready and raring to go, you know. I love how it's got that ingenuity to it. And with the star, as I say, that is a saleable, saleable motif. Great price, 29.95, but we're not staying there. Think about the different designers who have worked with stars. Think about the likes of, uh, you know, Thomas Sabo. Think of the likes of Pandora. Think of the likes of, um, 
uh, who else? Oh, Miss Boa, for example, Bulgari, um, Gucci's doing um, the stars as well. I think that start price is incredible, but the end price is even more mouth, mouth boggling, mouth drying. <laughs> 6.20 grams of sterling silver for 17.95. What did we say before the good price for silver was? Was it £5.65 per gram? I can't remember and I've closed that website now. I think it was about that. But if you imagine it, £5.65, I think that's what we said, times that in your mind by 6.2, and that's giving you an idea of just for the silver will be a good price, 35 quid. But we've gone above and beyond that because we've taken this to the next level. You've got the chain, you've got the class, you've got those two stars, and you could separate those, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, like you say, you could use that as a charm if you wanted to, yeah. or you could just keep... I mean, to me, that's a ready-made necklace. The work's been done for Pretty you. Much. You've got the balance because, you know, the chain balances out the, the size of that pendant beautifully, I Agreed. think. It looks Agreed. very... Um, you know, it, it, it looks stylized doesn't it mm. and like you say you could personalize it if you want to you could add a gemstone you could put your cellulite in it you could do anything yeah or you could keep it simple and, and and classic i just adore the beauty of that and how individual and how um easy it could be to individualize uh, have i told you lately 20 that, my, um, that kayla's got a new she still wants kayla to, is a spell daughter yeah, my daughter um so she's got She's always want, she wants to be an actor. Yes, she does. Yeah. She does. Um, but it's, if that fails, mm -hmm. she wants to do um, astronomy and all of the stars. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She literally just came oh, out of the place just before Christmas. Um, and I said, why is that? And she's like, I just find it really interesting, Mum. Yeah. I love the planets. I think it's amazing that there's mm. planets out there that we don't even know are out there. Yeah. And so for Christmas, on her list, she wrote that she wanted star and, and moon earrings. That's or You know, nice. she wanted very, very sort of orientated towards mm. that so I was and I actually struggled right to find I found like a um, some charm necklaces and stuff like that but it's very difficult so this would be a, she would love this yeah. because it stars and it's you know it's it ties into That's what she's interested, interested in, in. Um, and I think a lot of people are into yeah. you know, the stars and astronomy and astrology as well because that's all to do with kind of the connection of yeah. stars and signs and stuff isn't it I love that as a design well done everyone and moving on to Oh, boo, 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 doo, 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 doo. oh, love hearts. Surely one of the best known motifs. Love hearts, of course, um, don't just signify love for your partner, your husband, your wife, or whoever that may be. I think love hearts signify friendship. Yeah. Love hearts signify general caring you know kindness and caring and um for me when you're giving a gift that has an underlying meaning it's kind of doing a job for you yeah and that's what i like with these ones what would you be doing with something like this at spellby if i were to say let's use all three of them in a design i'm just gonna have a little look at yeah them go inside. ahead Ooh. so for me again this is very simple very classic this is something you could use as a frame, like as a bezel almost. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could set something into it. But I would literally love the idea. Have you got that necklace with the stars on again? Yeah, let me just grab it. Sorry. There you are, puppy. So if you imagine one of these, instead of the... So we, we scooted that over, didn't we, a moment ago. So, yeah, imagine that as the chain with that. That's going to be a beautiful... If you want to hold that, and I'll hold that chain. Yeah. Yeah. Is that nice? So... Again, simply on a chain like that, keep it simple. And what you could do is pop a little jump ring in, because um, of the little, where well, you can see the um, loop here, mm. you could pop a jump ring into that and then add a little charm just on the inside. Oh, that's a gorgeous idea. I love so, that. So, you know, you, can, you could do whatever you wanted to, keep it plain and simple, style it up. 13 95 for three of these, which is very good because they are a big mm. size. We're looking at a two centimetre drop approximately on these. You know me, I love me crafts. And um, I, um, um, you know, do different styles of crafts. And I used to have a uh, paper craft business. Um, so whenever I'm looking at things like this, I am imagining 
this on the front of a card in yeah. a really simplistic way because I know they're flat enough for me to post. Yeah. I know there's a type of silver, the type of metal that I can post, and I'm not going to have to pay for extra weight or whatever. No. So I'm instantly looking at quotes. Think about quotes like this, maybe this on the front of a card that will say something, maybe, for example, if you carry joy in your heart, you can heal any moment. For someone who's maybe going through a little bit of a tough time, mm. maybe you've uh, got someone who's moving or you've got somebody who's, um, you know, going to a new uh, job or something like that, just a little card saying, home is where the heart is, for example. It is something that you know you can really play with because there's so many love heart related quotes out there it's beautiful for you to be able to create not just beautiful jewelry but also thoughtful jewelry mm. well done 13.95 i'm moving on to bring the flutter by love butterflies I love and adore butterflies um, because I think they're so majestic. They say to me freedom. They say to me exploration. Um, but also, it's just the fact of how beautiful they are. I have got for you here that wonderment of the butterfly design in solid sterling silver. The fact that solid sterling silver displays and reflects, should I say, around about 95% of the light that hits it back to the eye, the, not only the openness of this almost lattice lace-like work, but also the bowing of these wings, you can see they sort of dome up slightly, all of that helps with that reflection and the way in which the light moves. The light moves presto on these, the light kind of bounces back to hit the eye really quickly and it gives you this sleek glossy expensive look but we're jewelry maker so it's not going to be expensive is it <laughs> let's go under a tenner and i don't mean by a five pence let's do it big bale included yes that is fully soldered so you can use it as is just straight on a chain jobs are good in four pounds 95 for you today that is a beautiful look a beautiful design an expensive looking design and one that you are going to have a lot of fun working with i think you could easily i would personally take off the bail that's just me personally take off the bail and i would twist the side design oh no i don't even have to do with this look it's an open jump ring literally loop that onto my lever yeah. back earring done, done. Done. And then, if you did get this beautiful garnet, yeah. you could add little drops from the um, oh. bottom of the wings or almost Voila. stitch them into the... Because you think of butterfly, you think of colourful, don't Definitely. you? Definitely. Definitely. I love it. Grab it whilst you can. It's time for a break now. And after the break, we are going to dive straight on in to our lever back earrings. If you love your sterling silver and you love your genuine gemstones and you want to make sure that you go out at the start of the night and you've still got your earrings in, <laughs> then you have definitely got the right opportunity coming your way with a demo in a few minutes. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. 
If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. There is something very precious about the knowing of security. There is something very important, I believe, almost sort of at the back of your mind when you're making a piece of jewellery, that you know that that piece of jewellery is going to remain in its place, remain as it should for the foreseeable. I believe that there is something to do with knowing that when you pop in a pair of earrings at the beginning of the night, you could go out drinking with your favourite girlfriends, you could end up dancing on bars, you could end up, um, I don't know, I dare not say too much else, uh, but you could you could end up dancing on bars, uh, you could end up doing the can-can down the street in uh, at four o'clock in the morning, and you could end up, um, I don't know, doing handstands in the kebab shop. Um, you could do all of these things, and you know when you're putting in your earrings, that at the end of the night, with all when all of that is said and done, at the end of the night, you will take out those earrings, the gemstones will still be in place, they will still have been comfortable, and all of that precious metal has gone nowhere. All of those things bring a boon. These are the earrings to help with that. Now, I'm not trying to say that everybody at home is into going out, tripping the light fantastic, you know, kicking up the reels and ordering a donna at four in the morning. <laughs> but for those of you who are, it's, it's that great security that we love. For those of you who aren't, let's face it, I'm sure that all of us at one point or another have even just been sat out for dinner and felt that shepherd hook with the gorgeous big expensive gemstone on rock forward in the air and you have that moment where you go oh blimey I oh, nearly had that I was nearly gone that you don't want your jewelry to be like that you want your jewelry to be put on to feel luxurious to look glamorous and you want it to know that it's working with you not against you that is exactly what these do if you fancy grabbing them because you want security maybe you've got some gemstones that cost you an ex you know a, a, a high price and you do not want to, them to go anywhere, this is the earring for you. 
It is your lock in place, super secure lever back earring that I am bringing to you today. Now we are going to have a demo with these in a little bit, but let me just show you. You've got your loop section here. Can you see how that's clinked in? So that means that when you are pulling this post back, that is the post that goes through the ear. This then loops back onto it. Put that back in place. There we go. That then loops back onto it. So this is at the back of your earlobe. And that means it's flicking away from your earlobe, so it's very comfortable. That means that is secure. That is in place. That is going absolutely nowhere. It's the loop at the bottom here that helps you attach things on. And we will talk more about that in just a few moments but that is what you're dealing with here you are dealing with security and you know on the on the marks of security as well let me just sort of and this again this could well just be me and I'm aware of this but I'm I'm very much like an optimistic I am very much the type of person that well I think you can tell I'm very bubbly I'm very optimistic I believe sort of in the happiness and fairies and rainbows and mythical creatures like sloths um, <laughs> and I imagine all of these wonderful things um, but I am one of those people that if I have, say for example, um, a ring that I absolutely love and adore, and I'm just imagining this because similar things have happened, I'm just putting it in jewellery terms, but say I had a ring on that I absolutely loved and adored and I had a brilliant night out with my friends and it was great and then I realised some point through the night that the main stone's fallen out of it, Actually, that would put a massive dampener on my night. Yes. I would, even though I am a very optimistic and sort of happy-go-lucky person, that would genuinely make me feel absolutely gutted, especially if I loved it. Mm -hmm. It is the same with earrings. Yes. Yeah. Especially if maybe you've bought a high-end gemstone. Maybe mm -hmm. you've got your hands on, oh, I don't know, like a, a mould of that, I'm trying to think of, costly gems or, or Pareba tourmaline. Yeah. You might have a strand at home that you haven't even dared open because you're worried that... What if what I make with it isn't that good? Mm -hmm. What if what I make with it isn't that nice? But also, what if I put that in a pair of earrings and, you know, I'm, I, I realise halfway through Drops the night, it, one of them's yeah. rocked forward yeah. and come off. You do not get that with this at all. This is an opportunity for you to have security mm -hmm. and therefore longevity. And also for, like, younger people as well. If you think of, like, sort of, like... For example, my daughter, she's 11, she, her ears are pierced, she would wear these, yeah. and she would have that confidence of knowing that they're not going to fall anywhere, because, you know, kids run around, course, crazy things. Of course, of um, I love them as they are, but also, as I said earlier, you, your weddings. Yeah. So, again, it's your special day. Mm. You don't want to look back at your wedding photo and be like, oh, hang on a minute. I've got one earring. Got one earring. And Where's let's be honest, no one told me? not everyone, not, not <laughs> people aren't necessarily going to notice that, no, are they? It's not no. until you get the photo album you've paid for that you maybe realise. Yeah. I've got to give you your price on this because these are flying out the door. What percentage of my stock of Prox has gone? Pardon? About 50%. About 50%. Close to 50%. Close to 50%. Almost 50%. That 50% is about to go up. Three pairs. How much is that per pair, Puppet? Three pairs, remember. Solid sterling silver. State solid sterling silver. £7.31 for a pair of solid, locked into place, beautifully designed earrings. I will get a gram weight on it for you, if you want. Shall I do that? Can, do you mind if I pop that down? Two ticks, because I just need to open this. Can I borrow your um, camera? Please. Thank you. Okay, you ready? I was like, what camera? I'm going to have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you show me, Bruce, and I'll move it. There you are. Right. So, oh, no, I've just put it on that now. Do you mind? Thank you. There we go. So, just to prove it's starting on zero. There we go. Let's put those both on. There you go. So, you're looking at 1.23 grams in a pair. So, across all of it, we're looking at about what, B? 369 approximately just um so there you are there's your, there's your gram weight on them let me just say that for seven pound how much of them I reach that is a really really good deal in particular mm -hmm. as, as i mentioned before that well-known place seven pound for a individual nose stud 
We're gonna take this down so that per pair it works out under a fiver. Let's do it. I would multi-purchase if you're happy with yeah. security, if you like to know that what you're making is staying in place. 14 pounds and 95 pence for you today. If you wanna treat yourself to it, now is your opportunity. They are a sensational look, a sensational deal. And they've got that fabulous security. All three pairs for 14.95. Great for your, um, you know, great for the jewellery that works with you and not against you, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. Great for those people who want jewellery that they know is going to stand the test of time. It's going to last. But also, actually, if you're just looking at this sort of as it, as it stands as it is, also nice for those people who maybe want something with a little bit of... Mm. I like that. I sort of it, drama it to it, looks, it almost. Um, very sleek. I do like sort of like... Very. Streamline almost in its design, isn't it? Agreed. It's, it's straight down. Um, and as I think I said earlier, um, I have a friend of mine and for whatever reason, she cannot wear normal standard shepherd hooks. Right. Because they just fall out. Fall out. And I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, honestly. So I have had to buy her some... I've had to give her some of the rubber backs, you know, that you can get. Yeah. To put on the back right, yeah, yeah. of, of the them. thing. But then it still tips forward. Yeah. So if you think of a, um, a shepherd hook, yeah. it can still tip forward. All right, it's being But this stopped, one is basically a stud through the ear. that one's going to stay in that style, isn't it? And it's basically a stud through the ear. So you're totally right. That's not going to rock gonna anywhere. It's not going to tip. It's not going to... So, you know, it might be secure, but it's tipped forward. So it's... Visually, it's not looking completely. As nice. So that is going to sit lovely in the ear. And I would make if I was going to make her a pair of earrings, I would use Do those it with these. because I know she suff she you know she struggles with that. Yeah. Can I also just point out, whilst we're talking about sort of comfort and, and durability and lasting nature, can you see the tiny little nook in this mm. tiny little nook? That is what clips into place on this design. So that almost bends over it like a hook. And if I pop this near my mic and we're all very, very quiet for a minute. Shh. Cheer that. Did you hear that click? Did you hear that security? That click goes to show that we have got something that is super duper secure there, yeah. isn't it? We have got something. Did you not hear it? Do you want me to do it again? Quiet time. that yeah that is the security that you know you have got something here that is going to you you feel yeah. the click and you go aha that's in places it's yeah. meant to be yeah because it does give you that reassurance because Definitely. when you put your earrings in you, you can't see what you're doing can you you're kind of like oh i've done that no. it's the same as when you put butterfly or stud earrings in yeah. you hear that click and you're like ah yes you know yeah you you're locked in um, well done, absolutely every one of you. Loads of multi buyers. People's getting twos, threes, fours, sixes, sevens, did you say? Sevens. <laughs> and oh, I. Uh, absolutely loads of you. People getting ten yeah. of these ones too. I mean, these, and again, it's something of a niche for you to be able to say, I've got these lever back earrings, mm -hmm. they're sterling silver, they're lever back, you mm -hmm. know, again, if you do your wedding fairs or your market, or proms, you know, you've got yeah. end of levers balls and, and mm -hmm. things like that and these are going to be perfect for that mm -hmm. um that's just a little simple version mm -hmm. i'm going to show you how to work we're going to show it in a second it's really easy but the other thing i was thinking of is 70 percent stock gone sorry you're saying about security yeah have we ever gone to bed with earrings in i kind of may have done that last night yeah um and i do not have sleepable earrings in right no, now no, no. um i found one in the bed luckily right good. <laughs> the other one was sort of there what time did you go to bed spelby so Anyway, <laughs> about the same time as you, I think, on there. Yeah. Um, oh, anyway, <laughs> two o'clock. We were meant to go to bed. <laughs> Just nattering. We, haven't, haven't we seen, had food. I haven't seen Becky since before Christmas. So we had a lot to natter about. We had some food. We were going to go to sleep at two o'clock. And then get up early. Yeah, because we know what we're like. Um, <laughs> yeah. I got back to my room, which is just upstairs from Spelby's, at a quarter to five this morning. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, hence the not taking the earrings out before I went to sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, it's just like, no, bed. I've got no time. <laughs> just go to, go sleep. to sleep. I'm awake. <laughs> when you set your alarm and it says, you're awake in three hours 30, yeah, and you're like, like, if I make oh. it sort of half nine, it says four hours and ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. You know, I don't condone going to bed with earrings in. No. Obviously not, but it happens. Mm, okay. And you know that you're not going to wake up trying to find that missing earring. Yeah. So, yeah. Something like this, that's mm. secure as well and yeah. again because these are sort of as they are that's not a really long bar with like a big no, butterfly hanging out of it it's not gonna be too uncomfortable either 14.95 well done one and all should we have a demo oh okay. let's let me just remind you the Laramar that we're about to show you it will be on its way soon but before that let's see how we can use these lever backs with them Spelby I am okay. with you so I'm gonna show you two different ways of using these top drill gemstones Gorgeous. so again I'm using the Laramar because I'm spoilt, but you know, any of your top drill gemstones uh -huh. will work with. So I'm gonna show you a wire way mm -hmm. and a non-wire way. Got you. So obviously when you use a crimp bead, you can use crimp covers. Yes. So you don't have to have the metal showing, but I've actually kind of made tried to make a bit of a feature of it, almost tried to kind of texture it a little bit. If I was at home, I'd probably just sort of tap that a little bit and just give it that textured look. Mm -hmm. um, but you could also round out the bead pop a crimp bead cover on and it will just look like two little spacer beads Lovely. above it. So there's that as well. Okay. So I'm going to show you the non-wire way first. Mm -hmm. Impressed with myself for saying that. So I'm going to take a little bit of beading thread. Now you can take beading thread or you can take monofilament if you want it to be invisible. Okay. So it would work with both. Literally, this is too much. Find your matching earrings. And so I'm then going to take my... Oh, I've already done that one, sorry. Using my beading thread, feed that straight through the drill hole. There we go. Okay. Bring that up. Now, I don't need a lot of wire, uh, beading wire. This is too much, but it's fine. Now, I'm currently using the spacer beads that we had at the very beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. It was about 40 of them. Wasn't there? There was, yeah. But they, we described them as spacers, but as we were saying, kind you of can use, use them, them as, as crimps. crimps. But yeah. I mean, 40 of them in sterling silver, they were a bargain. Yeah, I mean, you could use either We did them these. in rose gold and gold too. So. You could um, use any colour metal with this, yes. um, but you could just use crimp beads as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you how you can use all these components. Now, you could just use one if you want to, yeah, or two or three if you want it to be decorative. It's completely up to you. So, I'm popping both of these on. And what I'm doing is trying to pinch them quite close to mm -hmm. really minimize that beading thread showing to be honest and try to keep it as sort of tidy as possible mm -hmm. okay yeah so then what i want to do is i'm actually just going to take one of these so yeah it doesn't matter which one and i'm going to bring it back through and down 70 percent of the stock has gone on this just to let everyone know so that beading thread has come out through the bottom of the second tube got yeah so I'm just gently going to control that and I can switch to my um, round nose pliers. What I'm going to do is just use that to put that pressure on to get that centralised. Oops. This is why I personally like to use longer lengths because it gives me more control over what I'm doing. Yeah. So if you hold that loop and pull that wire, mm -hmm. you can see the, the loop is reducing. Got you. Now, if I had the wrong side of the loop mm -hmm. and I pulled that wire and nothing happens, mm -hmm. I know I can switch over to the other side and then I can control that and get that to be the exact, so like that, exactly the size I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Now, because of the orientation on these um, lever back earrings, mm -hmm. they are front facing. So, I don't want my loop to be front facing as well mm -hmm. because otherwise it will make my earring sit to the side like that mm -hmm. as opposed to like that mm -hmm. so I need to make sure that I control that loop and I do that when I actually flatten the crimp beads mm -hmm. to sit in a different direction you could just put a jump ring in between it if you did want to get that um, direction changed so what I'm going to do is just make sure that I've turned that and I'm holding this with my pliers but I've turned my loop if you can see I've actually got the loop, you can see it just there, mm -hmm. facing the same direction as the face of the gemstone. Okay. And then I'm just going to, now you can either just use the same pliers or take another pair of pliers. I'm just going to drop my pliers very slightly 
and pinch the top of that crimp. Okay. That's caught it for me. Now. Right. So, I mean, you could just leave it like that because that's locked it into place and have it as a detail like that so it's still round. Mm -hmm. Or you can go ahead and flatten them now. We've still got this straight edge here. We don't want that one. So we're going to get rid of this one. And I'm simply going to come in with my cutters and cut that because you don't need it. Mm -hmm. And it's locked in when you flatten these tubes so it stabilises it. And then this one just here, exactly the same again. I don't need that now, so I can cut that where it's just coming out the bottom of the two tubes. Mm -hmm. Trim that. And that is locked into place now. And then, as I said, if you want to just go ahead and make it a complete feature, you can flatten these and kind of try to straighten them out if you want to. Yeah. And then I was actually deliberately kind of almost marking them to give them a, a almost texture. a textured look. Mm. Um, but you can see there that that's kept my loop nice and front facing. I'm going to place that down. Taking the actual finding itself. So if you look, you'll see, if you look carefully, I'm sure we've shown, you'll see the little cut mark just mm -hmm. there. You probably can't see it, but to the mm -hmm. eye you can. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is just hold the earring finding, take your pliers, and I'm just going to twist like that so it actually opens in that direction. Mm -hmm. You don't want to sort of pull out like that because it's going to distort the shape. Then you pop on your gemstone, and then you come back, and again, taking your pliers, you just repeat that process to close that ring. And then when you do that, you've got your earring. So that's how you can do this in a non um, wire work way. So if you see, now the one thing I will say, and this is something that we don't think about when you're working with, say, bean thread. Oh, that's easy, you just pop it on. But if you don't get your measurements the same, the drop could be different and that would make a different length of the earring. So if I held this here, this one's very, you probably, if you can see over, that it's a little bit. Ever so slightly. Ever yeah. slightly. But that's also because I was doing it a bit quicker yeah. as well. I would take that time to make sure they match. So when you are doing them, especially in earrings, take that time yes. to just make sure before you crimp it, am I happy with this? Is it matching? I also changed the size of the stone. So, But I'm then going to show you quickly how you would use a piece of wire, or in this case, a head pin. Perfect. To do the wrap as well. So what we're going to do is one I was messing around with earlier. So pop the head pin straight through. Now these are featherweight head pins, so they are finer, mm -hmm. but they've still got a strength to them. Yeah. So they're not like a piece of point four that's just going to go sort of, sort of a bit sort of all over the place. This has got a bit of strength to it, which is really ideal for a design like this. So I'm going to bring the stone probably to just shy of the middle of the head pin mm -hmm. and fold that up. And I'm going to just pinch and really make sure that that wire moulds to the edge of the gemstone. Mm -hmm. So you can see that there, okay? I then like to double wrap, but you don't have to. Now the reason I like to do um, a double wrap is purely because for me, a 0.4 or a finer gauge, because you could do this with a 0.4 wire, is very fine, understandably. And sometimes it can slide through that little opening of jump ring. Yeah. Now I will say, noticing about these, I love the positioning of the jump ring, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, of the cut, because it's right up here. So it's not so halfway no, down or whatever, no, yeah. It's not down here, it's not here or here, it's right up here. So the likelihood of this actually ever kind of getting all the way up to there to be able to fall out. Fall out, which is not, as you can see, I'm moving that around a lot and it's not. It almost would have to define gravity. Yeah, so that's a really good um, little feature about it. It's little mm. details like that that really help. Mm. So I'm just going to literally do a wrap loop. So this is how I tend to do this. Now, I tend to bring both these wires over together. So I've got my pliers in at the top of the gemstone. Mm -hmm. Bring both those wires back, reposition, and bring them both over the top and then just wrap them around. This is a little bit short, but it will work. And just wrapping that around. And you can take your pliers if you want. And when I use head pins, I do like it when they have that little feature of the ball at the end of it. And what I tend to do is almost try to plan that so it sits at the front. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to take that slightly longer little bit there, bring that down towards the back, around towards the back. Mm. Make sure you sort of get that nice and close. So you've got that detail at the front of the little ball. And then I can just come along and just trim 
nice and close to the back of that <coughs> the wire mm. give it a little sort of crunch with your chain those pliers to make sure that there's no sharp edges um, and just sort of flatten that in as that little detail so then you have that like have you got another um oh actually i'll just leave the back yeah no i'll just give you one on. thank you so again i've gone and done the same front facing so you could pop a jump ring on it and in fact i like jump rings in a design like this because it adds that movement yeah. but if you again you wanted that more delicate look all you have to do is pop your pliers back into that loop and literally just very gently twist and you can reposition that loop to be facing the opposite direction got you and then we can just open up this jump ring again or the finding sorry pop on that stone make sure you get that detail at the front if, the, if it's got a front or a back to it and then you have your roulette wrapped earring love that so it's two different ways there's mm -hmm. a, a wire way and a non-wire way um you know both are achievable i think so but i really i thank love you that. so much for showing us that i love both of them mm. because it does just go to show you how even with top shell gemstones you can make something yeah. that is very sleek yes you don't have to always hide the gemstone with loads of wire no, and do you don't all have that to go around the top of it you can yeah nice Laramar is on its way um about 36 minutes and 12 seconds ish uh, so that's not far off grab those three pairs of the lever back earrings lock and security for just 14.95 drop down deal well done got loads more Laramar at five as i've mentioned i've also got um turquoise etc on the way Ooh. before that let me bring you a parcel of goodies the freshness of these these are so exotic imagine these with silver imagine them with your argentium aqueous qualities absolutely everything well that's annoying uh, come on just sold out let's give me some else better quantity Tell me about that. Let me bring to you now beautiful pebbles of your beryl. Some sort of family. These are big and chunky, aren't they? For a beryl, normally beryls are very small. I love the shape of those. Yeah. What is it that catches your eye about them? I just think you get to see the true beauty of that gemstone, don't you? I mean, mm -hmm. you see it when it's in a round or in a different shape, but there's you get to see the whole texture of the gemstone very true the formation of it you can see the the way it moves um and what i love is even at that size look at the color yeah it's really present isn't it Definitely. it's not washed out it's not no. you know faded or milky it's like no. it's wow yeah yeah we are bringing to you today a minimum of 400 carats worth of your beryl slabs 24 pounds and 95 pence let me just break it down for a second because these could easily be pendants couldn't they easy piece oh, yeah this is um, this is what i love about this this style yeah again this cut because you've got rings you've got earrings you've got pendants you've got a whole necklace you've got a stretchy bracelet you have got pretty much anything you want from this strand yeah 22 pendants then 22 pendants 11 earrings 11 pairs of earrings yeah. If you can match them, obviously, yeah. 22 so, rings. Say that again, B. They were how much per pendant? One pound. <laughs> 22. 22. It's all right, Buffett. One pound 14 per pendant. Great price for a barrel. We're not stopping there, though. Oh, no, we're going to go lower. I have got these big, as you perfectly described, bold in colour, lovely textured, vista-like beauty of your barrel. Now, $14.95, making each pendant a tiny, minuscule 62 pence per stone. What am I going to say about that price, team? It's cheaper than a first-class stamp. <laughs> cheaper than a first class stamp <laughs> like that. um no no that was not what came to mind 
That's incredible. That is something very special indeed. You have got big, beautiful, bold gemstones. And you have got them for $14.95 today. So a great price point for you there. Lovely, bold pieces. Very... Um, Un sorry, unusual and unique in their beauty. And um, yeah, because they are so bold, you really do get to appreciate all of the individual qualities of each. $14.95, good luck every single one of you. Um, just a reminder too, as well as the Larimar, I've got turquoise on its way. Can I have the other finding so I can make a matching earring? Go ahead. Thank Go ahead. you. Don't like odd. <laughs> oh, I love... Oh, isn't that this month's birthday, Becky? Mm. Oh. Terminated amethyst. I love How this. cool are they? Terminated amethyst. That is amazing. Yeah? That is literally like it's been sliced off geode. Yeah, exactly that. That's incredible. Let me show you them one at a time, because I think when you look at it from afar, it just looks like a raw or rough nugget um, yeah. that shape. But no. Look at them individually. Let me find you a really clear one. Can you see the two peaks on this? So, sorry, a peak is known as a termination of a stone. It basically means that if that were left to continue to, to develop, etc., over time, it may well actually fill, for example, a ge geode. These are how it forms itself in a cubic structure. So if you imagine a geode on the outside, this has basically just been lifted out of that geode. Let me show you another one. Here's another one. It's your other termination point there. See that one? It's drilled in a different angle. Here's another one here. You see that? Isn't that just captivating? I love how different each and every single one of these looks. I love how it is clearly a snapshot of Mother Nature. I love how they're giving you the angles as well as that bicolour. So you're getting a lot from this strand. You really are. Bringing it to you, not only with the two colours... 17.95. Now, give me an idea, Spells, because this is not a shape we often see. We very rarely see the terminated stones like this. Tell me what you would do with this to make them... Look at that one. Oh, that's so cool. What would you be doing with something like this, please, Spells? This is an amazing strand. Um, so for me, again, I actually love it oh, as structure. it is, as a necklace. I think got it's got that lovely movement and texture. But for me, individually, taking one of those out and having it wire woven and having lots of wires sort of and having that suspended and really almost making it look like that gemstone is coming out of the wire almost you know, really getting the most of those peaks yeah um because it's got that kind of rough look to it it's got that organic natural look yeah i'd be maximizing imagine a ring beautiful idea as a ring that would look lovely having a lot of wire maybe and again having it so again it looks like it's been set into the yeah. wire mm. i think that's really cool it's unique and it's different and it's only yes. 17.95 which will make your jewellery unique and different. Well done all. I gave you the heads up about this. I want to get your first opinion. Oh my goodness. It's everything and more isn't it? Is it it's everything beauty? and more. I'm offering to you and you're totally right in suggesting that in the essence that the colour is so strong. The matrix is at a minimal. Yeah. And all of those two things would most certainly point mm. towards Sleeping Beauty. This has not been named as Sleeping Beauty. However, it has got the characteristics yeah. and it is from the, U the US. The fact of the matter is, because this has not got it within its name, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, the fantastic thing is, it is going to be more affordable, of course. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, price per carat, is one of the most elite turquoise that you can get your hands on, and understandably, for the aforementioned reasons. This is breathtaking quality, isn't it? It is. That is incredible. I mean, that colour is so pure. Yeah. I mean, I know what you're saying about, like, the matrix and stuff, but there are some of those that are actually, they are clear. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you're right. Which, again, is very much a nod mm -hmm. towards what we would expect yeah. from very, very high-end mm -hmm. Sleeping Beauty turquoise. 
bringing to you today 45 carats worth of your turquoise. We have got that um, 20 centimeter strand, which doesn't sound like that much. Maybe it may, might well sound like you're only going to get a few stones, but actually, if I give the brief count for you ish, you're getting two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I've got approximately on my strand. And that is a lot of rings, a lot of pairs of earrings, a lot of pendants, especially with that graduation, let's mm. remember. I've got the opportunity to do all of those things with this. To get that look, to get that luxury, but also to get that versatility on a gemstone that the uh, Wall Street Journal once described as a better investment than gold, actually, $99.95 is an understandable price. Yeah. But... We are not stopping there. I'm going to bring to you a drop down deal on this right here, right now. Get ready to seize the moment. You've bought so many precious metals this weekend. You've treated yourself to the silver, the gold, the rose gold. You've treated yourself to these beautiful qualities. Now use the gemstones that deserve that precious metal. Oh $69.95 for you today. This is something which I personally believe spring and summer turquoise is always a big hit it's always yeah. a trend because it's so exotic it's so beautiful it feels very sort of you know elegant and chic but also something which isn't just a trend that lasts for spring no. and summer this is something that has so much a connotations and connectivity of, of um, sort of luxury of beauty of decadence of um, expense that Actually, completely and totally understandable that you're going to buy this today but you could be wearing this in 10 years time 20 years time yeah. 30 years time and it will still have that presence of luxury about it yeah I think the thing about this 20. strand is for me again it's turquoise yeah. people know and trust turquoise I mean it's Great such point. a sought after stone that Great people point. try to replicate it Great and point. a lot of people will replicate it and not be honest mm -hmm. and say, oh, mm -hmm. turquoise. And people think they're buying turquoise and yeah. they're not. No. You know, this is the real deal. And you could put, like you say, an easy to work with. Again, it's centre drilled. Pick out two of those smallest ones up here, mm -hmm. tiny ones. Put them on your threader earrings or, you know, on your lever back earrings. Mm -hmm. Pop them onto a sterling silver head pin matching colourway. Mm -hmm. Would you say that you would, you would look at that and see them? For 50, 60 pounds. Oh, easy. And that's easy. just two of the smallest. Two of them. Yeah. You know, you put one of those on one of your chains, yeah. or with that star necklace. We had a star necklace or yeah. a heart. Lovely. One of those in the middle of the heart. That's Jobs a birthstone necklace for a December baby. Jobs are good in. You know, it's incredible. It really is a serious opportunity. Seize the moment if you've been hoping that we bring you some more turquoise. This is your chance. So grab the phone, get on the internet, get on your app, whatever you fancy doing. Just make sure if you're loving this strand as much as we are, you are checking it out of your baskets. £69.95 will only last until 8 o'clock. So please check out that deal whilst it's on your screen. 45 carats it's worth well done let me move on now because i have got more squeezing and i'm gonna go for another garnet do you recall do you mind me those earrings that stands thank you my love do you recall we showed you earlier on and i say we i did now i sat here and had a brew spellbinding <laughs> showed you how to create earrings like this and we brought you the garnet the multi-colored garnet and I was talking about the garnets and about how, actually, with this garnet strand, not only are you getting the name of garnet, you are getting the species of garnet as well as the varieties of garnet. And I mentioned loads of different names, didn't I? You know, I was talking about lots of different names of garnet. One of the garnets I did not mention, I know I mentioned specitite, but I did not mention is mandarin garnet. And that is because Mandarin Garnet is such a specific shade that to be given that name, it has to tick a lot of boxes. We get ours independently assessed, and this has been independently assessed to fit that very tight niche of tone, saturation and hue. To be given the name of the highly desirable, amber-like Mandarin Garnet. Look at the richness. 
there is no hue of garnet that is quite like this one. There is no sort of shade, should I say. This to me is like the most cognac-y of cognac ambers. Mm. This to me has got a nod towards the likes of your Argyle diamond colours. We have got here for you a verosity, a vivacious colouring and light that bounces a bounce from these. It makes you feel almost, it's kind of a pairing of wintry autumnal nights sat around a log fire with the burning embers but at the same time hot sunny sun-kissed sand beaches in the middle of you know the hottest day of the year mm -hmm. you've got this real nice transition between the two which to me makes this an all year round stone bringing to you 30 carats i've got 11 left i was just told 11 left of these your price point your deal <coughs> sensational for natural mandarin garnet and wow. as i say this is a real niche this is a real niche bit darker bit lighter it's not going to be given that name we're going lower we're going under say that one more time so i want to i had a feeling you said that we're going to go under 20. don't mean by a five friends <laughs> you ready for this 30 carats worth this is why we've only got 11 left 16.95 for you today for mandarin and remember that is lab tested proven mandarin garnet so that means that if you get your authenticity for this if you don't know what that is call the call center they're very helpful they'll help you out call the call center right now but if you get your authenticity with this it will state mandarin garnet that already has umphed and bumped at your yeah. price point in comparison because you can prove the type that you are uh, you are selling you're bringing that is a great deal okay oh blimey close to an over allocation now lots of you with it in your baskets close to an over allocation check it out if you fancy grabbing it 16 pounds and 95 pence that as a price point is just really exceptional i think anyway for such an optimistic lovely almost cinnamon stick strand and um, quite hard to say that have a go cinnamon stick strand oh you nailed it um 16.95 <laughs> go on pete cinnamon stick strand yeah, you found it as tricky as I yeah. did. Yeah. Um, everyone else found it that easy. <laughs> Say it three times. Yeah, you're, it's hard, isn't you're, it? It's you're hard. not on air. It's hard, isn't <laughs> it? I'm not going to even attempt to say that. 16.95 for you today. 30 <laughs> carats worth. Well done. Over allocated. So good luck because it is now fastest finger first. Well done. Look, that strand. Makes me feel very happy. <gasps> Do you know my mythical creatures calendar I was talking about before? Mm -hmm. For those of you who've just tuned in, I got a mythical creatures calendar the other day. Yeah. It's on sale because we're halfway through January. Two ninety nine bargain. January the Phoenix. February the Mermaid. I think March is like a Pegasus. Further on in time, Narwhal. They're a real creature. Oh, and and is a phoenix a real creature? Oh, is it? That's oh a good my point. gosh. <laughs> is it? I <laughs> love you so much. And because of that, you're just going to gloss over I'm that. I'm going to pretend that you didn't ask it. To be fair, I just voiced what Becky had said. <laughs> gosh. I adore you both. I adore you both. I didn't catch that part. And I just want to let you know that you are both very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, also, um, the narwhal is in it. Also, and I swear it is for, like, June. Um, there's a sloth. The sloth. The mystical creature of the sloth. Anyway. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because this is a real mythical creature strand. Oh. Isn't it? This could be the flank of a pegasus. This could be kind of, you know, the treasure of a mermaid. This could be, you know, the, the horn of a unicorn. Yeah. This could be layered up as like uh, fairy wings. This could be so many mythical creatures, ignoring the sloth. This could be so <laughs> many mythical creatures, stones, because it just looks so radiant and magical. I know it's not, um, I know that a narwhal isn't a mythical technically but wouldn't that be lovely again is the narwhal with the the horn yes the narwhal horn yeah great idea hang on let me just show you that there you are some unicorns there for you <laughs> <laughs> what 
It's a bit like a funny face, that, doesn't it? Very <laughs> odd. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for speaking that, isn't it? I'll move there. it. Thank no, I'll move it. That's uh, all it's like. <laughs> uh, 65 carats worth of your mystical, magical... Sun River Strand, £14.95 only. And I don't only love that transition of the sheen on this. I love that movement, that ombre. Blue to purple, what a chic look. And it's that kind of... It, I, oh, is this just me? It's sunset season in September. Sunset season September. No? <laughs> sunset season September. <laughs> yeah. In September, sensational sunsets. Um, <laughs> cinnamon sticks. <laughs> Stop it, please. Um, in September, you get the most sensational sunsets, and they always cascade like blues and purples, as well as the reds and the yellows yeah. in the sky. This is the kind of look that I've got here. I love it. I really do. It's incredible, isn't it? I, I love the way that the colour just literally. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're all giggling because I am notorious for not being a swearer. I don't swear. I, it's just something that doesn't happen. I, I even, you know, off air, when you're with your friends and things, um, if I whack my foot or whatever, it is, oh, sugar lumps! And also, um, not that beans. long ago, I dropped one. something and I was completely by myself, no one around, and I just went, shut up! <laughs> um, there it just happened. I was thinking of you the other day, B D D. I was thinking of you the other day because I was at home and I was carrying a pan and it was like really heavy. I was like, oh my goodness, and a bit sort of spilled over the side. And I just went, oh, Jesus, bikes <laughs> like that. Jesus, bikes. <laughs> Was I surrounded by children? Was I at work? No, just me golden retriever and me cat just looking at me like, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, bikes. No idea. Very odd it was. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> a bit peculiar. But yeah, we're giggling because now we've decided that ah, cinnamon sticks could also be something that it's I take one. on. It could be. Jelly jelly beans is um, a good one. Oh, jelly beans. Jelly beans. I quite like that. <laughs> I bring to you the DVD now with the spell binding, Laura binding. That was nearly a cinnamon sticks moment. How about I bring to you this DVD, which if you've never bought our DVDs before, is around about an hour's worth in length and gives to you in this instance the creativity, the skills and the um, techniques that you are going to need to create your very own unique unicorns. I love this DVD because you go into real depth about different ways to make different unicorns, don't yeah. you? Yeah, just basically what I try to do is lay the foundation. So we try to, we try to, um, I try to go over the technique. So basically you, you can go to elements of it. Um, and then I'll say how you can kind of do a variation of that stage. So if you want to do the main differently, then we can show, I, can, I can go over how you would do that. And, how you would yeah, approach yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. and again, obviously with the horn, we've done three different versions where it's just a wire, some with some rondelles and one with um, one of the shards. Okay. So again, to show how you can put different gemstones of different shapes and how you can incorporate that into your design. And also... Weaving, if you just want to know how to weave and get your confidence Great up on idea. how many, you know, I've got lots of wires here, what do I do? Yeah. Kind of cover that as well. It's a little bit of something for those of you who, if you've ever had one of those strands, you've gone, oh, there's only like two or three centimetres left, what am I going to do with that? Creating something like yeah. this with it, where it's a real focal, is you're going to be shown how to do it and you're going to be shown how to do it in a really mythical and magical way because these are, of course, your unicorns. We have got for you... Four ninety five for around about an hour's worth of yeah. training, which is, and I always think this is really, oh, I'm gonna, it might sound a bit silly to mention this, but it, it is worth mentioning. This is an hour long DVD, but what you learn on it would be like a full day's workshop. Yeah, yeah. What is what is if broken, that makes sense? And it's broken down as well, so you know you can go to certain um, techniques and elements. So mm -hmm. if you think, oh, I, I've got most of the techniques sorted, but 
can't quite get my head around how I would maybe do that part or, or how I would form that section. Yeah. You can go directly to that section and, and create it. So, you know, it's nice that you don't have to sit and sort of watch the whole video or try and find where is that again? Is it yeah. five minutes in or yeah, 20 yeah. minutes in? Because it's all broken it's down. It's all for broken you. down. Um, and it's only £4.95. <clears throat> Another good thing about it, and I know that this might sound a little bit silly, but if um you're anything like me and you know sometimes maybe your internet's a bit lagging or you're you're downloading something or you're updating you're installing something on your phone and your internet slows right down and you can't watch <laughs> like you know uh drives my literally tiny goes mental well yeah you can't watch like a tutorial or whatever this is great you don't need the internet for this no. you just pop it into your dvd player you can even watch it on your laptop if you want yeah Four ninety five. Great opportunity. Well done all. Uh oh. I've pressed something. I've locked myself out. Uh, yes, I do have uh, those cabochons. Just shy of five. Ooh. Might have something in my bag. Do grab. Grab away. Have a little look. What do you think? Look at the beauty of these genuine turquoise with all of that patination that we recognise from stones that we have seen being used since ancient times. That one right there is something that if I were to see that in a museum, I would not even bat an eyelid. It's because of the size. It's because of the fact that you're getting to see that huge vista of texture and detail. I know I always say this, but it's absolutely true. Um, if you think about your favourite artist, whoever your favourite artist uh, might be, but if you think about your favourite artist, let's imagine your favourite artist came round to your house and said, I'm going to do you a painting. Would you like me to do it on a postage stamp? Or would you like me to do it across that large wall in your living room? I'm not charging you for either. Which one are you more likely to say you want? Probably you're going to want the largest one, aren't you? You're going to want the largest one because you can see every single brush stroke. You can see every single nuance of hue. You can see every single moment that maybe a slightly different texture comes into play. You're getting that real large view, that real large detail with these. But it's not paint and it's not put on with a paintbrush. These are Mother Nature's brush strokes on these. Totally natural turquoise all the way from Tibet which let me remind you the Tibetan turquoise is created via a percolation process which basically means snow topped mountains over centuries with sort of the settling of the snow and with the layering through all of this ancient ice and snow sort of percolates through the ground over centuries to actually bring even just like a centimetre's worth of turquoise into play after a long development process which is one of the reasons it's quite scarce bringing all of that history all of that beauty all of that artistry naturally for 24.95 it makes no sense and it really doesn't to my mind that's just so what i was trying to find incredible i'm going to put a picture on my guest designer page in fact oh, i think i do. have it. it's on my instagram page i think i may have showed you earlier anyway i which uh instagram page is this just for anyone who's um, uh, new I believe it's just laura underscore binding it is yeah i don't know <laughs> how you didn't is. know that yeah it is yeah <laughs> i didn't know it was the 79 on the end of it or not but basically no, no. um laura underscore binding <laughs> and i used bare copper wire and i've done like a woven pendant and i've got one of these it's, if it's not turquoise it might be chrysopolar but it's colorway is very similar got um and these are beautiful to work with what i love about turquoise is the texture of the gemstone so because it's got that almost um it matte, it's not matte, but... It's satin. Yeah, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, your wire isn't going to um, fight you with this. Great, yeah. So basically, you know, you place your wire over it, it's not going to slip, it's not going to be tricky to handle, the stone's not going to be sorry. working against you with the Oops, wire sorry. working against you, because sometimes that happens. Yeah, of you course. You have a slippery gemstone, you're trying to set it, the wire's slipping against a gemstone. With mm. this, it's literally just going to be Do perfect. Do its job for you. Yeah. yeah. £24.95, you know, couldn't even fill up your car with a tank diesel for that could you? Well, I actually didn't earlier when I put some petrol in my car. Why? The diesel. What do you mean? But I, yeah, like you say, I spent a lot more than that on Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
24.95 well done everyone and moving on um that is going to look great with that one mil wire in stone silver did before mm. fancy it sorry lovely there you go no problem oh mookite i haven't seen mookite in a while drops of mookite now such you're right, actually. I haven't seen it for a long time. Such a lovely strand, this. Because Mukai, I would say, uh, quite often when we bring it to you, there's like lots of different hues in one stone. But this we've kind of kept quite tonal. So, for example, in that centralised one that you're looking at there, you've got these sort of tones of... Uh, what is this sort of beige? For want of a better word. Um, and you've got like the masala ones right next to that, those deep, deep reds. You've got more terracotta shades as well. I really like this strand. We've got for you 84 carats worth. And imagine doing these. Do you mind handing me those Lara Mar earrings? Imagine doing these in the same technique that Spelby showed us the two different ways in those lever back secure earrings that'll be beautiful wouldn't really it? really nice today your price for the entire strand yes it's natural <coughs> excuse me is nine pounds and 95 pence for you today and that is all they'd also look great with these earrings that i brought to you earlier I quite like the idea of them with them just maybe it's just the rose gold that's singing yeah, to I, me i think the color tones they just sort of, because i think these have got those bronzier tones to them, the sort of the more earthy tones. Yeah. Um, they're naturally going to go with a sort of a, a more um, in that colourway. So yeah. rose gold is that kind of colourway. It's got mm -hmm. that earthy tone to it. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it goes perfectly with both. You could mix, pick out the readier ones maybe and put that mm -hmm. with your copper. Or with rose gold, sorry. Great idea. Well done to all of you who are getting that. It's a fair few of you as well. It's lovely to see you all today. How was your afternoon going? You having a nice one? Who's having a Sunday roast? <sighs> Sunday no, roast. I'm not. No, you're at steak night tonight, isn't it? <laughs> um, Larimar is coming up for you. 25 past five, approximately. That is on its way. Oh, excited i love larimar it's on its way for you um so yeah that is on its way um shall we do a quick recap -a very quick very quick <laughs> you're an angel on my hoop earrings <laughs> look at these beauties Solid stunning silver hoop earrings we did for you earlier on. And I'm doing a quick recap for you on them. These ones, of course, have had that gorgeous chain added. And yes, those are genuine garnets, all of them. Um, but um, when you get them, you can just wear them really simplistically if you wanted to. They are on screen right now. Your price point on them is... 672 every single pound and pence off. They should have been. Were they 1995, 1495? Hmm. Spell B. Yes. How long did you say, Bruce? 35 seconds, love it. Spelby, thank yes. you so much. Thank you. For a fantabulous show. I think you've done sterlingly well considering Aww. we went to sleep at quarter to five this morning. I thought we started out quite well. I said you, I hadn't mentioned myself. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Spelby. You've been fabulous and she wonderful. When are you on with us next? The 12th, the 12th of February. Of February. On a late show. Well, enjoy your little bit thank of a you. break. Have a great time. Thank you. thank you so much. Don't you go anywhere. Laramar, Sterling Silver and Third more on its way after this break. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. 
Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I always think it's really lovely that we get to bring you such a range of gemstones and I like that we bring you quirky gemstones as well. I like the fact that, what did I bring the other day? Uh, corner your peen. I've only, I've only bought you that twice. Bought you that. Corner your peen. you never heard of it? No? no? It's only been on air twice I think. So uh, maybe I wouldn't expect you to. But anyway, yeah, I brought you that the other day. <laughs> I brought you that the other day. Also, I like that I've got Larimar coming up for you in a matter of minutes. And by the way, if you love learning about gemstones, in about 20 minutes or so, we will be showing you a documentary about Larimar. So, well, we're keeping you people beautiful. Um, but yeah, I love the fact that we bring to you these quirky, unusual gemstones. But at the same time, there is something so nice and, and almost um, luxuriant in bringing to you a stone that needs no introduction, no explanation. And when it is the precious stone of ruby, the stone does all the talking. I mean, obviously I have to do a bit of talking, it's my job. <laughs> but the stone kind of just tells you what it wants, doesn't it? The intriguing thing, the fascinating thing about this stone is that this is from one of the most famous African ruby mines on the planet. If I say to you, Kenya, then a lot of you will be hoping that this is John Saul Ruby. And as you can see in the graphics, as you will be able to see if you get your authenticity, this most certainly is that noted location, that noted stone. John Saul Ruby is known because what you get with John Saul Ruby that you don't quite with anyone else, not to a sufficient level anyway, is this purple on red. That back palette, that purplish luminescent red that is just giving you so much character, so much personality, and absolutely takes your breath away. And this really has got it, hasn't it? I love the fact that when you're looking at this, you can see that almost inherent glossy chicness of the purple that is kind of firing through this. Remember as well, when we're talking about ruby, you know, as a general rule, you are talking about one distinctive colour, but this most certainly has two. In the trade, we would refer to this as a uh, generally a violet-ish Red. Violetish is the first word because it's the back palette, and then red being the second because that's the most prominent colour. But this most certainly is that violetish or purplish red, isn't it? It's got that luxury, it's got that intrigue, which I think makes this really stand out from the crowd. It's just different, isn't it, to be able to get those individual hues. But also, I think that's a really nice sort of way to see it and a nice way to enjoy it because it means that what you're going to be able to get within this is something that will pair nicely with your other stones that maybe also have a purplish or a violetish back palette to it. This is one of the most famous African locations on the planet. And today, say that one more time. We can squeeze this just under £100. 
99 pounds and 95 pence do your research if you don't know about John Saul Ruby do your research it is a notable location and the fact that you get your authenticity and that will be stated if you go and get this value that name that confirmation genuinely can escalate the prices that you are uh, you know given that are, are assessed to you that is an incredible acquisition for you to be able to source let me just tell you and this is um, you know a story that I know I've told you a few times before but when I saw in fact you know what I may well be able to find it uh, da, 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 da. maybe 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 not well, no, it's not quite the one but um, the first time I saw Jean Saul Ruby it was in a cabochon but it was an, a nice organized cabochon it had a slight sort of pebble like look to it and it was four and a half carats and it was over 200 pounds for a four and a half carat piece and it was not a beautifully cooked stone it was completely opaque as you sometimes well you would generally expect for a jean -Saul. it was okay but it was costly to be able to get not four and a half carats but 35 carats for that kind of price point I think is absolutely impeccable and sometimes as well in qualities like this you actually get the um, asterism or the star if you will which is kind of cool mm. Well done, every single one of you. What a treasure. Um, okay, I've got more to bring. Let me bring you some butterflies. What star by that is? It shouldn't have been 100 pounds. Quite considerably more than that. Oh, look at these flutterbys. These are going to go great on the slider bracelets I did for you before. You know, I did like the popcorn chain slider bracelets and things. These would go great on there. Also, these would be lovely on that five meters worth of Rolo chain that I did earlier on. If you didn't see it, this is a uh, sort of the look of it. This is some of the chain. Lovely um, spell we added some of the garnets to it, but this is the chain. Because if you look at the side of it, can you see how big the aperture is within this? That's going to slide onto there no problem whatsoever. Dead to dead easy for you to be able to do. We are bringing to you today a stunning selection of your um, cubic zirconia flutterbys, butterflies, should I say. <laughs> what we're bringing to you here is glitz, glamour, and a little bit of movement, because as you can see, as you wear this, that sparkle's going to catch the eye. All three charms today, together at 9 95 making them approximately £3.33 each at the moment. But we're about to go low. Oh wow, that's brilliant. 6.95 plus spoiler alert. 695 about to come in for you. Should be 9.95 for you for the next few hours anyway. Six pounds and ninety-five pence only. It is ninety-five solid sterling silver for you. And you've got that lovely crisp cubic zirconia within there as well. Um so you're getting real nice intrigue, real nice interest with this, real nice luxury with it. Um, a very, very appealing look indeed. If you like sparkle and you like shine, oh my goodness, I've got something special coming. It just caught me eye. Whoa, just a thought. We haven't added them glitters. Mother nature. Six ninety five. Well done. Why someone butterflies? Let's stick to a theme. <clears throat> And let me bring to you these ones. These would go great with that pendant I did earlier on. It's the same style of, of lace-like almost butterfly. These ones are connectors though, so it's a loop at each side. That means if you want to add this onto a slider, all you need is two jump rings and you're ready to jump, jump into jewellery making. What do you think? Does that work, Pete? No, not sure. You're not sold. Fair dues. I appreciate your honesty. What are you trying to do with a Jump, jump, everybody jump, jump. Jump in. Oh, right, no, 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 no. I'll work on it. 95 solid sterling silver, so easy to create beautiful pieces of jewellery. And today, for all three of them, bearing in mind, this is a lot of silver in here, although they're open and lattice, actually the surface area of silver is massive, which means the interaction of light is going to be superb. 6,095 pence for you again today. Let me just remind you uh, briefly for a moment as well, 
we have got something here that is really historic. We've got something here which is really intriguing. This is silver. One of my favourite facts about silver, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this today, I don't think I have. One of my favourite facts about silver is, you know, you've heard of Argentina, how many here? You, we've all heard of Argentina. Argentina, <laughs> um, Argentina got its name from silver. And the reason for that is because Argentina is a similar word in Spanish um, translated to silvery and that is because when the Spanish um, sort of uh, conquered what we now know as Argentina they were they swapped and gifted silver gifts and objects as like um, presenting the natives who, who lived there at the time yeah in one of them facts. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, there's so much history locked within this that it just makes it really intriguing, doesn't it? We're bringing to you £6.95 for you today. Well done, everybody. Grab it whilst you can. We're moving on. Let's go. Tell me more. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Earrings galore. I've brought you hoop earrings today. I have brought to you lever back as well today. Now, let me bring to you a stud earring with extra pa -ba boom Look at that. Look at that. Hang on, let me, let me. Isn't that incredible? I love the way this undulates that light. I love the way that as it moves, because you've got different axes of this. So if I'm looking over the top, I've got north to south is that textured, always satin finished circlet. And then east to west is that heart. Because you've got these at the two different sort of angles, you've got something so intriguing every single time you take a step. You've got something so individual every time you, you know, flick your hair. Let me turn to the side again to show you. Okay. So from the side, again, what you're getting to see now slightly is that the back of that heart is completely sleek, completely um, smooth. And that means for something like this, um, if you wanted to, there's nothing stopping you actually turning that heart around so that that is the front, or maybe even engraving on that or etching on that. Adding gemstones to this, a bit like how Spell Bani Laura Bani did with these earrings before. See how she did that before? That's the side, sorry. Something like that on here to a smaller scale would really add a certain extra chicness, wouldn't it? I am bringing to you today the pair, obviously, of these beautiful earrings. Well, that has stunned me. I have brought these before. The price isn't sticking in my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm dyslexic. Letters and numbers, they, they go in and flow out as quick as a breath. $6.95. In all honesty, be this. If you'd have said to me, um, um, in all honesty, if you'd have said to me $24.95, I wouldn't have batted an eyelid. And that would be at jewellery maker prices. I wouldn't go, God, it seems a bit much, doesn't it? I would not. $24.95, I would be fine with these. $6.95, I'm grabbing them, I'm multi buying them. I'm breaking these down in components. I'm buying these for $6.95 just. For a nice set of studs. <laughs> Actually, I think that's a great price point today. Wow. Low stock. Grab them whilst you can. I love them for that price. I love them for any price, really, but that one in particular. Let's go and bring you the... Where did I get them from? Mm. Ah, let me bring you the star of entry, shall I? We were chatting to Spelby before about cabochons, about her love of cabochons, and um, I know full well that a set like this would definitely make her smile. Have a little look. Mother Nature's magic. Doesn't that look like Mother Nature's? Just enhance this with a little glitter. Just 
Jenny had said that these are, this could be a unicorn, unicorn tears, wouldn't she? And you can understand why. Because it looks so magical. It's almost hard to understand that Mother Nature has formed this all of her own volition and created this sparkly, twinkly, unique gemstone, no glitter included. I don't know what you're thinking. Bex, you're only showing us the good one. Oh no, I'm gonna go through all of them. Can I? Look at that. More clarity in this stone, which means you get to see more of those layers, which I really like. This might be something I actually have like with a wall hanging. That could look pretty pretty. Bring you another. Oh, I love this shape. That sort of eyelet shape. So I'll bring you that one before a little bit domed at the end. This one's more the marquees. I love a marquee shape because I think it's it's got an elegance to it, hasn't it? I have got for you an assortment. I can't guarantee you how many you're gonna be getting. Ooh, look at that one. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. They're confuddling me. Um, I can't tell you exactly how many you're going to be getting, but I can guarantee you that you are going to be getting 245 carats. And for me, that has worked out to one, two, three, four, five, six. Six stones on mine. You might get seven, you might get eight, you might get five, but you will get 245 carats of prox. Say so again. Remember, you pay more for phenomenon stones. So to be able to get these for less than 20 pounds is brilliant. There you are. 19.95 for you today. Am um, are you 40? Is your code on this one today? Am um, are you 40? If you want to grab this one on the phone lines, absolutely feel free to do so now. 19 pounds and 95 pence. Quite like the idea of this with some maybe stone silver spaces around it. Maybe you would want to pair this with. Um, or what's the constituted silk called? Shibori. Um, because you know how Shibori has those lovely sort of layers, doesn't it? It has really nice layering within it. This would be quite nice with that in the way that it adds that movement and light interaction. £19.95. Moving on, because I've got more to fit in. I am waiting about four minutes until that Larimar. Not long. Let's go to... Sorry for that noise. That was very loud. I like that this is a very much serenity here. It's a very calming here. It's a very relaxing here. I also like, with this strand in particular, the six mil round of aquamarine. Aquamarine is not one that we tend to see in a round. We will see um, rondelles of aquamarine relatively regularly, but rounds aren't something that we come across often at all. Bringing to you 100 carats worth on this strand. And I like this strand because if I said to you, do you want to build a snowman? Yeah? Do you know what I mean? Imagine frozen lakes, etc. This is very wintry, isn't it? But also, if I said to you, imagine being on holiday and looking up at a cloudless sky, this is also the kind of colour you think of. So for me... Similarly, actually, with the Larimar, you know, in the sense of these look like lovely sort of um, sort of rippled oceans, don't they? Similar with this, it's the type of shade of blue that can be summer, spring, winter, autumn. What an odd way to say those. What an odd order. How bizarre. Yeah, it was, wasn't that? But hey. Um, but yeah, it's quite easily something that could be both of those, uh, any of those, sorry, seasons. So it's an all year round stone. So let's make it. One for you to add to your collection. £16.95 pence for you to add this all year round stone into your design. What would you pair this with if you, at stones wise, if you wanted to make it feel very tropical? How about something like that? Hmm? What would you add to this if you wanted to make this maybe a little bit more... Um, Cutesy. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. What about if you wanted to make this? Oh, here's a nice pairing idea. <sighs> Bonjour. Mon petit pois. 
<laughs> That's hello, uh, my little P, for anyone who's uh, not fluent in French, as I am blatantly not. Um, that is a really lovely pair. Of, um, well done, Apsi, every single one of you. Okay. What I'm about to bring to you is a very special stone and I just want to say that we we aren't allowed to always play this VT that we're about to play um, purely because of sort of the timings of it but the reason we really really wanted to do that today is because we're well aware it's a brand new year and also the fact that it is a lot of people join us at brand new in January because they may be fans over the Christmas period etc. The phenomenal thing about this time of year, I believe, is it's a great time to almost re-educate yourself. And although we know that Larimar is an ancient stone, it's a one locational stone, and it is a beautiful stone to perceive, it is important that we remember this is not a man-made object. This is not something which is simple to get from the ground. This is a stone that deserves to be appreciated and loved. And this is exactly why. It was an age of fire. Volcanoes were emerging from a tumultuous ocean to become mountains. Lava flows were solidifying to become land masses. As the lava flowed and receded, tunnels and cavities formed that soon filled with unique minerals, crystallizing beautifully out of various chemical compounds. But this volcano was different. It consisted not just simply of ordinary rock, but copper deposits. And as the crystals formed in the cavities, they chemically interacted with the copper, turning the white pectolite crystals into a variety of blues. This is the only place in the world where this occurred, and it would change the future forever. History records that on the 22nd of November of 1916, Father Miguel Domingo Fuertes Loren of the Barahona Parish requested permission at the Dominican Ministry of Mining to explore and exploit the mine of a certain blue rock. Since nobody knew what the Catholic priest was talking about, the request fell through and the heaven blue stone was lost in the limbo of Latin American bureaucracy. While for decades the locals of the Bauruco municipality went to the beach to collect these blue pebbles, it took until the 1970s that the significance of the stone was established. Miguel Mendes, an artisan from Santo Domingo, heard rumors of the rock and went to find it. It took him and a geologist friend, Peace Corps volunteer Norman Rilling, several trips until they could actually find any evidence of it. They knew they had something special on their hands, they just couldn't prove it. A small sample sent to the Smithsonian Institute came back with the note that it was industrial waste. Not until they sent a larger sample to the Institute that it was established that they had found a new type of pectolite mineral. After a long debate over the name, Miguel took his young daughter's name Larissa and the Spanish word for sea, mar, and formed Lari Mar to reflect the mineral's ocean-like appearance. The name stuck. As it turns out, the few stones they found were alluvial sediments washed into the sea by the Bauruco River. An upstream search revealed the in-situ outcrop in the range, and before soon, the Los Chupaderos mine tapped the only Larimar outcropping in the whole world. The 45-minute drive to the mine is a bone-rattling uphill struggle. The road is often taken care of, but a single heavy rain can wash it out completely. Even cemented stretches don't survive the Caribbean weather for long. And yet there are several small communities up here, the last of which is the mine itself. The mining town, a small shanty town, serves as a temporary accommodation for the miners and their families. Since it's so far away from everything, the community brings everything that it needs to sustain itself, living here as one big family. Because like with any family, their lives depend on each other. You wouldn't recognize the area as an extinguished volcano if it were not for the heaps of volcanic rocks dug out from the mine holes. 
The mines themselves are only a few feet from the shacks, holes dug either vertically or horizontally into the dead volcano. As a matter of fact, some just go down straight vertically before turning horizontally. Others begin horizontally and then go straight into the mount before going vertically and then horizontally again. Always zigzagging around following the Larimar veins. It's a virtual maze dug into the mountain. And there are dozens of holes and tunnels, perforating the steep slopes like a Swiss cheese. The deepest hole is believed to be at over 500 meters dug deep into the mountainside. The holes are claustrophobically narrow. They're held up by wooden beams and sometimes concrete, and it takes a special kind of courage to venture into them. Indeed, mining Larimar is dangerous. Although, according to the miners, cavens are not as common as one would believe, the most common peril is suffocation. To avoid this, each hole has been fitted with large PVC tubes that feed fresh air into them, powered by a primitive turbine. The tubes are also used for communication with the miners underground. One man is always assigned to make sure everything is in order and to stand by at the hole. On any given workday, there are on average 10 to 15 people in every hole, but the deeper the hole, the more people it needs. And there are several dozens of holes, which means there's an average of 600 miners toiling underground in the hole of the area at any given time. Their nationalities vary between Dominicans, Haitians, and even a few Venezuelans, all working side by side, their lives depending on each other. Income is based on shared profits. Groups of miners work in individual holes, and whatever that hole makes is shared equally among the miners. The average is around 500 pesos a day, which translates to about 12,000 pesos a month, or about 240 US dollars, or 200 euros. While not a lot, it is above the country's minimum wage of a little more than 8,000 pesos. And some months they can make much more if there is a big find of good quality. But then a hole also may run dry for months until the new vein is found. In that time, nobody makes any money. You just dig. The risk does not seem to equal the pay. But with few other options in the area besides farming, the miners are glad to work here, always hoping for the next big vein. Once the stones are extracted and taken down the mountain, they're sold to buyers, of which some own Larimar workshops sitting along the coastline. The export of raw stones has been banned to give the local artisans a chance to create unique Dominican-made jewelry. And to buy raw stones is also risky, because the individual rocks need first to be cut open. It is difficult to look into the stone, and if you have bad luck, there's only little of the blue pectolite inside. If the quality is good, the rocks are cut into pieces or slabs, which the artisan uses for his work. The slabs are cut to size, ground to shape, and polished to perfection, always using grinding wheels and water. In the hands of an experienced artisan, it can take only a few minutes, and a beautiful blue cabochon can emerge from a previously gray rock, ready to be set in silver or even gold, depending on the color or the shape of the crystal formation. The volcanic gem we call now volcanic blue sometimes shows as turquoise blue with white clouds, sometimes ocean green, and then sometimes with red copper freckles. And each sheening gem is singular and guards a scene of breathtaking resplendence of an image of the Caribbean Sea turned into a gemstone. All this makes Larimar more than just a pretty rock. It has become the gem ambassador of the Dominican Republic, here in the center of the Caribbean. With that incredible discovery in the 70s, with that almost incomprehensible story, with the way in which this stone is formed, sourced and brought to you from this magnificent location, I always feel overawed with the fact that we are even able to bring that to you because 
it is a mystical, captivating, all-encompassing almost story and stone that the fact we are able to own it and in this instance work with it as creatives, it makes you just stop for a moment and appreciate how Mother Nature is just so remarkable. The unique Caribbean gemstone from that one location, your stunning Larimar. You now have the chance to own it, but I do have to let you know. The sources, our sources of Larimar are diminished massively. As, as that, that, that VT briefly well, explained really well. We have got something here that every single time a stone is taken out from that vol volcanic area, we are losing more and more of this stone. We have got limited resources of this in our vault at this moment in time. It is one of those right place, right time when we get them. And for this strand in particular, not only have you got that history, that story, that tale, you have got the beauty of these in the drops. More often than not, we get very, very small. I'm talking, you know, 25 points of a carrot in a rondelle. These are dramatic. Those centralized one over a carrot. We are giving to you the luxury, the beauty. I'm speaking faster and slightly louder now because I am just seeing the full lots of you, the droves of you coming in for this. Welcome to every single one of you. Thank you for joining us and thank you for appreciating this story. I hope you found that VT helpful. I don't know if you did, feel free to text us in and let us know what you liked about it. Um, the fact of the matter is, with all of that story, with all of that tale, a start price, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, of $34.95 is almost unimaginable. An end price, an end price, that is the lowest it has ever been, as of right now, as of right this moment, we are going to give you an exceptional chance. This is a best ever deal about to come on screen. Think of that story, holding that tail, think about the location, and now see, best ever deal about to come on screen. We are bringing it to you, not for 40 pounds, but for 19 pounds and 95 pence only, this is your opportunity to seize the moment. This is your opportunity to grab yourself a deal. This is your chance to own, for me anyway, one of the most captivating, unique stones of the Caribbean. And in fact, nay, the world. A unique opportunity to get something so, so incredibly unique and individual with such a story to tell, with such a tale to tell. A huge well done, Hampshire. Well done to you, my love. It's gorgeous to see you. Um, oh, um, I want to see Eileen, Aileen, Aileen. Oh, probably pronounced that wrong. Do apologise. Well done to Jan. You're an absolute love. Enjoy these, Maxine. You deserve it. Treat yourself. Well done to a collector in Kent who, understandably, is not buying one, two, three, but has actually opted for four. I get it. That is the best ever deal. So actually, you are saving yourself a considerable amount of money there, aren't you? Um, well done to Tina. Nice work to you. Well done. You're a multi-purchaser as well. I've got Greater London who've come in on the web. You're not buying one, two, three. You're also getting four. Nice work. Jill, you've added another one to your basket. I appreciate that and I would do the same. At £40, I'm happy with this. At best ever deal, £19.95. That is an incredible opportunity. Nice work to Sandra. Well done to you. Tracy, thanks for joining me today, my love. I hope you've had a great Sunday. Well done to you. Sue, nice work. That is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant deal. I have also got for you Christine in on this one today. I have got Tar, tar oh my goodness, I don't know how to pronounce this. T A R Y N. Sorry, I can't pronounce it. Taryn, would you say? Taryn, what a gorgeous name. Well done to you, Taryn. You're an exotic name for an exotic gem. Why not? Um, I've got Maria in with us today. Susan, you're in for this one. Thank you very much for joining us, Chris, and you're treating yourself to another one. Good work. I have got for you a collector in West Midlands. Nice work to you as well. Can I just give you the bad news now? Now, I've got six left, and this is six only. That is six 
and then it's gone. This is gone, this is a done deal. These, Larimar never, well, I say never, I've never seen it have a reorder next to it, and that is because it is so hit and miss as to why and if and how we can get it that we can never, it's not like we've got a, a steady supply like we do with Marius, say, in, in, in Gdansk with Amber, where if we know someone's going to sell out, we'll put a reorder in and then a couple of months later we can have it for you. We never, in my knowledge, have had a reorder note next to a Larimar because it's so hit and miss. I've got four left at this point now. Um, hello to Alison. You've got your hands on one. Gail, you did too. Thank you, Margaret, for joining us. You've got yourself one. I've got Tina in as well. Nice work to you. Um, I've got two left now. Two left at this point. Um, Angela wants it. Maria wants it. Caroline wants it. Jennifer wants it. Gloucestershire wants it. Essex wants it. Uh, Maria wants it as well. Uh, and a collector in Yorkshire, sorry, you want it too. You are the people who want it. I am bringing it to you. Best ever deal. And we have got multi-purchases on this now. Well done to every single one of you. This is going to sell out soon. This is a pair of earrings that Spellby made with the lever back sterling silver earrings I brought to you. Um, so I just thought I'd show you them. Is another design that she showed us as well. They are just absolutely incredible they are completely stunning if you do want to get your hands on them I will encourage you to do so now and can I just take a brief mention and a brief second to say well done genuinely well done on that you've just got yourself best ever deal and that is an incredible chance this is basically a sellout now um, I might have literally one or two left but I think it's a sellout well done to every single one of you I wish I could say, and now let's bring you another four strands. We don't have that many in the business. I can't bring you anymore, but well done if you did get that one. Um, let me bring to you some more goodies now. How great would that go with stone silver too? Mm. Say it again, pop it. That's where I got them butterflies from. I've already done them. Part, stone silver floating heart pendant. Might be in the wrong hour, might it? Have we got a... Uh, you think you're in the wrong hour. Sorry, I do not... Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, uh, you, if you'll listen to a picture of that on the web if you do fancy. I just can't show it in real life. We're switching it up. We're going to go to a connector now, if we may. Ninety-five solid sterling silver. That halo-like design. Very Monica Venander-esque, actually, isn't it? With that sort of use of void space. I love the look of these. I love the fact that with these, you're getting that um, kind of uh, halo-like design, that continual look. That could very easily go in one of those slider bracelets I did before, Jobs are Good in. Bringing it to you today, three of them. 1.30 grams of precious metal in these. For £11.95 today, showing you the back of these so that you can see that we've um, let the light shine through the cubic zirconia, which is why you get that diamond-like luster from these ones. £11.95 today, a great opportunity to make yourself a lovely suite of jewellery, actually, a small suite of jewellery if you wanted to, quite easily. One in a ring, one as a pendant, one as a bracelet, for example. £11.95 for those ones today, if you do fancy grabbing them. Do absolutely feel free to do so. Well done, one and all. Um, let me also just remind you briefly, I brought you these earrings earlier on, that you could quite easily add one of them too, couldn't you? I know um, Spelby's added the multicolour garnet, but you could, couldn't you? Couldn't you? Okay, folks, bringing to you now. Sorry, Sp uh, sorry, big. Oh, lovely, lovely. I adore abalone. Let's remind you that abalone is, um, uh, we're not sourcing it. It's not being fished for or mined for, however you want to put it, um, in a lot of parts of the world right now. And there's been an embargo on it in New Zealand. There's been an embargo on it in parts of Australia. And there's also been an embargo on it until 2021. So it's not being fished at all the whole of California. Um, so it's something that's a little bit tricky to get your hands on. This is coming on your screen any minute now. The opal of the ocean is somehow, sometimes how it is referred to, and you can see why, can't you? That wonderful cacophony of colour, that myriad of hues, swaying and swirling and swishing into one another. Blues, teals, gold, cobalts, all getting to know one another in this wonderful, almost um, peacock feather manner. Set 
and framed beautifully with sterling silver, really drawing your eye into that central piece and backed entirely in sterling silver as well. So you've got a weighty piece here. Weight means luxury. There is something in the part of the human brain which has um, been scientifically proven to tell us that if we feel something that is weighty, then we will naturally think it is better quality. And some scientists believe that this dates back to kind of, uh, back to caveman times, whereby if you were out going to source food and you came back with, say, lots of flora and fauna, lots of, you know, shrubs and vegetables and berries, they're very, very lightweight. You would eat them, you would be hungry maybe within a few hours. Whereas if you came back with something weighty, you know, and maybe a a large fish or, or meat or something like that, you knew that you would eat that and you would be full for the rest of the day, for example. So it's apparently naturally inbuilt within kind of the back of our brains. If something feels heavy, it's luxury, it's going to last. And that is exactly what this is going to do. 11 95 for you today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Solid sterling silver today with that wonderful abalone as well. Stylish, chic, great on five meters of the chain I brought before. Remember the Rolo chain? Yeah? It's this chain that we did before. So yeah, Ooh, sorry. Whip that out of shop. Well done everyone, let's move it on up and let's bring to you <coughs> our cat. <coughs> Origami cat. Is it just me or is this, way? Uh, is it just me or is this almost a Egyptian style cat. Obviously, the ancient Egyptians worshipped cats almost sort of deity like status, didn't they? I like this because it's got a really unique and intriguing sort of geometric folded design. It's very much an origami style, isn't it? I think that's really unique. Really individual. Nice large space on this, too. So if you did want to stamp into it or etch into it, you could. Definitely. Bringing it to you today, big amount of metal weight in this. I can feel it myself. Oh yeah, look at that. Almost three and a half. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence for you today on these ones for all of you cat lovers, or just for those of you who are, you know, appreciate this really on trend geometric design, which is still seems to be uh, really sort of in vogue at the moment. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence for that gram weight and for that individuality. I don't know about you, but I can't actually think of any brand I have seen that has done this kind of design. So it's a bit unique and different. And as I always say. If you are a crafter and you sell your crafts, whether that's on social media or at events and at fairs, if you stand out from the crowd, you are going to get more people looking at those photographs. You're going to get more people walking past your store. You're going to get more people talking about your makes and therefore you're hopefully going to be making more sales. £7.95 for this very unique and individual solid sterling silver cat. And I'll just turn it over there. Oh, Bruce, it's not funny if you have to explain it. <laughs> at, a, at a cat show, this would bring the house down. Tell me it again. <clears throat> Do you think this cat is a Scottish fold? It's a type of cat. It's a breed of cat. <laughs> He said, do next time, cat. Uh. <laughs> Works on a higher level. Yeah, that is beyond my cat knowledge, to be honest. People at home who are, have got cat knowledge, they are rolling on floor laughing. Okay. Uh, £7.95 for you today. Well done. <clears throat> Let's get for you some more sterling silver. And let's go keep it on the animal theme. This time we are bringing to you two birds. Oh, I like this design a lot <clears throat> because you can wear it both ways. I forgot what it's called and it's kind of an optical illusion and you can make them yourselves at home. If you get like a, a straw or a cocktail stick and you draw two slightly different pictures on each side and you do that, your eye can't take in those two pictures quickly enough. So it makes it look like, for example, if you drew a bird on one side and a cage on the other and you do that, your eyes can't take it in. So it looks like a bird is in the cage. This is kind of similar. Bird's in the cage. Flip it over. Bird's outside of the cage. It's lovely that, isn't it? I really like that for both ways. Because um, 
you, you, if you have ever had birds, I've, um, <clears throat> I used to have uh, finches and, and budgies as well, actually. But if you do let them out of the cage, they will actually go and sit on the outside of the cage too. I like these because they're two almost lovebirds, aren't they? Oh, they are. They're described as lovebirds, lovely. Uh, they're two lovebirds. I quite like them too because this could just be how I'm perceiving this, but to me it almost looks like one is slightly larger than the other, which might be quite nice for, say, mother and daughter or something like that. Bringing it to you today, that's solid sterling silver with 925 <clears throat> for £9.95. Sorry, I'm just going to have a swig of my drink, a bit of a cough. <laughs> Sorry, I took too much of a large mouthful then. <clears throat> that was huge. I was trying not to be a large, a loud gulper. And it just made me laugh. <clears throat> and you know when you feel that, that tickle of, if I laugh now, it's going to come out my nose? I had that happen with a Wito once. It put me off Wito's for life. When I was younger. You know, Wito's, I don't know if they're still about, but they're like um, Cheerios a bit, chocolate Cheerios. Yeah, I was watching something... Well, I was having a bowl of that, and an actual full-on Wito came out of my nose. Never had Wito since. You didn't need to know that, did you? I'm aware. Seven ninety-five for you today. What are you saying? Didn't that happen with spaghetti as well? Is that you? No, but that is even more horrendous. I don't even want to think about that. Like nose floss. Seven pounds ninety-five for you today. Ninety-five solid selling silver. Good work. Let's go and bring to you a star. Um, a couple of years ago, the most expensive Christmas decoration was created, and it was a star put to go on the top of a Christmas tree. It had a diamond in the middle, and this was the shape of it. What's the name for the Northern Star again, Bruce? A Polaris Star, thank you. I love this Christmas tree star style design. I'm saying Christmas tree star, but it's not actually Christmas tree, is it? It could be anything. We have got for you here a really luxurious look. And what I love about the sort of uh, image of this and the design of this is the fact that you are getting that juxtaposition um, within it between the satin finish of the actual work but also the beauty of that sparkly almost diamond like quality in the center do you mind if i just briefly show you this um christmas decoration let me show you i'll show you it on the tree can i zoom in no there you go there we go let me show you it there you go here it is. So this is a, uh, the picture of the most expensive Christmas tree topper. So if you have a little look, that's a standard size Christmas tree. That isn't huge, is it? Would you say that looks like, because look at that, that's a standard size bauble there by the looks of things. I would say that that looks like it is smaller than the palm of your hand. Would anyone agree with me on that? Maybe? How much are we saying? Tenner, not quite. <laughs> you were going to say £100? Not quite, not quite. I mean, don't get me wrong, £100 is actually quite an expensive... Yeah, the star on the top of my career, I think I got that, that pound shop. Uh, but, yeah, no, I suppose £100 would be quite costly. But, I mean, it does have a diamond in it and everything. But it, it, it's all relative. But that is what this reminds me of. It feels luxurious, therefore. It looks luxurious with that juxtaposition. And let's remember, it is luxurious. This is solid sterling silver. Bear all that in mind. £12.95 for you today is your closeout deal. For any of you who absolutely love looking up at the stars, for any of you who feel, uh, you know, sort of attracted to um, space for those of you who maybe are interested in star signs even oh, and even just those of you who just appreciate this shape for what it is which is a beautiful motif this is going to be a lovely collection for you i'm going to hold this up to me neckline just to give you an idea of where you are how sizable this is 
So it's, it's a lovely size for a pendant, actually, isn't it? Great with that chain as well, if you wanted. Now, you can have to be more specific because I've got two very different earrings in. Drops. These are hoops. Drops. Right, okay. Move me a piece. We're going to recap these earrings, if we may. Did these for you earlier on? These ones have been bejeweled by the spell binding, Laura binding. I'm going to recap these ones for you now. Solid sterling silver. This is the post that goes through the ear to put these in. And then you have got that chain that runs through these that is smaller than that post. So you can't feel it going through. And then you have the section here where it sits within the earlobe itself. This is your beautiful solid sterling silver 925 Figaro chain earrings. Um, very comfortable indeed. Really on trend for that sort of statement earring look that is in, uh, on trend at the moment but um, for those of you who maybe don't want anything that's too gargantuan. Um, as you can see this is how Spellbinding Laura Binding kind of added her flair to these by adding these garnet. This was one strand of garnet, very luxurious, still available I think. I will let you know we sold over 200 pairs of this apparently um, well, when we've just brought them to air before so only a few obviously left. Let me just show you again if you haven't seen these before how you would put them in. So imagine this is your lobe, your piercing. Grab that section there. That is what will go through just like a stud earring would. As you can see the thickness of that, the chain is smaller so you can't even really feel the chain and then you just loop that through and there it stays nicely sat where it should. Uh, so yeah it's a beautiful looking design. We did them for 5 95 $5.95, that's all. £5.95. If everybody checks out, they are gone. We've got over 60 in baskets. Blimey. Do feel free to check out whilst you can then, because uh, if you fancy them, you need to get them. I mean, logic. $5.95 for you today on those sterling silver earrings. Well done to all of you. I've also, um, uh, oh, I've got more of you checking out now. Well done. People coming in buys in threes, fours, and fives as well. Let me recap the hoops for you now. I'm going to do this lever back. So this again is your sterling silver hoop earrings that the spell binds and Laura binds in again bejeweled for us with those garnets yet again, because let's face it, you can't have enough of them. There you go. So these are the earrings that she created. Obviously, they do just come as a hoop. And this is how they look um, with a little bit of adornment. So many you could do. Um, so the hoop itself is lovely and uh, hollow, which means that um, hinged section literally just sits straight within there for added extra security. So they are really secure now. And they give you that sort of continual look. Took every pound and every pence and every penny off these that we could for just £6.72. I also did a gold version, just to let you know. And actually I did a rose gold version too, didn't I? So pick which ones you want in which color. They are on the web and you can find them at jewelrymaker.com. And if you click on today's show deals, they will pop up on your screen and uh, you'll be happy as Larry and ready to go and check those ones out. Um, we also did the lever back earrings, which I just showed you then too. Um, for that added security. So if you do did fancy grabbing them, they are also on the web today. We have had one of those sterling silver events which just never stop amazing, haven't we? We have had so many treats, so many goodies and beautiful gemstones to boot. So I hope you've had a stellar weekend with us here at Jewelry Maker. I'm off now. I'm going to be back with you on Wednesday evening. Thank you so much for um, joining us today. We really do appreciate it. The lovely Lucy's up later and who's our guest tonight? B did he's just stepped out of the building. We're not entirely sure. I feel like I should know. What a surprise after the break. Thank you so much for joining us. You've been absolutely wonderful as usual. Enjoy the start of your week. I hope it's a restful one and I hope to see you on Friday, uh, no, Wednesday evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>